Uh, hello. Welcome, welcome to the loading screen. It is great to see you. This is way more people than I've ever seen in queue for Dynamis in my entire life. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I don't know. I'm, I'm not particularly sure. Welcome to the, welcome to the, the time zone exchange. Uh, in this wonderful little building, in this this office that I've set up for all of you, thank you for thank you for for hanging out. Uh, if you could please um, start buying and selling your own time zones from each other, uh, I personally would really like to to purchase e Eastern Standard Time or maybe Pacific Standard Time because I'm kind of in the middle, and that's not a very good time zone because nobody ever says what time it is for the middle time zones, you know. It's only ever EST or PST. So I, I would like to purchase one of those, please. If somebody would like uh, Central, you can feel free to have it. I'll trade you. Very nice. We'll trade EST for CST. Oh, yes, absolutely. Perfect, perfect. What is an MST yet, really? Oh, God. <sighs> this did not have a cane. It looked like a clown. You might not have noticed it was Blue Mage. Hey, come on. This is great. We love the clown outfit. I'm clowning around today. I hope everybody's been having a great time. No one wants MST. Yeah, no, that's not that's not going anywhere. You could keep it. Huh. <laughs> so here's here's the big deal, gamers. I should probably at this point upgrade the equipment that my blue mage is wearing, but I'm not gonna do that. So instead of that. Let's continue to put it off and not think about it. Hello, gamers. Hello, the cheer squad has begun to form. Uh, yeah, in, instead of that, we're just going to pretend like gear doesn't matter. All right? And then it'll be great. Got some shares of HST and AST. Does that work? Uh, you know what? I don't, I don't really know, actually. We'll have to take a look at the, the values for those. Oh, man. Oof. Let's continue to put it off the door, it'll bite us later on. Exactly, there's no possible way. Thank you for becoming a gamer, Ritz. That is incredibly generous of you. Thank you very much. A YouTube member. Oh no, not upgrading the weapon. I mean upgrading my armor. Because we're in Heaven's Word and I'm still wearing eye level 110. We could probably... We'll be fine for just killing the, just killing the little dudes, right? It should be okay. It should be easy peasy. I hope everybody has been having a good weekend so far. We oui. have to excuse me. I forgot to do my warm ups today. Uh, in fact, I haven't done my warm ups in quite a while. So my uh, my throat is not the happiest to suddenly been talking. I was spending most of this morning working on the video. Uh, it was. It's been going pretty good. I'm very excited. Thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> I fixed it this time. Black Lion put what the heck? Why does it say breaking? <laughs> what happened? No, I was supposed to have fixed it. It's supposed to say your name now. I tested it. Look, hold on. Look, that works. Why did yours break? <laughs> what happened? All right. Oh, I gotta... Thank you for the stretch war factor. I gotta... I, I, I hate this bot so much. Oh my god. I'll figure it out. One of these days, I will put my brain cells together. Maybe... Maybe I, I cave and ask Han to help me with it, because... No, Lurk... That one worked? I'm so confused. <laughs> this is, I'll, I'll have Han save me. Han said that they're good at bot commands, so maybe they'll come to my rescue. Thank you for the follows, gamers. And welcome to the party. Um, it is indeed time to unlock Reaper. <sighs> it's just breaking. It is just, it is the word breaking that, that breaks it. Okay, good. You know what? Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Black Lion. It's always appreciated. Your professional streamer has, has struck once again. Um, 
Uh, that's a good point, Liv. Make sure that tomorrow is the 24-hour maintenance. So if you have any weeklies that you haven't done, uh, go do your... Uh, are you sure about that also works? Great. If you have any weeklies you haven't done, you should totally go do those weeklies. Or you could be like me and not do weeklies ever. That's a pretty good idea. Hello, nerd. Welcome. It's great to see you. We have some grinding to do today, gamers. I need to unlock Reaper. Uh, it's pretty much no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Reaper is going to be way easier to level up to the level that we need than uh, a samurai would be. So let's just go do that real quick. Where, oh where? I think it's Zenith we want it? No, 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 no. Let's go to Mogholm. I think there are more enemies around Mogholm. Perhaps. And then we're doing Blue Mage leveling instead of Warrior leveling because after a quick check the other day, leveling on Blue Mage is absolutely insanely fast compared to Warrior. So who needs to level Warrior? That could just happen normally. Watched the speedrun video last night, and you're excited to see the rest of my shenanigans. Thank you. It's very kind of you. I'm, I'm glad that you enjoyed it enough to come see what the heck I'm doing now. Because, man, am I doing something. There's an easy doom. We're living the good life. Maybe I should eat food. Do I have just any, any tiny foods I could just eat? Maybe I have, like, some lemons or something. Oh. Salt cod. I could take one of those. Does that give me the XP boost? It does give me the XP boost. Eh, yeah, let's just do a salted cod. I'm not going to use it for anything else. Right. Quick bit of food. So, an egg would actually be great in this trying time. So just, just for a quick bit of context, if you weren't here for last stream, one level 54 enemy for my level 54 blue mage gives us a solid... 44,000 XP and then that will only increase as we get since we're still on level with them right now we'll get the uh, the combos when we kill them close enough to each other so that gave us a combo we just got 52,000 experience instead of 45,000 experience I just have to doom them about a million times and hope that it eventually works there we go perfect I think I can doom the lightning sprites uh and yeah so why does this matter it matters because the the other option that we have for leveling right now is to run over and do the first boss of either som all or the airy the first boss of som all gives just about a hundred thousand experience and uh i can get a hundred i could sneeze a hundred thousand experience as blue mage so it is not worth it at all to be leveling up a main class and instead we will be doing limited classes so that we can get this limited class to level 70 because even though limited classes aren't allowed to do the msq they are allowed to unlock other classes for you because they can do side quests so we can use our blue mage to unlock reaper which will be much easier than actually unlock i remember i can't doom the wind sprite so let's not aggro the wind sprite Unlucky Doom misses, but this is gonna be it for a while. This is good. This is a good time. I hope you're I hope you're ready for a day of grinding and killing whatever the heck these things are. Sank uh, Sank uh, I don't wanna I don't know I don't even wanna try, you know. We could just move on. We could just pretend like they don't have names and then not worry about them. Now is the real question. We were just getting about 44,000 and up to 57,000. Now that we are a higher level than them, we can't get the chain bonus anymore. But we sh still should hopefully get a good amount of experience. Perhaps, perhaps. Do I have RAM and Ultra? I don't have Ultra Vibration. I think I've never really done Blue Mage, so you'll have to forgive me that I don't particularly know. But I think Ultra Vibration is a Stormblood spell. 
so we won't be able to get that for a while. Okay, we no longer get the chain bonus, but we are still sneezing 100,000 XP, so it's it's fine. Grab the eye level 180 gear if you want to grind that out for blue. It sh uh, it should be fine. Who need who needs equipment? You know, when we can just uh, just kill them like this. It's not like they're hitting us. The only thing it would make a difference for is um, does it change Doom's accuracy at all? I don't like that Stream Elements just said that I'm live right now. That has me concerned that my internet died for a second there. Did anything happen? Did we drop frames for the stream? Are we okay? <laughs> How are we looking? You don't think it does? Okay. So long as it doesn't change the accuracy for Doom, then there's no real reason. Stream is fine? Okay, great. Here, it's good to know you're live. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's also very... I don't really know why Stream Elements does that. Is this in Azus, or are you just imagining it? Is Ultra Vibration in Azus Law? I have no clue. I've never gotten it. Sure, well, let's just take some time. Some time. Okay, okay. Understandable. Is blue hard to level solo? No, not particularly. I'd, I'd say it's pretty easy at, at this point. Once you have... Okay, the first few levels, it's rough. The first few levels, it is a, it is a very bad experience. But after that, it becomes relatively easy. As soon as you get things like what we currently have access to with Doom, uh, it's great. Or once you get, for the super low levels, if you're leveling it solo, go for 1,000 Needles as early as you can. And then once you have 1,000 Needles, you basically just do what I'm doing with sleeping them and then casting Doom. But instead of casting Doom, you just cast 1,000 Needles and hope they die. And that's it. That's the whole shtick. I like how your hotbars are lined up perfectly to the pixel now. Thank you, Coffee. I'm... I worked very hard to make it look like this. Just for everybody. Speaking of, maybe I should mess it up again real quick. No, no, no. no. I, I won't... Do I won't go through another of last stream. That was too... That was too much, even for my mental. Eerie sound wave was as a slaw. Okay. So, almost ultra paper. It's time for the chair, no. <laughs> the, the chair, I would like to hope, will never return to us. If I mess it up again, you'll die in real life? Well, now there's stakes. I, I can't do it. Is, how could you put these this weight on my shoulders? I have the power of life and death over you at this exact moment. All I have to do is just left click and move my mouse just a little bit to the left. So yeah, I think Blue Mage leveling is pretty good so far. I'm pretty happy with just the Doom spam, honestly. It, I wish Doom was a bit more accurate, but other than that, you know, I can't really complain about getting hundreds of thousands of XP within a few minutes of starting. We've been streaming for 18 minutes. In 18 minutes, I would have cleared... I would have killed the first boss of Somal once. So we would have gotten 100,000 experience. Compared to... I believe we've gotten around... Maybe a million XP? Who knows? Who knows? He had a friend shield and they would... You would spit fish and they'd kill it for me. Yeah, that's the best way. That was that was my favorite way to do it. Hey, what are you doing to that to that poor little squid monster? Don't beat it up. What did he ever do to you? You know what? I'm gonna beat it up. No, it never. Whenever I try to walk away with the swift cast, it never actually does it. I can never be cool. You know, the game just won't let me. Rap Gabes is down live. Oh, wow. Thank you, Medi. I didn't know. I should go check them out. I should go check them out on their Twitch stream and and follow and go to their YouTube and hit the, the funny subscribe button and join the Discord and use my Amazon Prime on them and whatever the heck else. Uh, like the YouTube stream. That's another one. I have, there's too many things. Too many call to actions. Please help. <laughs> I'm not one for these. Oh, man. Speaking of... um. 
speaking of call to actions, allow me to tell you a story. Because here's here's the, the shtick. Um, there was a while ago, I'm sure you remember, where uh, I did the solo, the, the ruining the solo challenge video. I liked that video a lot, honestly. I was pretty happy with it. I thought that was a lot of fun, just to go over what we did for the perfect solo bits. Um... It, that was my first, like, properly sponsored video. That's, that's when I got to pretend like I was, a, I, I felt like a real YouTuber. Because Raid Shadow Legends said that they wanted to sponsor me. And I said, well, I mean, yeah, I need to at some point. It's the law. So, of course, I took that. The thing was that the video that I was supposed to take the Raid sponsorship for was not that video right uh hello good morning it's great to see you satanist Rin. i hope i hope your your uh your day has been going well um so the the video that was supposed to have the raid shadow legends sponsor was the ultima video funny enough um and i sat there at the very end of it like the the video was done I was ready to go, I was happy with how the Ultima video was looking, and I had the ending sequence finished. But they had an extra request, right, from what I had originally expected. They wanted the, the sponsored segment, and then I had to also do a call to action at the very end, to be like, hey, also, don't forget to go check out Raid Shadow Legends at the very end of the video. And I don't know if you remember off the top of your head, but the ending for the Ultima video is a very, very emotional scene. Like, I... At least with the way that I like to make videos, I, uh, I have myself as the baseline for it. So if I'm not experiencing the emotion that I want out of it, then it's not good enough. I cried many times while I was editing that final scene for the Ultima video. The the scene of the walk-up and the procession from all of the viewers celebrating the victory and my my little goodbye afterwards. That was that was an incredibly emotional moment. To follow that up with Hey, you should download Raid Shadow Legends. It felt so incredibly gross to me that I just said, no, no, I'm not doing it. I, I can't do it. I have to put it on the next video. It can't be for this one. And they were like, okay, sure. Uh, so I had a bunch of different timelines that were on offer for whenever the video could be put out. And the next thing that I was supposed to talk about, because I already made the thing talking about their little, their Hydra raid. It looked pretty cool. Big snake, snake Hydra dragon main it was pretty sick. Um, I made that. That bit of the video was done. The sponsor was, was finished already. I just had to put it into a video. But the thing was that I had released the Ultima video on a Saturday. And then on that Saturday, I was like, okay. Yeah, so what's what's my next time frames and the next things? And I would have had to if I had it if I hadn't released it on Monday, immediately following it, then I would have had to do a different thing for the sponsorship. I would have had to talk about a uh, skin that they made for a champion in collaboration with Jontron. And I said to myself, I absolutely do not want to do that and i made uh melvina and i uh, speed ran making that um <laughs> that absolute speed ran making the video i made that whole video on monday from from monday morning to monday night was how long it took to make the the video about uh, how I ruined the challenge and looking at the, the perfect solo stuff. Uh, and thank God I did. <laughs> if you, if I'd been a Jodron collab, you would have furred your voice. Yeah, you know, I, I would not, I felt very off about it. And I mean, I, 
I liked John Tron growing up before he was weird, but then, you know, he got weird, and so I don't really want to deal with that. And, you know, that meant I had to make the video that day. Just watched the ultimate video last night and brought a tear to your eye. The emotion was real. Thank you. That's very kind of you, Rin. But yeah, now just take that, Rin, and imagine immediately after that, hey, you should download Raid Shadow Legends. See you later. Bye. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, that, that was a fun experience. I don't know why I decided to tell this story. I just thought it was a lot of fun. Motivation comes in many forms. It doesn't. Lonesome Barbie. That's a pretty cool one. Is that another solo character or just a Barbie doll? Who knows? Forgotten by time. When was the last time you said hello to your dolls? Huh? When, when was the last time you popped in and said hello and treated them like you loved them? They deserve it every once in a while. I, uh... I had stuffed animals for a very long time um when i was a kid and when i say i had stuffed animals i don't mean like i had like one or two i mean i had the entire top half of my bed was dedicated to stuffed animals instead of me and i absolutely adored them and then my mother at some point convinced me to to put them away and so we moved them to the attic but i kept one and his name is toothy and he is the most important uh, of all the of all the little guys. He's a little T-Rex, a little beanie baby T-Rex, and I, I love him very much. And my mother made it a very important note that nothing can ever happen to Toothy, because she would very much like to give Toothy to my child if I ever end up having one. And so that Toothy must remain safe for all of those years. A very nice refresh on my mana just as we were running out. Thank you, level up. Very appreciated. Oh, we're now we are dropping off a lot in XP, actually. We're two, three levels above now, level 57. We've gone from 45,000, 46,000 ish to just about 37,000 XP per. So let's maybe. Is there a higher level enemy we can find, is my question. I need something higher than level 54, maybe level 56 would be the ideal. I'm assuming that's not until the next zone, though. So we're gonna have to complete the area for that. There's level 57 mobs in the forelands. Oh, perfect. Absolutely fantastic. Turning mist doesn't go especially high. Yeah, understandable, understandable. Right here, I've been I've been shown on the map. Oh, right there. Okay. You know what? Yeah, we can go we can go check that out. That shouldn't be too bad. Where was I going? I don't really remember what I was doing just now, but we could just interrupt it. Who who's worried about it? Where is Geranian Forelands? Let's just go to Annex Trine. And it's trying is pretty good. Oh my. You always had a plush Santa. You still sleep with him less than a foot from your head. You're 26. As you should, honestly. The plush Santa is very Level important. Grind stream. Sounds like the perfect excuse to learn how to play this silly game we play on controller. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Chris. It's incredibly kind of you. But, uh... Wow, okay. Do I have to learn how to play on con- Um... Okay, I can- I can control it on controller, at the very least. Hide my chat. Oh, thank you for the reminder. I move it back down. It returns to the, this feels... weird. How do I jump? There it is. Why is X- why is Y the jump button? What the heck? My map is on X, a dedicated map button on my four buttons. I have a new problem. How do I... How do I actually attack like this? Is... No, don't... Don't dismiss. 
Could it be distributed in 4K so there's no blockiness in a predecessor's TV? I apologize, you know? I will do my very best. Um, I think... No, never mind, I can't do it. Need to get back into UI editing, the true end game, please, no. Go into character settings and- why am I auto-walking? When did this happen? What is it? Just stop- wait, I, uh... Hold on, I gotta- I gotta just- Just real quick, if you could please go away. And then... Did I not accept this friend request? I could have sworn I accepted that friend request. Character configure- oh, this one. Bwah! What? Oh, why does it change the camera? What? What? That's just that's disgusting. All of my stuff is gone. Where? Uh. R R uh R T L T. Back. How to, this is not enough buttons. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> You've got to be joking. Okay. So. Right trigger. And then this for switch. Oh, oh, God. Okay. Fine. I... Whoever told me to do this, I, <laughs> I despise you. Hold on, what? I need to. I. How do I get to my my menus? Blue blue mage, blue mage somewhere. Tap RB to go to the next hyper. Okay, this sounds good. Where's the blue mage log? Here it is. Blue mage spellbook. I mean, they're, they're all here, right? So where... Maybe we... No? How... How do I... How do I... How do I move it? Why can I not move it? I would like to put it... Add to hotbar? To combinate, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. I think we finally made it. Hold on, and then where is... Where's Doom? Where's Doom? Controller players, I am so sorry you have to go through this every day. How, how do you still play this game? <laughs> this, is, this is painful. Oh... Okay, where is... This is the wrong way. I have to go over here. We're looking for the for the big... Thank you for the posture check. I will sit up straight, I promise. It takes far too long to sit up properly. Why would someone do this? It's fine. All we really need is Acorn Bomb and Doom. You know? You can add double cross hotbar to get all your buttons. Oh. What is, what is double crossbar mean? Uh, and then I do one of these, and then I just kind of... It's, we're good. This is great. This is perfect. This is everything I, I ever wanted. Why is it so zoomed in? Am I able to, how do I zoom out? It's actually fun, your keyboard friends say you heal faster and better than them do. Oh, okay. Well, then there you go. I suppose you're just... I. You are simply far superior. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing and I hate this. What, uh... Very confused as to why jump is Y, but at least I have a jump button. You know, that's the most important. Hold L2, move the right... Hold... Hold L... Oh, uh, okay. There we go. Now we're talking. And we're still looking for some high-level enemies. Oh, that's over at the Voth. Okay, we gotta we gotta sneak in there. 
This is a very, very strange experience. I I don't use controller for like anything. I'm just letting you know that from now. Um LB and right stick. Yeah, okay, so left bumper and right stick, that sounds right. Yeah, for for um Xbox controller it's it's left bumper. Why am I auto walking again? What is that? okay. It's just left bumper is auto walk. That's kind of nice, actually. That's not. I I can get behind that. And then I I sprint. I vaguely wish that you know maybe it would be easy once we get here. I'm not used to legacy movement or i'm not used to whatever the heck this movement is this is not legacy legacy is the one that i do but oh there it is there's a little whoa 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 hello please go to sleep you and your little friend and then we doom them how do i swap targets how do i how do i swap targets how do i how do i swap There. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, <I hate> D-pad. <laughs> okay, thank you. No, I don't want to be fighting these. Please, I beg. Just let me. Just let me get to the ones that actually matter. I'm desperate. Run for your life. Where's that, where's that other one? Are they just gone? They're just gone. They couldn't make it to me. Okay. Perfect. Uh, not, not the best so far, but at least we've made it to the things that matter. Put white wind on your bar. Who needs white wind? Come on. I don't need to heal. I can just run. We can just, we just run for our lives if it becomes a problem, you know? It'll be great. We are really not hitting this doom, huh? Alright, and now I... Now I press the funny... Yes? Okay. Did this... There we go. No, I... Why did it swap back to that guy? Here we go. Perfect. It's... It's so, so weird. Why is my map button one of the... I guess you... How else would you open the map? But I'm still very confused, though. <laughs> Alright. It's fine. No, why? Again, why is it swapping back? I just want to hit this guy. Hold R2 and L2, then press L1. What would I do if I wanted to do Mama, but Yoshi P said miss? I would probably cry, just like I have been for the last five minutes. Can we... It might not be a good idea to check if we can doom the Earth Sprite, because we don't really... We're, we're kind of... We're kind of dead. We don't have anything else. Fully resisted. Okay, we're running for it. Where's my sprint button? There we go. See you later, Earth Sprite. It was nice knowing you. And then I target the one that will actually kill me in a second, and we kill it with the Doom. Perfect. Now we're talking. Except that it keeps dropping my target for some reason. Controller has soft target. If you don't press A on controller, it will go back to your last heart. Okay, so I... I swap over to it, and then I press A to basically just confirm that I've targeted the thing. That makes sense. If we get a character from Kig, hop art, set up custom, enable WX, HP, directional, and action buttons, and select cross two to the corresponding sides, you should be able to have two hotbars. Sorry if that was long-winded. It was definitely long-winded. But uh, it's it's appreciated all the same. 
long-winded or otherwise. I believe it had to be long-winded, so you're fine. If we could maybe just doom that I I might have to swap back. I don't know if I could keep living the controller life. This is too much for me. Soft target is super useful. Wait, wait, wait. Go to sleep. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now I just swap back to this guy. I I I try to to get the doom. Get doomed. We're good. We're safe. We're safe and we're alive. And then from over here in the corner where nothing can hurt me, I will sleep and doom this guy. Started using controller when leveling Dancer because the keys got convoluted. Now you can only use controller. Oh, wow. I... I, I don't know if I said it before, but I don't use controller for anything. The only reason I have a controller... Uh, is for games that force me to use it, like Dark Souls. The keyboard controls for Dark Souls are not feasible. I used to play Dark Souls on keyboard controls, but you know what? It's just not worth it. Monster Hunter World, I play that with keyboard. I love it. This, uh... I don't think anything will ever convince me to stop using mouse and keyboard. But this is not as bad as I initially thought it would be. What am I currently farming? We're farming experience. So we need things that are decently high level so that we can just keep killing them with our with our funny little doom button. And uh, hopefully we make it up to level 70. We have to reach level 70 so we can unlock Reaper. And then once Reaper is unlocked, we'll be leveling Reaper up once from 70 to 71. I'll probably use challenge logs for that. Uh, once we have the... Well, we have to go to Palace and get the Pajali weapon for it as well before we can do anything, really. But, um... We get the Pajali weapon. We get Reaper unlocked. We... Get, uh... We get uh, Reaper to level 71. Once Reaper's at level 71, we use... We use Reaper to try and epic echo clear the Airy by bursting Nidhogg before it can use Sable Price. That's the hope and the goal, and I think that's kind of realistic to do today. It's not, that's not too bad. What weapon do I main for Monster Hunter? Insect Glaive. Insect Glaive is my absolute favorite ever since it was introduced in 4 Ultimate. It has simply been the perfect weapon. Level 58 is good. We're, we get about 78,000 XP per enemy at the moment. Uh, we're still on level now. Or no, we, we just lost the equal level. So we will no longer be getting chain bonus. It kind of hurts a little bit, but it should be fine. We'll still get a lot of experience from just killing them. It's 61,000 without chain bonus. And we have armory bonus right now, so as soon as we hit level 66, it's going to slow down a bit. But it shouldn't slow down that badly. Okay, I need to stop using controller. This is driving me insane. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal, for the forced controller interaction. Never again. <laughs> Never again in my life. I can't remember how to play with mouse and keyboard anymore, even. It's over for me. I'm gonna move Acorn Bomb over here instead of sleeping. Ugh, oh, I have to get used to this again now. Yeah, thanks, Nidhogg. What a what a fantastic fantastic fight. If only it was not for the sable price, life would be better. Mainly played Final Fantasy on PS5, and you'd probably be scared of your controller settings. I'm sure I would be. I now live with an intense fear of anyone that plays this game with controller because that is simply too powerful for me i do not have the brain cells required for it oh, okay 
Yeah, it is a disciple of magic and disciple of tragic. Oh my god, so uh, it does in fact count for while Blue Mage isn't allowed to do main scenario quests, Blue Mage is allowed to do side quests. So any blue quests you'd be able to clear as Blue Mage uh, or any yellow quests you could clear as Blue Mage. So we are A-OK -okay to do the Reaper unlock because it is a side quest. We just have to, you know, get Blue Mage to level 70. What if you wanted to kill an enemy, but the but your sheep piece said miss? Okay. That took way too many dooms. When I stop getting XP for this level sinking Aurum Veil can get me the rest of the ten levels. Will Dungeon sinking get good experience? Wouldn't I just get the same experience of doing Orum Vale? Orum Vale doesn't give very much, does it? Might I have challenge logs, some face before that. Yeah, I wanted to do um I wanted to do challenge log for uh Reaper actually, so that we could get Reaper from level 70 to 71. You can doom the first two bosses and skip all the crash. Okay, that's not a bad idea. No, you did <laughs> Why are you celebrating that, Sil? I still don't get it. I don't understand. It's It's been long enough now that I feel like most wouldn't remember it. So allow me to introduce you to whatever the heck this bot is. I see it once every few months, I guess. Somebody, some bot just pops into chat, lists off every single Final Fantasy XIV YouTuber ever, and then is gone. They were previously Sasuke Uchiha and Ariana Grande, but I, I hate it so much. I don't know why. Like, what's the purpose? What does it do? I need to know. Not knowing just makes it worse. Yeah, blue should get more XP from overworld mobs, but I think I I kind of get it, I think. So we would want to do Orem Veil when the enemies here fall off and experience so much that killing the Orem Veil bosses would be more worth it because of how quickly you can do Orem Veil. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm understanding a little bit. It's clicking in the head so far. <clears throat> It was cracked up and listening to the VODs at work when they turned up. It's so weird. I just don't get Yeah, Ariana Grande. <laughs> you remember Ariana Grande? You missed them. No, we don't miss them. <laughs> why Why do we miss them? All they did was come in and say that one message. So did you like not having Carpal Tunnel? You mostly click skills and you only use one to six. Understandable. I could I could definitely see that. Am I getting my blue to 70 to unlock Reaper? Yes, that is the plan. Blue Mage to 70, Reaper unlock, Reaper to 71, Pajali Reaper weapon, and or Kina. I'm probably just going to do the Pajali weapon. I was going to take a lot of palace grinding. Because we're just now at the Aether Pool where we can do 51 to 60 consistently, I think. Um, and I don't want to use up... Thank you for the hydrate. I don't want to use up all of my Aether Pool again. Because we will probably need it. And to be able to do, uh... More max potion grinding. Because we don't have Aren't enough max potion. HQ, oh my god. YouTube has recommended me your streams. Wow, thank you. It's so good, it's so crazy. Thank you, thank you for the dodo. Dual watching on YouTube and Twitch because why not? Oh, that's very kind of you. Wow. Even forgetting the route, you got three minutes from the beginning of the dungeon to second boss. That's pretty sick, actually. Three minutes for two bosses. How much XP did the Orin Veil bosses give? Like 40k or something? 50k? Yeah, we'll, we'll have to do... So we're going to have to get 30-ish Aether Pool off 51 to 60. 
That shouldn't take too... Well, it's, it's gonna take a while, but it shouldn't take too, too long, at least. That's, that's my hope. Gonna run out of rested XP soon. Eh, you know. Just rested XP, schmested XP. Who needs it? We, it, it's, it's fine. Come on. Uh, speaking of it being fine, the thing that I'm actually concerned over is when we run out of armory bonus, because no armory bonus is gonna slow things down a lot. So as soon as we hit 66, I think. And that's basically ruined for us. What evil are we committing today, Mr. Wrath Gamer? Um, I'm I'm committing the evil of grinding to level 70 on Blue Mage so that I can get uh, Reaper unlocked, and then a lot of Palace. Trying to ping Azure for the XP numbers. Oh, that would be great. This would be fantastic. I mean, we could also just go check real quick. I'm just about to hit level 60 anyway. <sighs> and then we can also use basic instinct, right? Oh, I should have mighty guard on. There's no reason not to. Basic instinct while we're in the dungeon, just to move a little bit fast. No food bonus for the 3%? Oh, that's right, the food fell off. Thank you for the reminder. We had food on a second ago, but... I guess I just forgot to refresh it. It ran out a, a minute ago or something. No, not the Earth Sprites. Can I doom you? No. Okay, great. The only sprite so far that can be doomed is the Lightning Sprites. Good to know. By the way, gamers, if you haven't done your roulette today, Dennis would greatly appreciate you. Yes, this is very true. If you are part of the, the cheer squad and have not done your daily roulettes, uh, the folks on Dynamis, I'm sure, would be very happy to get their roulette cues a bit faster. More like Geneva Suggestion. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? We're, I don't think we're committing any war crimes, are we? What What war crime would this be? I don't think... Doom isn't, like, noxious gas or anything. That would be bad breath. That would be a war crime. So I starving in the wilderness with no food buff. I had to do it, you know. We gotta make sure that he, uh, he, he holds back on his snacking. He eats... He eats too much of the, the salted cod while we're looking away, and then we don't have any to use when it's actually time to kill a boss or do crafting. Um, Best of luck on your E12S blue prog. It should go beautifully. Sadly not on Dynamis and still not home from work. Understandable, simply. You know, it's, it's simply a part of life. Why are you also saying more like Geneva suggestion? What is happening? <laughs> what did I miss? Reaper can't entrout until 80, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it should... Hopefully, we won't need entrout. If we do have to go all the way to level 80, then, well... I don't want to think about it. But for now, uh... The ideal is that we have to... There's no universe where we don't use Epic Echo to clear the airy. Um... Because the airy, sadly, is simply too much to, to be dealt with. Uh, so. We've got a... Uh, thank you very much for the follow. We've got a... Basically, we are forced into using Epic Echo. I'm hoping that Epic Echo on Reaper level 71 will probably be enough to kill Nidhogg. The reason that I'm getting Reaper to 71 is so that instead of the the 60% Epic Echo buff from being level 61 or above, we get the 100% Epic Echo buff from being level 71 or above. That is the ideal that we're hoping for. I am now level 60. 
The Loth Steel Drones are giving 50,000 experience each at level 50. Oh, you know what would be amazing? Could you imagine... If we're... If they still give experience, right? Could you imagine if we had Ultra Vibration? We just go into any dungeon. Any dungeon, group up all of the monsters, Ram's voice, Ultra Vibration to kill them. That would be fantastic. I, I would love that. Nothing would ever stand in our way. All right, I'm going to kill this Loth Cultivator, and then let's hop into Orem Vale. I do want to see how much XP that'll give. Uh, I wonder if there's any other dungeons that might be worth it. So Sasha Heart at level 50, but level 50 means it won't give any experience, so never mind. Uh, okay, quick check Orumvale. Orumvale is the only one you can actually skip mobs on. Alright, understandable. Trout is the only Reaper skill locked behind a class quest. You can avoid the temptation by simply not doing the class quest. Oh, perfect. Even better. Uh, yeah, we're leveling blue to 70 to get Reaper. That is the, the dream. Uh, Mighty Guard is on. We basic instinct, and I need that frog to not be facing this way, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Please do not catch me, Mr. Frog. Thank you. Okay, easy peasy. Back to Orem Vale speedrunning. There is a Blue Mage speedrun for Orem Vale, actually. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a speedrun I would ever willingly attempt. Okay, that was an easy doom. See you later. Can I put you to sleep? I doubt it. Yeah, I can't put you to sleep. I think I can stun you, though, right? Where's my stun phase? Hi, yeah. 116,000 XP? That's great. I could I could just do that one. That took no time at all. Anything past this, we have to kill stuff. So maybe I just do that. No, because that's going to use up 100 instances really fast. It'll be 10 instances per million XP. And we're probably going to need like at least 12 million so that, yeah, that wouldn't work. Okay. I guess this is the only thing I'm kind of worried about. Because now we do actually have to care a little bit about the damage that things can deal to us. Hey! What the heck was that? You can't just push me out of my cast. That's dealt with. Hopefully, second boss is pretty is pretty pretty quick and easy. How tasty are marble fruit? I wish it was very tasty. Yes, you can skip the entire first room of Orem Vale if you just walk. Uh, I believe these dire mites are uh, vision based. Yeah, so that one is unfortunate. We can't do anything for these, but uh, the rest we can just forget about. Uh, so, generally, I would just ignore and run past these, but I'm a bit worried about Blue Mage not being tanky enough level synced to be able to do that. Yeah, sadly, Etheric Mimicry is not allowed. 
It would be very nice, though. I would love that. Huh. Easy. Can't freeze him. That's fine. You just run for it. And see you later. And that's 200,000 experience. Now we're talking. 300,000 experience in four minutes with me just kind of learning things. That I can put up with. I can I can take that. Easy peasy. We're going to be doing this for a while. <laughs> uh, you can't mimicry yourself, but that would be amazing. If it if it worked on me, that would be so beautiful, but sadly it does not. From here we walk. We hope the frog does not turn and see us. And then we are straight on to boss. Uh, get stunned forehead. See you later. This is nice. This is not bad. You know what? I I accept this. A very good strat. Thank you, Verb. If I get sick of Orem Vale, you can also fate trick the cultist fates in northern Thanalan. Okay. How much XP would they give? That that's my question for you. How much XP to the do the, the cultists provide? B -b 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 -b. Things are not going incredibly well at this exact second, but you know what? That's fine. We simply need them to go vaguely well at some point. They don't have to go well all the time, you know. Can I put you to sleep? No. But I can stun you for six seconds. And then hit you with the doom and then run away for the other six. Boy, I expected you to come closer. It's fine. We're fine, come on. Fates are not much, but there are a ton of easily killed NPCs right in the zone. Okay. About 200k per respawn cycle, usually about two minutes. Gotcha. I'm gonna try to ignore those this time. So that one worked out with ignoring them, because we got the instant cast on, or the instant success for Doom, and then we can just sprint to run away for most of it, so... Not bad. I guess this would be the only problem, because I can't leave while in combat. Yeah. Well, whether they die or I die doesn't really matter, because it lets me leave the instance, and that's all that we need. What was that about not using Entroud? Was your voice said now? Oh no, we can use Entroud, it's just that we can't use Entroud, because I would have to level up to use Entroud. Can I just let them kill me? I can't. That is true. Maybe I would be faster than actually killing them myself. 
Final sting to speed up death. Ooh. Now that you... Now that you're talking about it. Now that now that we're thinking about it, okay. I, I like the sound of it. And then we just have to hope that the frog does not see us, though I'm sure the frog will. Yeah, it's expected. If I could just doom the frog real quick, that would be very appreciated. Thank you. And now we doom the boss. Successfully, please. Nope. Okay, great. Oh, we did get successful, actually. Never mind. On to the next bit. Thank you very much for the Prime Firestorm. It's incredibly kind of you. You can skip that group by walking the cones for the area, for the side aggro. Don't overlap. I was, I've been trying, but it's, it's probably just a bit annoying to get. I'll figure it out. I'll find the spot for it. This is going to be a masterpiece all the same. Don't have to deal with the gold vine. We've got some easy peasy bits there. I need to remember to use uh, whatever the, this thing, basic instinct. I need to keep remembering to do this. Walk towards the middle, Bane might. Their vision is only at the center of their hitbox. Okay. I shall do. Good times on everyone. Hello, Jade. Hello, help. Those ones I know I have to walk past because the wasps will get to me. I walk towards the middle, Bane might. No. It seems like they've swapped to proximity or something. I've got no clue. Yeah, this is the only problem, child, with it. Because I can't really have the Bane Mites killing me before I kill the boss. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, great. Get me out of here. Woo! Hello, Gloomy. Welcome. How goes it? Welcome to the party. Hope you're having, hope you're having a good time. Do I have missile? I do not have missile. Missile would be great, though. You're too close to the left one. Seen by the left one, the pack has link aggro. Okay. Okay. In the direct center walking into the arena. You need to hug the yellow puddle to avoid the sight cones there. Okay. Well, I don't think I can avoid the sight cone for this frog. I take... Nope. I was about to say I take it back, but I do not. If you could just do me a favor and be doomed so that I can move on. Thank you. Yet another frog? At least we can still kind of go around this one. It'll be fine. Yeah, missile from Enkidu, but that would require going to do the Hildebrand quests. I'm, it's not that I'm particularly against it. I just don't really have a reason, I suppose, that I feel like I need to do it. Probably the best way to put it.
there we go. Level 61. Not bad. I'm pretty sure it's in Kitu. Uh, I think there there's other ways to get it, but I'm, I think in Kitu is one of the options at the very least. Do the Hildebrands and don't skip cutscene. But I want to skip cutscene. It's, I, it is my desire, my dream. Please, I beg. Just hit the doom. Nope. No dooms for me. No dooms allowed. Uh, we actually banned using Doom for this playthrough. Funny enough, I, I forgot that. I forgot to mention that. Um, all right, but this time, there we go. Great. This time it works for real, and we're not joking anymore. And then I, and then I can, I can move on. Right, video game. Can we get a ten thousand channel foot redeem to make me watch the next cutscene? Oh, um. I think I'll probably avoid that, but I do vaguely like the idea. Okay, so we go this way. I hug the pool. There we go. Perf, now I'm getting it. Okay. It was great seeing you, Coin Counter. I'm glad you continue to be ridiculously slow. Enjoy your existence without me. Uh, it is very brief, this the time we have on this star, so make sure you spend it well. There it is. See you later. Oh, man. Doom on cast 2. Hey, we get a lot of low cast dooms. We're pretty lucky, I'd like to say. If we could continue to have that luck, it'd be very appreciated. <sighs> Very appreciated indeed. Oh, speaking of redeems, I forgot to mention that I, uh, Blue reminded me, and also Cheyenne made a, a funny little to-do list for me so that I would not forget, uh, but I was still reminded all the same, um, that, to do the new redeems. So you should now have a redeem to, to thank you very much for the prime. Korean, it's, it's, it's very kind of you. It's, um, what was I saying? Oh, new redeems. Now you can force me to uh, fix my inventory. And or you can force me to ruin my inventory. Whichever you prefer. Thank you for the stretch and the follow. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to hit the funny buttons. That was a good attempt at your username. And I started, it started as an attempt and then I lost where I was and it just became mumbling. I apologize. <laughs> I, I believe it should be Korean Isis, but please uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And please also just doom the boss, I beg. I did, please. I do not want to die to locksmith today. I did that enough. Haven't you seen the speedrun video? I don't want to do this again. Great to see you, Locksmith. Thank you very much for cooperating. I'm just gonna need moral fruit real quick. Just to in, what's the plan? See, I'm doing for blue. I'm not going for blue mage spells, actually. I'm going for blue mage levels. Yeah, you know, we're trying to get a bunch of experience and level up so that I can hit level 70 on my blue mage so that we can unlock Reaper. So that I can use Reaper to so that no uh, unlock Reaper so that I can get Reaper to level 71 so that we can use. And then go into Palace of the Dead, get a Pajali weapon or a Kina weapon for Reaper, and then once you have the weapon for Reaper, we can go and use Reaper as level 71 uh, to go into the Airy so that we can kill the final boss in the Airy. And that's it. That's that's the plane. That's, that's, that's the plane. I don't what? Yeah, I don't have Diamond back. Yeah, I... Uh... 
I haven't really checked it out. Uh, good spells to have if you haven't gotten so far. Magic Hammer, Sonic Boom, Devour, Supernaka, and Eruption. Supernaka, I, that doesn't sound so bad, actually. That could be nice to grab, but... I'm not super confident we would be able to kill Ravana with how difficult the fight was previously. Kinda need missile or some percent damage spell for that one. I have tail screw, does that work? Uh why do we need Reaper the damage? Yeah, we need a super high damage class without question, to be able to... We basically have to kill uh, the final boss of the Airy as fast as possible. We have 20 GCDs within which the boss needs to die. So, we need a high DPS class, and we need to rely on Epic Echo for it. That's, that's the shtick. That's what we have so far. Uh, I need Blue Mage for Reaper because Blue Mage leveling is faster than any other leveling in the game. Uh, getting Blue Mage to level 70 is going to just innately be way quicker than getting any other class to 70. Even my Warrior is level 66, but even with that, Blue Mage is still going to be faster. I'd at least like to kill Locksmith so that I can not have to deal with that first room. Quick X potion, and we're done. Very nice. Now we can just take the teleport past the room. Very nice, very nice. We can do Hildebrand on um, Blue Mage because we can do all of the. We can do all side quests on Blue Mage. You can't do main scenario quests is the only restriction for it. Missed the XP grind? How much was that? Um, this particular... Uh, we just got ourselves up to level 60 a minute ago. And now... I think we're level 61 at this exact second. Yeah, level 61 for Blue Mage. We get... Just about 300,000 XP. I don't have basic instinct on. We get just about 300,000 XP from uh, both of the bosses here from Orem Vale. Which was suggested to me by Totally Not Laugh, one of the other solos. It was very appreciated, because I never would have thought about coming to Orem Vale. We probably still would have been grinding on the overworld. Uh, I might have used the, the fate method that we were... That Refi had suggested before. But, uh, who knows? Hope they put Beastmaster quest unlock in a starting city. I'm sure they will. They're, they're almost always in starting city. Uh... Yeah, they're always in starting cities to get the initial quest. It's just what quest is required to unlock that quest. How, thank you very much for the Prime Knife Cash. It's incredibly kind of you. Thank you, thank you. I just need to double check I can't freeze you, and then I'm just gonna stun you with phase. Alright, it's good to see you. Thank you. As soon as the 200k hits... Actually, it's dropping off on XP now. I wonder why. It's not doing the 300k that it was before. Now it's 163,000 for second boss and 93,000 for first boss. I still have food buff on, so it wouldn't be that. Where am I, where am I losing 40,000 XP? Rested. Ah, good point. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ran out of rested. That makes sense. Hmm. Ugh. That's fine. Two F stools isn't that big a deal. 
I could just tank them on the way. Oh, you've got to be joking. That's fine. Not the greatest fight of my entire life, I must admit. But so long as I get a doom off somewhere in there and the boss is able to die, then I'm happy. And a lot of stuns. Uh, I might just take the death because of these effed souls. It's going to be a little too much effort to deal with it. Food buff running out. Good point. Thank you. Someday they're going to have to start putting unlocks outside of starting cities. No, what? You just fill the, fill the starting cities with quests. It'll be perfect. Absolutely flawless. Does anyone know if you're doing a quest for a Shadowbringer Relic is a uh, Gunbreaker? Do you have to do quests to get it as Gunbreaker? Will it still count if you do it on a different role? Um, I think... I'm pretty sure you could do it as a different role, but... The quest turn-ins you would have to do as your Gunbreaker. You can do the actual actions on a different role, though. Just a quick, easy doom, please, for this guy. Nope, never quick and easy. It couldn't be. It would be illegal. Another ram, so it just carries it the rest of the way. And that's fine. And then we can regen a little bit while I'm waiting to go. Maybe just do some quick white winds, perhaps. No more controller? Yeah, I, <laughs> I could only put up with the controller for so long. Uh, speaking of putting up with things for so long... Congratulations! I have closed the prediction. Uh, it looks like I noticed it in time. <laughs> I had a solid 30 seconds left. Can you believe it? Me, of all people. You're not getting this one past me. Hey! Why did you aggro? What, what is going on with these? What happened? All of a sudden. But we could we could make it. It's fine, right? It's fine. <laughs> I just need to actually hit the doom on the coin count, please. I beg. And I'm not hitting this doom, am I? All right. Well, you know what? It was nice knowing you, coin counter. I hope you. I hope you have a great day. My weapon is at zero percent. <laughs> Oh, uh, God. Watching all the old solo videos and streams just feels you hadn't subbed yet. Oh, well, thank you very much, Nate. Thank you indeed. Maybe, you know, maybe other people are watching that are not subbed to the YouTube channel. You could press the funny little button. That would be great. That's a very nice one. Thank you for the tier one, Kenda. It's incredibly kind of you. Yeah, the weapon has no stats. So long as we get to do it. So long as I can keep casting my spells, that's all we need. I want to think about maybe repair it. No. What? Why do I... No. No, no, no. Why would, why would I ever have to repair it? What does repairing it do for me, really? When you think about it? This is... 
How does one subscribe? Well, I think if you look directly below the YouTube stream video, there should be a funny little button that says subscribe. Also, fun fact. Uh, did you know that, I don't know, I doubt it works on streams, but did you know that now in YouTube videos, when somebody says the word subscribe, there's a little rainbow effect that goes around the subscribe button. That's not a joke. That's real. And that's not just me trying to get you to look at the subscribe button and hit it. Like, that's real. That's a real thing. Are you misremembering, or does Boss XP and Dungeon go up with the amount of mobs you kill on the way? That's an old thing, I thought. I'm pretty sure... I don't think it should change. That's a decent question, though. If I kill more mobs, will I get more XP? It also does the same for like. Oh, really? It's kind of cool. It'd be more efficient to get petrified from Hawk Manor to drill cannons one hit immortals. Um, no, they have to be a level. They have to be level five, or a. a they have to be a number divisible by five. Their level has to be. So, and sadly, it will not work. Yeah, it's just the XP on the bosses now. So. It only works if you were previously subscribed. You can see it if you unsubscribe. Oh, no, don't do that. You don't understand. I, I need this. My family. Think of my children. When Dawn Trail comes out, will Solo suddenly and violently become a furry? Since we're getting both goals in Dawn Trail. <laughs> uh, probably not, Endor, but you know what? It is It is an option, I suppose. We're going to have to make a Hrothgal at some point. I'm not sure what challenge would be good for a Hrothgal, but I'm sure I'll think of one. Ugh. <sighs> Bad. Gridania only? No, Gridania only has to be an old man. Bajja only. That's a good idea. How do I do Bajja only? <laughs> oh, the craft every hat challenge? That would be perfect, you're correct. You get to boss shit, then I only do boss. Okay. I'm I'm picking up what you're putting down. One question. When when does when do we stop doing boss shit? Is there something we're doing boss shit for, or are we just doing boss shit? Because I would I could just do boss shit. Have to get every relic to max tier. Oh, okay. Not bad. Not bad. Every achievement. Oh, no. You're talking about doing the duels. No way. Absolutely not. I cannot do those duels for the life of me. Get to Baja and then only do Baja. Isn't that just how you play Final Fantasy XIV? Uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, you might be right. I think that is just how you play Final Fantasy XIV. That's how I played it, at least. When Bajja originally came... I love Bajja. Bajja is an absolute masterpiece. Uh, it gave me Delibrum Regine Savage, my favorite piece of content in the entire game. Field notes would mean I'd have to do the duels. <laughs> I would... Wait, there's, there's another way to get the field notes, actually. Right? How do you get the the dual field notes if not from the duels? Every job that came out when Hroths were added to level 90, so the Shadowbreaker jobs, Endwalker jobs, and Dawn Trail jobs. Oh, maybe. Do a Femdroth to Helen's any helpers from the chat should play a male Hroth guard. That's a good idea. Lore accurate Hroth gal playthrough. Good. An easy first cast of Doom. This is great. 
Can we keep that up? It's about to be to 100. That's a good point. It will soon be to 100. Decent only? See how much of the crafting log you complete without ever getting a gather. Ooh! That one's going on a list. Uh, future plans. Where is it? Orem Veil speedrun is still in my to-do list. Well, it's a good thing that I already did that. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one will be... What did, what did you just say it was? I've completely forgotten. I could just read chat. Hold on. Give me two seconds. Decent only. That's what it is. Perfect. D uh, d uh, d d sin only. Without ever gathering. That's a pretty good one. I'm I'm liking it. I'm gonna take that's that's a genius. I appreciate the line. It's very kind of you. Uh where am I going? Sadly for Gordania only, we can't live in Palace of the Dead. Because to unlock Palace of the Dead, you have to leave Gridania. So it is not an available option. It is tragic, but sadly how the game is made. You have to be level 30 and a Disciple of Hand to unlock Decent. Do you actually? Or Disciple of Hand, that's... That's not so bad, right? There's a disciple of, okay, well, let's just. I despise everything. Get me out. <laughs> this is, what does it have to be Orem Vale? What does Orem Vale have to be the good one for grinding? Can't you store a skip for Palace of the Dead? You can, but the, the reason that I don't... The the thing is that with Limsa, I had... I didn't story skip, I level skipped. And that was a requirement to be able to do it. There was genuinely nothing I could do without that. If I didn't level skip, I'd never be able to unlock Fisher, And so I just couldn't do the challenge. Um, unless I just took an exception at the very beginning of the challenge. That just said, actually, I can just leave, and then it's it's fine. Um, so to avoid that, I did uh, anything else. And by anything else, I mean I went through and I got the uh, level skip so that I could unlock the class. But it was just to unlock the class, right? Doing a story skip, I wouldn't have done on Limsa either. Because a story skip unlocks things that I shouldn't have access to in just Limsa. It's not really as fun, you know? Because then I'm not really being restricted. The labored leaf critical hit life ruining. The, this frog not getting doomed is life ruining. I've used up more than half my mana just to doom this one frog. Please, I'm desperate just to hit the doom. Oh my god. Oof. I hate you so much. <laughs> I, I, I can't. I can't with this dungeon, dude. Why did it have to be Orem Vale? Why couldn't it have been anything else? What? Why was it Orem Vale? Uh, have a doom. Have a doom. Have a doom. 
Have a doom. Have a doom. Oh, there we go. Okay. Huge. Successful doom. And now we're done. Great. <sighs> All roads lead back to Vale. I would like any road that does not lead here, please. I'll make it myself if I have to. I hate this. Doom has 33% accuracy. Somebody go back and check how many missed. I would love to know the actual chances of me missing that many dooms. It'd be very appreciated. Time to switch to Dusk Vigil. Now that you mention it... Well, I can't skip the ads for Dusk Vigil is the problem. But that would be nice. Just to cast the Doom, please, at the very least. You don't have to hit it every single time, because I know you're not going to, but if you could just cast it. Would I prefer the, the grind to be against Batral? No. No. Why does it have to be Ormvale? Couldn't you use a lower level dungeon just more times? Uh, we could do like a, a really lower level dungeon, but the main issue is um, having a dungeon that we're able to skip the enemies on to get to the first boss. Uh, and then this one has two bosses, so that's an even bigger one that we can skip enemies for. And then past that, it just needs to be enough experience out of it that we can do it within the 100 instances that I am allowed to have per day. It's, a, it's not a super commonly known fact, but if you enter 100 dungeon instances within a day, you are no longer allowed to do any more until the 24-hour cycle is up. This is Blue Mage content. It must be. Uh, this is weighing on my mind. This is a grind, all right. So I get... I have 163,000 for that. 93,000. Let me just be exact here. 163 plus 93. So we get 256,000 XP per run. 256,000 XP per run. Meaning... Right now, I have to do six to level up again. I'm going to have to do seven at the next level, eight at the level after that. I need eight levels here. So six to level up, seven on my next level, and then I'll be level 64. Eight to get from level 64 to 65. Nine to get from 65 to 66. So that's 30 runs of Orem Vale. And then we're at level 66, which means I don't get armory bonus anymore. So we have to take off 100% from our plus 300% bonus. So I guess I get plus 306%. So instead of to 256 divided by 3 times 2, so we'll get 171,000 XP per run. Uh, are the ones that be 9? So it'll be like 2. Uh, let me pull up the XP chart. FFXIV XP chart. Experience point chart for Final Fantasy fourteen. I would appreciate if this ever loaded. Uh, hold on. We're loading. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Yeah. No, it's not um, killing the fate mobs, Jade. It's you level sync within the fate and then kill the mobs that are around it that are the normal overworld mobs so you get the boosted experience 
Uh, and since you are level synced to a level below them, you would get the full experience from them, unlike currently, where I would get a uh, heavily reduced experience. So from 66 to 70. 66 to 70. 1 million 968,000. 1968, uh, 216, 2317, and 2550, divided by 171. <sighs> From 66 to 70 on Blue Mage, I'm going to have to run Orem Vale 83 times. Eighty three times? And that's just from where I am right now. How many times have I done Orem Vale so far today? We're actually really, really close to running out of instances to hit this level. To get to level 70 moves from current level. Uh, man. Okay, yeah, let's I'm gonna I'm gonna test out the fate mobs like you were talking about. Um somebody said Northern Thanaline a second ago. So I will check out Northern Thanaline. That that will genuinely just about hit limit. I don't know who needs to repair gear. Goodbye. Look at this. We're fine. We're fine. It's just the weapon that's broken. Everything else is perfect. Is it the wing space that's the problem? Have you done no, no, no. It's a uh, sable price is the problem. It's basically a titan jail that if somebody else doesn't kill it, I take 10 million damage. So. New Auroville speedrun stream. Please, I cannot. I couldn't. Uh. If we had Ultra Vibration... I'd say it would probably be easier to do um, dungeons, but I don't know. I just don't know. I'm level 52. Maybe I don't even have to doom it. Maybe I can just kill it. Take off Mighty Guard, just hit it, do damage, it does. That's for 8,000 XP. That's not great. Okay. So that's 8,000 XP from a mob there. Where else? Actually, it should be 84 runs. Even better. Fantastic. What are we leveling? And am I trying to defeat the dungeon or the trial? We're trying to defeat the dungeon, the airy. I'm leveling up Blue Mage so that I can reach level 70 so that we can unlock Reaper so I can use Reaper as DPS for it. I'm not seeing any. Maybe the Red Baron? Okay. I was synced for that XP, yes. I was synced for the XP and it gave... Uh, 8,652. But I was three levels above the mob, even with the fate level sink. I'm not sure there's going to be anything within two levels of me here. I mean, this one isn't bad. It's gonna be a lot of mobs, but... Hold on, so we're level synced...
Does Reaper do enough damage for the dungeon? Uh, ideally, yes, but we're not particularly sure. Yeah, we're getting 8,700 XP for this. Not an amazing amount. It would be better at this point to just do the under-leveled mobs at, um... It'd be better to just do under-leveled mobs back at the Vots. I wonder how long the Vots will still give us decent experience. And no level 50 mobs in the overworld in Realm Reborn, and 49 fates sink to level 52. Yeah, okay. So that is tragic. I'm gonna maybe look around a little bit, see how much the Vots give now that we're well above their level, but... Uh, yeah, let's let's head back to Heaven's Word for now. Where was it? Dravinian Forelands, I think? Annex Trine-ish? Does killing S-Ranks help? No, but that would be nice. I wish. Okay. Check this out. We could see how much XP the, um... Dusk Vigil first boss gives. We'll, we'll check the XP on other bosses. Yeah, it might be longer to do them, but if they give more XP, it would be worth it. I'm really just trying to... What's the really long place name that I know ever made him? The First Tech Ethereal Observatorium of Ethereal and Astrological Phenomena? That's it's right over it's right over in uh, Coerthus Central. It's my favorite spot. It's a masterpiece. Okay, so let me let me just check something else because I average like three to four minutes for an Orem Veil vale run. So if we're talking four minutes per Orem Veil vale run, let's just say three and a half to to be as accurate as possible. Three and a half minutes, and I have to do 84 runs. 83, 84-ish. That's five hours of Aurum Vale. No, no, thank you. <laughs> I would, I would like to do anything else. <laughs> oh, God. Better get started. No, you know what? I don't, I don't think I will, actually. I don't, I don't think I will. Okay. I believe these fire drones are the highest level thing I have access to. So let's go back to dooming them. And see how that looks. So, one of these fire drones, well, we are five levels above them. That's what we're looking at. 25,000 XP. Twenty five thousand XP is not that bad. That means four Vots, and I've killed the first boss of Warren Vale. Is the first boss of Warren Vale faster than that? Yeah. But then I don't have to be in Warren Vale. I do still have terrible Doom luck, but, you know. Yeah, this has basically turned into an entire stream so far of how do I not run Orem Vale 90 times because I can't put up with that. <laughs> I, it was bad enough for the few times we had to do it. If I had some way where I could ignore the first set of mobs and I didn't have to worry about it, then I probably wouldn't care so much about Orem Vale. 
but just the inconsistency of that first room, it drives me crazy, dude. Thank you for the posture check. I will sit up straight. Oh, good. I'm wearing... I... Okay. Listen. I'm wearing jeans today. I don't wear jeans, right? This is not a thing that I ever wear. I basically wear exclusively basketball shorts. Like the... The, the, the silky fabric shorts, the, the stretchy ones, that's all I ever wear, really. And today I'm wearing jeans, and I am reminded constantly why I don't wear jeans. Because this this is not a comfortable fabric. I, I don't get it. I could see it if I was like... If I was outdoors, if I was not just sitting at my computer, I could see wearing jeans. Because, like, this is a pretty a pretty good protection from the outside. But any other time, just no way. Gotta get the right jeans? Okay, maybe. Jeans are an elegant conspiracy. I like that one, actually. Speaking of horrible or better, I just finished 2,000 mentor roulettes. Oh my god, congratulations, you're done! 2,000 mentor roulettes, you'd ever have to go back. You've got the big fancy horse. I'm incredibly jealous. Maybe one day I will be able to do mentor roulette. That'd be, that'd be a dream. I'm... Just in case I haven't. Just in case I haven't mentioned it before. I, on my main character, I have some odd, like, 1,500 to 2,000 hours of playtime. Uh, I have played on that character for well over five years. And I have maybe, maybe 450 commendations. It is a curse. Do I instantly leave duties? No, I don't. I say hello to people. I say goodbye to people. I tell them they did a great job. I only ever say nice things, but they just hate me. I don't get it. I play DPS, but even when I play my healers, I mean, I leveled up my white mage pretty far with dungeons. I leveled up my tanks pretty far with dungeons. But still, there's just nobody. No commendations. No alms for this poor, poor man. Well, I only play red mage on mage, but I don't ever do my daily roulettes on red mage. That would be insane. That's why I don't do my daily roulettes. It's because I'm an Elizin. Oh. I could believe that one, yeah. Food buff wore off? Oh, thank you, Sacred. We gotta get more food. I gotta go get some boiled eggs or something. Maybe I always wear headgear. Is that a reason? Because I'm wearing headgear? Sitting here on almost 4,000 cobs are you doing? What the heck? What the heck? For the majority of your commands as a sprout femro wearing skimpy glamours while healing people? Ah, yes. So that sounds great. I was thinking I was I was desperate one day. A very long time ago. I was like, I need to get commendations. I want to be a mentor. I want the big horse. Uh... And so I, there's a, there's a strategy to get commendations, right? You queue in to a piece of content that no one ever does, right? You queue in to like the easiest extreme trial from a specific expansion. And you queue in with seven other people on purpose and then you clear the fight, and then all seven of those people 
give you the commendation. It's a good plan, but firstly, no one was ever willing to do it. And then secondly, uh, it's way too much work, so... Guild tests is the meta, by the way, for comms? Really? So, like, I just spam guild tests and then I get a million commendations? The real way is to do crystal conflict and save for like 10 seconds after the match. Granted, a lot of comms that way. I, uh, that's, that's not a bad idea. Okay, I can kind of get, I can get behind that. We have 14 seconds to get the doom on this loft. Otherwise, it's all over for us. This field, this is so much better. I'm so glad we're out of Ormville. I'm so glad. You earned your crown authentically and naturally. Well, some of us aren't as cool as you, Medi, all right? I'm sorry. Isn't commendation thingy illegal? Probably. Another reason as to why I never do it, I, uh, I still have absolutely zero commendations. But, you know, it's just one of those. It's just the, the mumblings of a desperate man. Can't escape Orimville forever? I will. I, I will escape Orimville for as long as I possibly can. And please let that be forever. I beg. I mean, the lower level ones weren't that bad, right? So really, I could just go over here to this fate and then use that to level sync. I don't have to do it in Northern Tanland, right? We could do it over here. I just use any fate in these areas to, to, to sync. And then we'd still be getting like 40,000 XP. Which, way better than Orm Vale. As long as you don't have to level up any more jobs, you should be safe. Yeah, the, uh, please. <laughs> any other leveling and I would lose my mind. Once you get a mentor, once you get a mentor crown, if you play as a tank, you drown in commends. Oh, of course. We... We give the commendations to those that do not need it. It's the, it's the trickle-down commendation system. If we give all of the commendations to the tanks, then eventually the DPS will get it. <laughs> because the tanks will give it to the DPS, of course. Gonna need a level 80 Pictomancer for Stormblood? Please, no, anything but- Well, I mean, at least once we're in Stormblood, that's fine, right? Because when we get to Stormblood, I can do Heaven on High. And Heaven on High means that we're- we're good. Heaven on High, I'm done. I can just spam Heaven on High forever. I need to spam Heaven on High anyway, because I want a title from it. I want to get the Lone Hero title. Very important title. Very cool. Very fitting for the whole solo aesthetic. I, uh, I haven't done pretty much any roulettes since they added glamour plates, but I have a feeling that maybe if I had done roulettes after glamour plates were introduced, I would have gotten a lot more comms because I love, I love my glamour plate. It's a masterpiece. Of course, Solo doesn't have a glamour plate because then other people would look at him. That's how you do it. You get a cute glamour plate and do roulettes, of course. Heaven on High is far better than Palace. I can, I, I can, I can kind of believe it. I liked Heaven on High a lot more when I was doing it. Uh, I think I just have a soft spot in my heart for Palace of the Dead, just because it was the first one. But really, it's it's closer to. Um, you just get the, what what is it called the. The shiny rocks that I'm not allowed to eat that summon the the big guys. I don't remember. Magicite, that's what it is. Yeah. The Magicites is just super cool. That was that was a fantastic addition. I love those. It's probably my favorite bit of Heaven on High. 
mechanics and having a higher better, but the theme in Palace of the Dead is the best. I can give you that. I really also liked um, the giant empty rooms. Or, not empty, but the giant open floors is the better way to put it, uh, in Heaven on High. So, where, if you haven't done Heaven on High, you'll spawn into a floor, and instead of it being a bunch of different rooms connected by passageways, it's just one gigantic room. That, that was, that was pretty fun. That was a fun time. I didn't particularly appreciate them having mimics for the teleport to the next floor. That one made me a little upset, but you know what? At least it was funny. So. Ah, <sighs> okay. Yeah, we're using it to get past Nidhogg, ideally. That's the dream at the very least. Once we have Reaper around, life should be better. It's just how long is it going to take me to get to Reaper at this point? It shouldn't be too bad at the current going rate with the with these little guys. I think this is genuinely faster than Orem Vale was, I'll be honest. But I can't be too sure. I really just don't know. Got out of the corner of my eye, I can just see the little pups just kind of running around in my backyard. It's a, it's a strange experience. I'm very easily distracted by movement in, like, my uh, peripheral vision. And so having the little pups dashing around in my vision is, is pulling me away every once in a while. Had an Odin one and one hit the 60 boss, not realizing what it was. I don't even really know what the Odin one does either. I'm pretty sure it's the only Magicite you can use on a boss that actually does something, right? Move to Churning Mists and Doom higher level enemies for even more XP. Is there a higher level enemy in Churning Mists that we can reach? That is the important caveat there. Because I believe... We came over to Dravanian Forelands because level 57 is the highest we have access to right now. There's a 56 that's out of reach? Okay. Because we can't, we can't fly there just yet. It'll be a while before we can get flight and churning mists. So it has to be on that initial map. If there's any gaps between the the main map and whatever location we just won't be able to access it there's a few spots in sea of clouds as well that are like that that's really all it does is keep us away from the crafting and gathering materials that we need it is a tragedy but it's fine it's one of those high level enemies in the mist require flights okay yeah, gotcha then. Understandable. These Loth will be our, our best then for a good while. And then after that, I guess we'll probably use Fates. It wouldn't... It, it'll it probably just be best to start using Fates kind of soon. Because if we... I'll, I'll get one level and then see how much XP we get being six levels above them. And then after that, we'll probably swap over to Fates. Hello, uh, sorry you're late to stream, you're catching up on insomnia sleep. Well, I'm glad that you at least got to sleep. That's the most important. Yeah. Having some rest is very important every day. I was very curious the other day. There's, um... There's a, a weird bit for sleep. Uh, that... Most mammals have a biphasic sleep schedule. And what that means is that they sleep twice in separate instances to get all of the rest that they need. Um, and we have monophasic, but it is not by choice. It was just like 
we started sleeping once instead of twice, just when around the Industrial Revolution-ish time. And, uh, apparently, biphasic sleep can be very good for you. But it's also, you know, it depends on the person, I suppose. Because you can't really just say, like, oh, you should sleep like this. Because, uh, everybody's a little bit different. Okay. And now we can check how much experience they give at level 63. Level 63, we get... 20,000? 20,000 XP is really not that bad. Dropping by 5k is not the most painful thing in the world. I'm not super happy about it. It's not... I don't want to continue fighting these enemies, but it is not the worst. Let's head over to Churning Mists. And see how the fates and churning mists look. All the Mediterranean countries still have a biphasic sleep schedule. It's called siesta. I would love to have a biphasic sleep schedule. That sounds wonderful. Level 55 fate, level 55, level 54. Maybe level 54 is going to be the good one. Because we'll be within two levels of the fate level, right? Or three levels of the fate level. Which is it? Either way, this should bring us the closest to the enemies around here. Unless there's level 50... 55s over there? Maybe? Should probably check with my eyeballs, but I'm just kind of guessing. We're just gonna... we'll just take the guess. Just progress MSQ, you're right! Oh, jeez. Even if it's not faster, you see, still seem to like it better than 5 hours of Orimville. Yeah, very true. I do like it much better than 5 hours of Orimville. What do you mean you got what? What? I only noticed the movement, so if I miss the first bit, it's over. It's all over, dude. Can't believe this. Hmm. Okay. Level 54-ish. Moss Dragon. Great. I interact with Mogpo the Magnificent. I begin the level 54 fate. I level sync. I'm level 58. This is not particularly what I wanted. It's not the end of the world, at least. It's not terrible. But a four level difference is not great. Getting 21,000 XP for this. And I can't reach that dragon. Yeah, 21,000 XP is not fantastic. Let's check, I... Uh, never mind. I was gonna say let's go check out the level 55 one, but, um, nope. We shall not. Yeah, this is the same XP as the Voth, you're right. Huh. Are those two Bukles just slap each other? I, I believe so, yes. I think that is actually just the whole fight. And then I have to heal this little guy so that I don't fail the fate. Hold on, buddy, I'm covered. I'm gonna help, I'm gonna save you. Never mind, I'm not. Well, as soon as that dragon dies, we can get the heck out of here. Yeah, another 21,000 XP. Not incredible. But manageable, I suppose. Where else could we go? Check out Coerthus Western, maybe? Blue Prog done, still cleaning up lions, but more consistent. Oh, good luck. The, the lions is truly the worst. One sub equals one Aurum Vale run? Absolutely not. No, I could never. What level does this fate drag me down to? 
Am I four levels above a level 50 fate? Yes. Okay, bye, have fun. It was nice to see you, Mr. Spiked Butt. What? What? What, what is this guy's title? <laughs> what is happening? New, newly knighted, Aylenbird of the Spiked Butt cannot understand why people are always laughing behind his back, so to prove he is worthy of their respect, he sees a, seeks a battle-hearted opponent with whom he may cross steel. I see. Alright, well... What, what, are, I'm, I'm saving those, hold on. I'm putting those in my back pocket. And by back pocket, I mean I'm sending them to Melvina's Discord so that I have them for later. Okay. Oh, wah ho ho goes in for the kill. The spiked butt shall be proven today, and I will not be around to see it. I wish you the best, Mr. Butt. Okay. So... Hmm. Oh, Mr. Butt was his father. My mistake. My mistake. Yeah, alright. I'm a little concerned still about the sheer number of Orem Vale runs I'm probably going to be forced into. Hmm. It's always synced for four levels higher, unless if it hits the level cap for that expansion. Daily level 56 to 60 fates, which you don't think we have access to. No, I don't think it's to the level cap for expansion, because we were in a Realm Reborn, but I capped at level 52 for the 49 fate. Don't do Orem Velga, the first boss of the area, try? Okay. We can give that an attempt. Why not? The annoying bit is going to be getting to it, but we'll see how much XP it gives. I've never been so desperate for experience in my life. Uh, we Mighty Guard and Basic Instinct and the Toad Oil and all that jazz. We're buffed up. We're ready to go. the first boss could be do why are we why are we booing what i missed the butt oh i'm sorry my mistake I, I couldn't help myself i needed to step away is that can that be my pride and joy am i am i now immune to the male gaze because i turned away from the spiked butt Okay, that's fully resisted, so that is not a great enemy for me. Can I tail screw? No, fully resisted, okay. I have to kill this one completely normally. But past that, the rest should be fun. I think there's going to be one more sprite, actually, now that I think about it more. Why must the grind for elemental shards be everlasting? It is a curse upon us all. A curse upon us all, indeed. There is no immunity to the male gaze, for each gaze is different. I see, I see. A tragedy. I thought I had finally cracked the code. And then we just gotta doom this dragon. Also, it has a 10% hit chance, but it will tell you 
when you hit something, uh, there's a difference between a miss and an immunity. So if I miss on the dragon, it says doom missed, right? Uh, but if it's completely immune and it can't be hit by the thing, then it's, um, it says fully resisted instead. I'm immune to your gate. I, I am. I, I am indeed. Jade, you're, you must, you must level up your gaze to, to harm me. I am far too powerful. None can escape my eternal gaze. It's true, very true. All right, you know what? I'll give you that. Blue's great here. Maybe you should do the MSQ with it. Oh yeah, you're right. That's a good. That's a good idea. Okay, okay. Something about the audio in this dungeon sounds like a mosquito buzzing in your ear, and you hate it. It's the lightning crackling. That's what it is. There, there's ambient lightning. That's the yeah. That's the mosquito. Rhonda, I would appreciate if you could be doomed real quick. Okay, there's the doom. Great. Now, can I stun you? I believe the answer is no. I cannot. Can I freeze you? I cannot. All right. So we run for it. And... Eh. Four minutes for 130,000 XP. It would be better to do Orem Vale. As much as I hate the idea. It's tragic, but not not worth it. Seven Voth. Yeah, I think... Back to the pit. Uh, return to the Voth. We must go back. We need endless amounts of experience. Yeah, we can't get over to Stormblood. That's the real shtick. It would be amazing. Uh, that would be so nice, but sadly not. The Veil calls. No, I don't, I don't want to go back to Veil. I can't put up with it. It's too much. Even just from level 66 to 70. It would take 53 runs of Orem Veil. So, like, I... J Even when I lose the armory bonus, I st it's still gonna be so many Orem Veils. <laughs> Sent you some images of how you lined yourself up? Okay, okay. You yearn for the mines? The children? They yearn for the mines, of course. We're getting Reaper. That's the whole shtick of why we're leveling right now. Just got blue to 70. How are you doing? I'm doing absolutely horrific at the moment, so I hope you're doing great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Orem Vale is optimal because we can dodge pretty much every mob if we get lucky with the frogs in first room. Uh, and both bosses are doomable. So per instance use, we get more experience. If we could get, like, half of the experience. If I could get, like, 180k XP from just the first boss of something that was doomable, and I could do that within a minute, that one would be better. But it's it's the, the time sink comparatively. The level 50 dungeons don't normally give experience. And most of them are blocked off to first boss. Like, you'll have to do something to get there. Does Snowcloak have a... Uh, yes, yeah, Snowcloak has a barrier between before first boss. Keeper of the Lake has barriers before first boss. Dusk Vigil is... Dusk Vigil has two barriers before first boss, I think. And then it still wouldn't be enough XP, because we can't doom the second one. So in dungeons, I think there's really no question about it. Orem Vale is genuinely just the best dungeon for XP. So I'm gonna have to do it at some point. 
All right. I'll put it off for now. I will continue to farm. Um, I'll continue to farm off the Voth for a bit. And then once we're too high of a level for it to be worth it anymore, then we'll go. Isn't Blue Mage locked out from unlocking normal dumps? No, it is not. Uh, Blue Mage is only locked from doing MSQ. That's basically the only thing that it can't do. It can't complete or interact with main scenario quests. Everything else it can do. Everything else is fine. Suck it up, my lord. One day I shall. Need the clip of Wrath saying Orb Veil is the best dungeon? When was that ever? I, that couldn't have been me. You must be thinking of someone else. Do I have unlearned spells? Uh, Yeah, I probably have a good few unlearned spells. I I didn't do too many spell unlocks, so we'd, we'd have a good bit that we could go through. I said it less than a minute ago, did I? Oh, no. One-tenth? Wait, really? Learning a spell gives me 160k? Oh, my God. That's fantastic. I love this. This is, this is a great, this is a great life. Trevanian Hinterlands, I can't go there. As a slot, I can't go. Sea of Clouds, what is that one? I think that's probably the whistle that I haven't gotten yet. Another Sea of Clouds, maybe? Coarthus Western, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's, yeah. Why not? We go do, uh, go do some of that. A little bit of, a little bit of unlocking. Battle in the big keep, Howling Eye, EX, Agatha Amphitheater, Striking Tree, Naval, Dragon's Neck, Stone Vigil, Reflux, Pharos, Wondrous Oh, there's not a lot of... There's not really a lot of spells that we can learn. If it's a flat percent of XP, it's better to save for later on. If, oh, that is true, yeah. Because Reddit was saying no, but the post was from four months ago, so maybe it's doable now. Oh, no, it was... I'm pretty sure it would always have been doable if it was doable now. Want to wait to learn spells when Voth don't get the good XP anymore. That might be a good idea, yeah. Maybe just delaying the spell learning. Much like the challenge log. I get you. Not, not a bad plan. Not a bad plan at all. How many runs of palace would I have to do on my warrior from 51 to 60? You can learn spells unsynced. You just have a, it's a chance to learn them unsynced. If you go in level synced, then you get a guaranteed spell. That's 70k for 50 to 60? Hmm. I'm wondering at this point if Blue Mage really is still the best option for leveling. Or if it might just be worth it. Might just be worth it to, uh... Hmm. Level up my warrior instead. Really, the more I put this off, the longer it's going to take, right? So I just have to find a thing that I'm going to do and stick with it for a while. So let's just be stuck on the Voth until the Voth gives so little experience that no human being should ever willingly kill these things. Just tested, you can't use Loom to move faster while walking without triggering sound aggro. That is tragic. Gotta be honest, find a podcast, turn off the stream, do that. No, 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 no. You get to suffer with me. It, if the stream goes off, I'm working on the video. I'm not working on this. I have, I have video work to do. So you get to enjoy the wonders of murdering Vods. 
I should do a challenge where I do it with only a controller. Oh, jeez. <laughs> It was, it was a great challenge. No, that that would be too much for me. Not worrying for you worrying for oh okay, you're worrying for me, not for you. Understandable. Well, it, it'll be fine. If anything, it's easier for me to do it when I have all of the folks here hanging out in chat because then I can just tell you crazy stories, or we can just sit here and talk about meaningless things for a while, and then I don't go crazy. Do the Anzu and Sea of Clouds give less XP? They're almost 60 months. I don't think we can reach them, is the problem. Because I don't have flight in Sea of Clouds. And I can't get flight in Sea of Clouds, I don't think. Also, food buff is very true. I should probably have the food buff on. But, hear me out. What if I didn't? Because how big of a deal is food buff? It, it'd be 6%, right? If it's a 6% buff, uh, that's going to be kind of significant over 8 million experience. 1% would be 80,000. So... Yeah... That's an extra 480,000 XP I don't have to get on my own. So at the current rate, that's... 24 Voths I don't have to kill. Grapes for 3%? Maybe. Maybe that's not a bad idea. See if Cloud's Flight requires Bismarck, so... Ah, oh, okay, great. <sighs> a tragedy. Is there anywhere that I can get... Light. Every hour of no food buff is another Orem Veil run at minimum. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We can grab some. We can grab some little snacks. Oh, I have lemons. Perfect. Where did the lemons go? Lemons? Oh, there you are. And just put you away. No, don't put it set there. Thank you very much for the follow, Tevin. It's very kind of you. Oh, we should do our dragon skin. Maybe to, to spice things up a bit. I guess... What do I need to be able to do the portal if we get it? I'd probably go in on my warrior, right? And then whatever my warrior gear is, I should be able to handle it. I hope, at least. Well, then make lemonade, my lord. No, no, no. We don't have to go that far. I could just eat the lemon. Hello, Meryl. Welcome. I can only fly in the first two zones. Yeah, and the first zone would require Dusk Vigil Clear. So that wouldn't really be worth it. And I'm not sure there's anywhere in the first zone in um, Western that is blocked by flight. Nor is there anything in Dravanian Hinterlands that's blocked by flight. So yeah. Nothing too useful and no flight available. We're just stuck grinding these. The Veil really took a toll on him if he's eating raw lemons. Hey, they're honey lemons, okay? Rare type of lemon native to the continent of Othart is so sweet that it can be eaten raw. So it's fine. It's perfect. There's a scholar quest that needs flight? Really? That's kind of gross. I hate that. Does Vigil has a spell you can learn? Is it from Final Boss? Because Final Boss is the problem with Dusk Vigil, honestly. Everything else I got through pretty easily, but the griffin does a crazy amount of damage. You would eat a lemon raw? Uh, I, I hope that you do not suffer sores for such an action. 
The gale from that griffin can be learned in Sea of Clouds. That would probably be way better. It's a top of ship with no way up besides flight. Oh, perfect. Uh, at least the, um... The warrior quest didn't need that, that I remember. A warrior was pretty good to me. We got all the way up to 58. I don't think we needed flight. Do we need... Did we need flight for the next warrior quest or something? Is that why I stopped doing them? Or did I just stop because I didn't get anything? Warrior goes into Coerthus Western once. Oh. Well, fantastic. You know what? I just need to not worry about it. I, I've turned my brain off at this point. While dealing with these, but while dealing with the Voth, the Loth, excuse me, I guess they're not Voth. I'm going to maybe change where Doom is so I don't have to keep hitting control. And instead I could, well, there goes, there goes that one. Instead I could just press one. And then I can sleep them with two now, which this is the strat. How high level you are compared to the Loth, you'd probably kill them faster through pure damage. The problem is that I, I don't have the pure damage because I would need to upgrade my equipment to have the, the damage equivalent to my level. Uh, Blue Mage is mostly buffed off of uh, Int, I believe. So the majority of my damage comes from a high intelligence stat. Uh, blue mages are the type of people that'll go around and say that they had a very high IQ as a child. Mr. Streamer, I feel weird about joining discords, but you also want the help for solo. Well, uh, what what seems to be your fear for the solo? Because I would love to be able to, to help you, and I would love to be able to have you in the discord in the easiest of situations. If there is a way I can make you comfortable with the discord, I would be happy to. It's generally a very nice little spot. It's... We got a lot of very nice people. It's not normal to eat raw lemons. I would not particularly consider it normal on a first run, but maybe. Maybe on like your second or third run, eating raw lemons wouldn't be too bad. Depends how many cycles you're through, I guess. This isn't relevant, but you'd eat a raw onion. I... My gut reaction to that is to say same. But I would probably, at most, do a bite of a raw onion. A red onion, specifically. I would just bite straight into that. I like having raw red onion on my sandwiches, so I don't see why I wouldn't like it otherwise. Don't recall the rules, is Materia allowed on Solo? Yes, Materia is allowed on Solo. You just have to source it yourself. I'm in southern Italy, and around here it's very common for older people to eat raw lemons with either salt or sugar sprinkled on top. That's, uh, that's kind of cute, though. That's kind of nice. Okay, I can see it. I, um... The one thing that I can say is that I don't know if I would do an entire, like, clove. But I could probably eat, like, a, a decent bit of just raw garlic. I'm a bit of a garlic fiend myself, so... Pickled onions are simply the best. I haven't actually really had pickled onions, now that you mention it. Maybe I should try them out. Red onion, is it actually that? No, red onions are fantastic. I love red onions. They're delicious. You just have to uh, specifically put them on a sub sandwich. And then get to a point in your life where sandwiches are only as good as the red onions that you put on them. And otherwise they have a gaping hole that nothing can fill. And then you move to an area where absolutely no sandwich shop offers red onions on your sandwich. So if you ever want a good sandwich, you have to make the sandwich yourself because nobody else will make a sandwich to your actual desires. It's just yellow onion or white onion, which is notably sweeter and not the same. And I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not projecting. I think you're the one that's projecting.
Anyway, what was I, what was I saying? You tasted it for days? You physically cannot, couldn't stop tasting the onion? Uh, that said, I like the taste of onion is my thing. An oddly specific discussion. No, 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 no. It's, it's a very general discussion, I would like to think. Pretty sure everybody has experienced it. Think pickled radish left over in your fridge from a recipe you made? What do people think you should do with pickled radish? Um, eat it. Do I prefer yellow or white onions for pasta sauces? Hmm. Uh, probably white onion, because yellow onion is a, is, is a bit too sweet, you know? Like, it doesn't really have the, the bite that, it doesn't, it doesn't have, like, the, the, the kick that an onion should have. It's a very weak onion flavor from a yellow onion. Onion is bis for sandwich, not gonna lie. Very true, very true. I, uh, I feel like I'm at a very strange point in my life where I have a set list of things that I would put on a sandwich. And if those things are not available, I will just not have a sandwich. Right? I'm, I'm not willing to compromise. It has to be the, like, very specifically some kind of turkey and or uh, chicken breast. Um, and then spinach, very important. Onion, I, I can be, I can live without, I guess, but I'll be very sad. Uh, and then a, a nice tomato. Is, is integral. It's very important. I had a I got a panini press a while ago, a very long time ago for the Christmas one year, from uh, that I got a lot of use out of that panini press, but I haven't used it recently. I wonder why. Because it just hadn't really popped into my head. The irony of crying about no onions. It's truly. An, an irony I strive for in all of my daily life. I should make paninis. They're very good. It's honestly the, the ideal form of food. Panini recipes when? Uh, d I don't know. Maybe, maybe never. Who knows? Not a fan of onions, at least not a lot. I can understand it. I know I, I, I have a, a few folks that, um, I know that don't like onions. So I, I can kind of get it. At least I will... When I make the spinach puffs, um, I will create for you a separate batch of spinach puff that does not have shallots in it. And hopefully that will make it a better experience. That's what I did for uh, my coworker once. I had... I was bringing in... We were doing some kind of potluck-esque thing, but we were just bringing in a lot of food so we could all eat together. Um, and one of my co-workers really does not like onion. And I brought in a, a thing of spinach puffs to, to share with everybody. And I made a singular spinach puff that had zero onion in it. I made the whole mixture separate in a different pan. I, I baked it in a separate area so it wouldn't get cross-contaminated with the onion. You would think that they were allergic to it, but they actually just don't like onion. <laughs> and you know, I brought it- I brought it in. It was just a single lone spinach puff. It was a very nice experience, I'd like to think. Hmm. I couldn't understand- I couldn't dream of a daily life without onion. I use onion powder in everything. It is a, it is a requirement for any mixture of food. The texture of raw onion makes you go yuck. Very understandable. That's kind of why onion rings are so touch and go for me. 
because there's there's a good onion ring right and then there is a very bad onion ring a very bad onion ring is the onion ring that you bite into the onion ring and then instead of being able to bite through the onion you just pull the onion out of the ring that's not that's not it that's terrible that's a very gross onion ring but an onion ring where you bite into it and then it's just perfectly done and you go straight through the onion it doesn't get pulled out it's it's flawless that's it issues with tomatoes it's just the tomatoes you have to force yourself to swallow oh god i wonder why maybe you had a maybe you had a bad experience with tomatoes that you don't remember thank you for the follow cinderite it's very kind very kind indeed done some googling and you're convinced you've never seen a white onion really is that is that just a a regional thing i guess Also, I, I must spread my propaganda to you, because it is very important that the, the grocery stores lie to you every single day, telling you that they are called green onions. But this is a falsity. Do not believe their lies. It's called scallions. They can't, they can't keep tricking us like this. It's just it's scallions, all right? Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. In the UK, you've never seen one in a store. Apparently, it's a specialty item. Really? Hmm. And maybe it's just for me, but for the US folks, at the very least, um, I've, I've always... The white onions are everywhere. Scallions are leeks. Leeks are the, the way bigger ones, but yeah, yeah. I guess I've never really understood if a leek was just a fully grown scallion or if they were different things entirely. They are very similar. So I wouldn't be surprised. Scallion is the green part of a green onion, but raffia. But, but what if we just called it a scallion? That's all, the, that's all we need, right? Maybe it's regional growing reasons that white onions aren't in the EU as often. No, maybe. Maybe they just aren't as good with the climate over it. Over around the EU or something. Maybe it's something with the soil, perhaps. Don't know the difference between yellow and white onions. You just get what's cheapest at the time, which is usually yellow. Yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty common, I'd say. Uh the the difference between yellow and white onions is not something that I would ever say you should have to think about. It's a very, very, very subtle difference. It doesn't matter that much. But if you want to just think about it, it's like a yellow onion is just a, a, a little bit sweeter than... Uh, or no, I, I think I had that the wrong way around. Did I have that the wrong way around? No. A yellow onion is just a little bit sweeter than a white onion. I believe I had that... How did I say it before? I don't remember. We'll just... It's, I'm, I'm correct. I've never been wrong before in my life, so it's fine. Um, and then the white onions are, are a bit of a stronger oniony taste. Like the... I'm not good at describing food tastes, but like it, it's, it's got more of a tang to it. I think that's how you say it, maybe. A little more, a little more. Hello, Rune. I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I'm being forced into obliterating hundreds of loths so that we can level up our blue mage. Uh, I'm having a pretty good Sunday so far. Pretty nice. Nice and relaxing. What onions are also called are often called sweet onion rather than, yeah okay so I, I did have it backwards there thank you Refia. so the yellow onion is the more oniony onion and then the white onion is the sweeter one that's that's what it was thank you. I just personally know that I don't really like sweeter ish things so uh, I I'm not so big on the sweet ones.
So now that we have leveled up, the Voth are giving just about 16,782 experience per kill. Uh, which means that if we did not have the armory bonus, they would be giving around 8,000 XP per kill. Not the worst thing I've ever experienced, and I am willing to put up with it. We will continue on with 16,000 XP per kill. I've definitely had to do worse. That just means we have to kill at 17,000 XP, basically, per. We've got to kill a thousand Voth to level up. Wow, now that I'm hearing the actual number, maybe I don't like this as much. Just keep that in mind, you know? When we've leveled up, that means I've killed a thousand Voth. <laughs> That's uh, probably not great for the whole Geneva Convention bit, huh? A hundred? Is it a hundred? Am I crazy? One, two, three. Oh yeah, it should, no, it, it is a hundred, you're right. I forgot how math worked. What do you think other people are doing right now? What what is the what is the normal world of Final Fantasy fourteen look like at this exact moment? Cider Spiders probably grinding for their their achievements. Maybe. Uh maybe maybe Mr. Happy is continuing to, to grind out their their endless amounts of relic weapons. People playing the video game, people not killing hundreds and hundreds of Voth to level up their blue mage? That sounds nice. That sounds real nice. The Voth never signed the Geneva Convention. Oh, well then, perfect. Probably better off getting some proper gear in your blue and just one-shot them with damaging spells. I The only issue I have is that we wouldn't really be able to. Because to get to the point where we're near one-shotting them, we would have to... Um, We would have to get equipment that's a higher level than them, right? So we'd have to get, like, level 60-ish equipment. And unless we're doing Centurio Seals for that, we don't really have an option to get level 60 equipment. Doing Limsa Lamensa leaves for horrible achievements. Okay, perfect. Farming gather scripts. You're playing Hollow Knight. That's a pretty nice one, Lemon. I could... I could. I could be down for some Hollow Knight. I've never played Hollow Knight, but I have watched someone play all of Hollow Knight, and so I don't think I will play it. But it did look like a very good video game, and I do love Hollow Knight for as much as I have never touched it. There's a craftable 185 set. It's just barely doable. Oh? Hmm. Currently taking your Mooncat through Shadowbringer so you can get the not-so-vanilla level 80 dancer gear. Oh, okay. Most of the 14 fan bases doing normal things in Wrath is out here being a one man extinction event. <laughs> I truly wish there was an achievement for killing just an absolutely insane amount of one particular enemy. Not, not like one set enemy forever for everyone, right? I just mean if there was an achievement for you individually killing like a thousand or five thousand of one enemy type i think that would be funny let's bring it the rootscape energy and i have to it's all we have still leveling blue got to 75 thanks for asking oh I'm, yeah it's, 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 that sounds great still i'm Glad to hear things are progressing good for you it's just really it's always wonderful to, to see how so the, Oh, good. Finish you have everything you need to get the triple triad mount. Oh, triple triad mount is going to be very nice. Melvina um, is pretty close to the triple triad mount as well. I know that she had... Uh, when I was doing the panel at LunarCon and I made the bit about the the mass triad, she, she was two cards, I think, off of 
finishing the mount, and so we tried to grind that out for a while to see if we could get her the mount to have as the masked triad, but it didn't ever work out. You join the Discord, should you put your character name and your name there? You can feel free to if you would like. Um, there's there's no particular need to if you're if you're too nervous about it, but if you want to, absolutely. And it'd be nice. And then just make sure you've uh, gotten the role to join the solo channel and you should get access to everything you need. A funny haha -ha Discord. Uh, play it, uh, hang out, come chit chat. What are we, what were we talking about earlier today, Discord? What is, what was that looking like? Did we have conversations earlier today? I know uh, two days ago we were talking about something for hours on end, but I really don't remember what it was. I just kind of got lost in the sauce. Whoa, 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 whoa. Talk about the experiment you're leading tonight for the Labyrinth of the Ancients. Oh, yes! Labyrinth of the Ancients, we need some... Uh, experimentation to check how some mechanics work. Because I... I have been told the secrets of an ancient civilization, and I would like to confirm with my own two uh, eyeballs that they are real before putting it in a video. So yeah, if you're if you're uh, around, we'll probably do that at the end of stream. Honestly, I'll I'll do that um, once I'm finished up the bits for solo and then we'll swap over to that for a little bit if you wouldn't mind assisting it'd be very appreciated is it okay if you run it as your solo account i it would probably be better not to because we're just going to be doing it with a bunch of people we need at least 12 people just so that we could check a mechanic real quick uh yeah we wouldn't be finishing it we're just going in for two fights i need to see the Atomos and the Thanatos for specific mechanics. I'm gonna just obliterate this Va over here and this one. How about clearing 1500 Black Knights for a white two ender sword with a plus one prayer bonus? Oh yeah, yeah, that that would be great. I would love that. I'm, I have never personally done that grind, but I have seen it many a times. <laughs> Just the, the upgraded proselyte gear, at least it looks cool, you know? Have I played Final Fantasy XI? No, never. Feel like I'd like it. Maybe we could, maybe I'll check it out at some point, if it's possible. Perfect background noise to grind out old games too. Thank you, Vidikazuki. It's good to see you, game. I hope you've, I hope you've been doing well. Speaking of doing well, Rune, it's it's been a while since you were hanging out at a stream. I hope everything's going all right for you. Hope you're you're having a, a fantastic time. Wish they'd make it easier to subscribe and install Final Fantasy XI. Is it difficult? Perfect BG noise to grind out old games to Tilda. Thank you. White Knight Master for Fashionscape is a classic experience. The real Fashionscape grind is um, doing some odd, like, five or ten thousand games of Soul Wars so that you can get the slightly gold-ish armor set. It's pretty difficult to install this game. I guess I really don't remember. I installed it the once and then I never had to worry about it again, so maybe it was difficult to install. Mr. Happy had to make a whole tutorial on just how to download, install, and subscribe. Really? Just download a five-part archive and buy a subscription on the Square Enix store and then figure out how to activate the subscription in the client. Okay. Good. Good. Fant fantastic. Oh, my favorite. Installing 14 the first time around is annoying. And it's really hard to buy 14. I... I guess I don't... It's been so long since I set up the subscription that I can't remember, but yeah. It, I could believe it. Could believe it indeed. Mm 
Maybe one day I'll get around to checking out Final Fantasy XI. Might, might have some cool stuff in it. Maybe... There's a new Alliance raid for Dawn Trail, right? Is it going to be based on Eleven Or something? Right? FF11 install processes from before they invented game design. Hey, come on. This is, can't, it can't be that. Can't be that bad. It was based on 11. Okay, that's going to be kind of cool then. Now the question is, do I play 11 before I do those alliance raids? Or do I do those alliance raids first? Because if I play, if I say that I'm going to play 11 before I do the alliance raids, I'll probably never do the alliance raids. You can catch up with your 14 stuff, 11's on the radar, but you want to do playthrough of all the games. Oh, that could be very nice. I, personally, have been thinking about... Just in the back of my mind... What it would take to play through every single Final Fantasy video game. Like, how much of my life would I have to dedicate to that? A lot, yeah. I'd, I'm kind of feeling the same. Like, that would be a gigantic commitment, but it, uh, it would be fun, at least. It'd be a nice, uh, it could make for a good YouTube video. The FF11 install process was from the time right after. Use multiple floppies, but before the DVD, so it's cumbersome, to say the least. All right, that is a really good way to put it, Keo. Okay, so I'm now expecting it to be between floppy disks and CDs. About as bad as it gets. Fantastic. You had to overnight the initial patching. Really? Oh, God. Am I thinking just the main? I'd, I'd do just mainline, I think. I don't think I would do more than the mainline. 14 coming to Xbox, it's true. It's going to be great. I still don't have an, X, an Xbox or a PS5, but I'm glad that we get more players. That's what I'm really excited about. That's going to be a masterpiece. We're not playing all of them. It's really fun. Not really having a limit on what order to... Play them really helps and let you take it at whatever pace you want. That's nice, at least. Sometimes I just stop looking at the video game and just look at chat, and I've doomed the bug at least six attempts ago, but I just keep trying. I have to doom. I have to hit the doom button. Found a video I enjoy. Can you 100% Final Fantasy with only red mages? Oh, that is a good video. I would love that. I, I love red makers. I'll have to check it out. One is relatively quick if you know what you're doing. It's like within a day. Oh, okay. Perhaps so. I have a staff and I must do only red mage. It was mentioned in the Twitch chat, so it's uh, there's there's some there's a YouTube video for red mage only Final Fantasy one. That could be cool. Could be nice. FF1 to FF3 is about 45 hours. That... That's a... That's a big commitment. <laughs> that would be... Many... Many... Many months. To probably finish the full set then. On an unrelated note... Um, how would everyone feel if I just suddenly stopped uploading videos for about seven months straight? How, how would that, how, how do we feel about that one? Completely unrelated, no. Just, uh, you know. You'd feel very concerned? Well, you, you know, come on, come on, what? Yeah, I would want to, I would, that was the, the initial reason that I had thought of it. I, um, I wanted to do 
specifically the video that I wanted to make was gonna be I played I played every single Final Fantasy game so you don't have to. I thought that would be pretty funny. But man, that would probably take a long time. <laughs> if one to three is uh forty five hours. Uh we are not reaping so far. Would get bored. Yeah, it, that would just take me many, many, many months. So we'll probably we'll probably just put that on the back burner and maybe never do that video. Do like a game per video. That wouldn't be too bad. We could split it up into into a, a series bit, perhaps. Hey, how are you a lot? Didn't I doom you? What happened? Or did you just respawn or something? It must have just respawned. That must be crazy. Can we can we get a successful doom real quick? On on any target, really? That's the bit that there we go. Perfect. Thirty-three percent of the time. None of the time, baby. There it is. Okay. How long are you asleep for? Thirty seconds. Yeah. Okay. So you just respawned. That's fine. Played the first hour of every Final Fantasy game so you don't have to. Now we're talking. That's still... What? Like 20 hours? But, you know. Does Missile have a higher effects ratio than Doom? I don't know. I don't think so. But I still stream so I can cheer you on. Uh... That'd probably be problematic, because I don't know how I would stream half of them as the problem. Uh, how... I'd have to figure out how to stream my, my PS4? Maybe a PS5 at some point or something? I don't know. Where would I ever get... A PS1? That could stream video games? That would be sick, though. I would love to play... I would love to play PS1 games. I still have a video that I need to make, which is just talking about the absolute masterpiece that is Lunar the Dragon Song. Um, so, listen. Here's the deal, right? I... Right now... Am currently at, at a point... Where... The first thing on my mind... And the first priority-ish that I have is to have it so that I can be finished with the with the Twitch bit and I don't have to worry about it anymore. And there's getting the Twitch partnership and getting them to accept me. And to get them to accept me is going to take a while. And so as soon as that's done, I no longer have to care about how many people hang out at a stream, you know? So I can just start doing crazy stuff. That nobody has ever thought of before. And by that, I mean, I can just have a stream day that's dedicated to me playing Lunar the Dragon Song. And I won't have to think about how terrible it is and how Twitch is going to reject me in two months because of it. So, you know what? That one day. One day soon. That's the dream. That's what we're working towards. Did pretty much every single side quest in Heaven's Word and they give you a bunch of XP for the jobs you need. At least ten levels worth. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Maybe we could check out. We'll, we'll check out the XP from like one or two quests. See how see how it looks. Every game is on PS Five except thirteen and maybe eleven. Oh, one to thirteen are on Steam. Oh, that does work. That would be even better. That's even easier. I don't have to worry about consoles. It's perfect. I think 15 is also on Steam, right? Uh, so I would just have to find out how to get 13.2 and 13.3. And then... Uh, wait for 16 to come to Steam. Red Ridgers can't beat SOS. Uh, they can soon. It's gonna take... Uh, until once Dawn Trail releases, they'll be able to do SOS. Also on Steam. Oh, great.
This whole career as a streamer and YouTuber has been a ploy to sell people on Dragon Song. It, it, it truly is. I just need you to know that one day Lunar the Dragon Song is coming. And the worst part, I've been lying to you this whole time. It's not even called Lunar the Dragon Song. It's called Lunar Dragon Song. It just has a colon between Lunar and Dragon Song. There's no the. Even though it absolutely needs to have the in there. It just is. I think that's because Lunar is like the series name and the Dragon Song is supposed to be that particular title. I never played the older one. I just know the one for DS, Lunar Dragons. Wow, Disneyland China, thank you for following. That's incredible. You know, we really got bigger reach than I thought. The Disney Corporation in China specifically. <laughs> Man. Let the psyops get out of my head. We had to. It's important. And now that I've said that, now that I've introduced you to Lunar the Dragon Song enough, and now that I've I've given you the, the rug pull and let you know that it's actually called Lunar Dragon Song, you'll never be able to stop thinking about it. That will be stuck in your head forever. You will know the name Lunar Dragon Song. It shall become a permanent fixture in your life. Just as it has for me. Legitimately want to do this, but will, will you find seven other people who want to do the whole game using only red mage? The real problem, I think, would be the, the start of the game. Because you'll have to get to level 50 without progressing the MSQ further than you absolutely have to. But once you get over that hurdle, it'll be great. That'd be a lot of fun. Sorry, what will be stuck in your head? Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't need another Roman Empire in your life. You, you do, and it's called Lunar Dragon Song. Uh, man. I don't know if I've said it already, but at some point, I'm going to do a, a big essay video about Lunar Dragon Song because I love Lunar Dragon Song to death, even though it is probably one of the worst video games to ever exist. Um, but, oh my god, it's so good. And I specifically want it to be an essay video because I need the video to be at least 58 minutes long because that is the entire length of the Lunar Dragon Song OST, which means that I would be able to fit Lunar Dragon Song's entire OST into that video so that you get the whole experience. And that's that's the plan. What level was blue at the start of the stream? I think we started at 54. Four-ish? Fifty-five? Maybe? Don't know about unlocking Red Mage, but wouldn't technically the Thandaline only character be able to unlock Red Mages? Yes! No, there aren't any MSQ requirements. I'd be able to unlock Red Mage immediately. The It's not an MSQ requirement, it's an expansion requirement. So you have to have access to Stormblood. You have to have purchased the Stormblood expansion to be able to unlock Red Mage. You love Tales of Hysteria. People think that game's bad, but you love it so much. It's the the only problem I have is that you really can't defend Lunar Dragon Song, unlike Tales of Hysteria, which I'm sure you would easily be able to defend for you know, don't like it because because of, of specific reasons. But Lunar Dragon Song is just an absolute travesty of a video game. There was no, there was not a single person in the room making that video game that had any idea what they were doing. <laughs> they were all crazy, and I love them for it. We got a little more than halfway there in three hours. Yeah, it's it's been it, it has been just about halfway there in three hours. Yes, that's right. We did pretty good today. Well, I'll see you later. No, 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 no. I gotta. I have to at least be done the blue mage today. I can't. I can't go on any longer knowing that I will have to come back and level blue mage again. You're a Philippe player and have red mage as your main DPS. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because I forgot that they upgraded it to Stormblood and Free Trial. Hmm. Grind for this isn't the worst grind we've had to do for so long. It's very true. It's going to very soon 
become the worst grind that we've had to do for solo because we are very quickly approaching another level up, which means the Voth are going to be worth even less experience. And then one more level after that, once I hit level 66, I will no longer have the armory buff. So it'll be even worse somehow. I think I might, I pushed it to level 65. I may be able to push it to 66. But once we get level 66, I really don't know if I can still use the Voth to level. I just don't know. I have spells to get in challenge log. That's true, that's true. We can, once we hit level 66, we'll probably start on the spell collecting. But there's not, there's not many spells that we have access to, right? Hmm. Well, thank you very much for the gifted slider. That's very kind. This is this is starting to become a regular thing. <laughs> this is incredibly generous of you. Thank you very much. Would I be able to unlock higher level dungeons that are not tied to the MSQ like Pharaoh's Heart? Uh. Yes. It's how you make up for being late. Ah, oh, understandable. Well, welcome. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that you're around. Just started watching the series a few days ago and you managed to catch a stream today. Fantastic. I hate to say, you're probably at the worst stream we've had in a while in terms of the actual content progression, but welcome to Blue Mage. We have a lot of leveling to do. And it's just a bunch of off. <laughs> this is what we've been doing for the past three hours because these things need to give me some good XP. And by that, I mean they're the best XP we can get that isn't me dragging myself through Orem Vale 82 times. 12,000 experience per Voth now. Okay, how many is this going to take? I'm just going to break out the calculator real quick. Calculator. Um, 100... One million eight hundred and thirty-four thousand divided by twelve thousand five hundred and twenty-four. I have to kill a hundred and fifty Voth. We just did a hundred Voth, you know? I could do a hundred fifty probably. Right? He cannot do a hundred fifty. He knows this. He knows this deep within his soul, and yet he trudges forward because he's too desperate to not go into Orem Vale 50 times. No, I'm not all right. Wow, if I'm just suffering, I'm <laughs> this is terrible. I mean, the Voth is the good part. I enjoy this grind. This is fine. I've turned my brain off at this point, and I can just continuously do this. This isn't the problem. The problem is that we are inching ever closer to the day where I can't not do Orem Vale, <laughs> and I will have to grind Orem Vale. Is it time to start getting spells? I might push this level, honestly. 12,000, 150-ish Voth is not that bad. A level 66, when I no longer have the armory bonus, is probably when... That, yeah, that's, that's probably when we're gonna have to... Start doing spells instead. Have a good chunk of... These are the bad Voth? They, they're called Loth? Oh, true, true, true. The Loth, excuse me. A good chunk of a Roman word I could do to you. This it's, it'll just be sketchy sometimes. It's true. Yes, side quests too. Okay. I should check a close-ish side. There's, there's one right up there. Okay. I'm gonna go check that one out. See how much XP it would give. That's a level 53 side quest. We're not going to be able to get anything higher than 54, 55, I think, in the areas we have access to. So let's check it out. <laughs> okay. Is 
Sea of Clouds, Spells Wrath can get Arctic Gale, Whistle, and an Electric Attack whose name you forgot from the Serpents in the Pool area. Oh, okay. Not bad. ARR Beast Tribes, I don't think we can do for XP, but maybe. Uh, my total remaining XP to 70 is 10,548,156. Thank you, Flutup. It's very nice to know. 12,285. That'd be 25k total for this quest. How long does this take? This is killing one Voth a little bit ago. That is, this is way too far. Get, get me out of here. This is way too, this way too far. Maybe... Maybe it's time we use fates? Perhaps? Because if I use fates, I'm going to be getting 20,000-ish XP, right? Here, let's just let's just try a fate real quick and see how much XP we can get from it. Because twelve thousand five hundred per Voth is not amazing. I would like to try and get some improvement. Uh, how do I get out of here? I'm very con. Oh, it's back up. Okay. Do the treasure map. Oh, true. We could have a little a little break to do the treasure map, perhaps. That's not a bad idea. We could check that out. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know if we would be able to do the portal with our warrior gear, but... Did we do the math on leaves? I don't think... We can't do leaves for blue mage, right? So we would have to be doing leaves for my warrior. You can do leaves on Blue Mage. Oh, really? Huh. You'd need so many leaves, it's not even funny. Well, we could do, um... The big ones, right? Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't fly here because, um, we don't have flight unlocked in any of the Heavensward areas yet. We're still too early in MSQ for it. I guess I'll try, which just, just teleport back and check out this fate before it disappears. Do the quest for the flight, that's XP. Yeah, you know what, yeah, I can... I can get behind that one, at least. This is acceptable. Big leaves are actually worth. It's 28,000 for 10 leaves versus 7,000 plus XP per leaf. Really? Oh, God. That's disgusting. Yeah, okay, I'll take that one. Thank you. Yeah, okay, I'll take that one. Thank you. Seen a lot of quests at the moment. I suppose I did get the sightseeing log. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. So, in we, we won't consider leaves then, but I will continue to consider absolutely anything else. What did you think doing the crafting classes was going to be fun? You were wrong. I'm sorry to, <laughs> I'm sorry to have brought you down such a, a dark and terrible path, but it's all right. It's going to be fine. Once you're done leveling your crafting, you'll be all set. Can we jump up, please? Thank you. Hello, hunter beneath the, the hunter becomes the quay. I have spoken with the hunter, and I have spoken with the hunter. Very nice. 
Oh yeah, a leave challenge. That's true. We should take a look at the challenge log a bit more. We we're saying that we were going to do challenge logs at some point. Complete five dungeons is absolutely not worth it because that's going to take so long. Uh No, no fates. Those would be pretty good. Five fates, 10 fates. Five leave quests, 20 leave quests. Uh, I still need to check out this fate real quick and see how much XP we can get. And then that's crafting and gathering stuff. Treasure hunting stuff from Grand Company. And complete the mini, all those. Yeah, right. Great. It could be five sustaches. Do they have to be level synced five sustaches? I think he tries to make requires a new crafty class to make it all you know is fear. Welcome to the Omni Crafter lifestyle. Alright, you are the final sprite. Can you be doomed? You can! And you can be slept. Okay, so water sprites and lightning sprites are able to be slept and doomed. And no other sprites. I can get Choco Meteor for from the red Chocobos in this area. It's potency 300 if I have Duo with me. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Now I have a question. All it really cares about is my level when the thing dies, right? There we go. That took a little bit longer than I would have liked. But that's fine. And now I level some. No, it reset, so the doom is gone. Okay. So this fate is in an absolutely terrible spot. On to the next fate. A uh, chocobo companion is fine. Uh, duo isn't... You, you don't really get much use out of duo, so he's a nice one. How do you guys get rid of eyelashes that are caught on the inside of your upper eyelid? You caught a glimpse of it, but it's a sneaky thing and it hit again. I, um... Personally, I will close my eyes and then roll them around a lot and then move my eyes all the way down and then blink. And then that normally gets rid of whatever's in my eyeball. Unsync Epic Echo the Dungeons for the challenge log. Okay. That's not so bad, then. It's, uh, it's, it's something. It's considerable. This one also has a good few enemies near it, so this is a, a decent fate. How much experience will you provide? That's the next question. I cannot doom the earth sprites, I know that one for a fact. And I cannot reach that dragon. Let me up, please, I beg. Thank you. No, they they still give about 16,000 XP, this isn't worth it either. That hurts. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's 4,000 more experience than the lock we're giving us, right? Hmm. Could make it Alamegan jobs only instead of Red Mage only, so you don't have to buy a level skip to unlock Red Mage early and can instead just start as Monk. Well, you could get, you could unlock Red Mage early without the level skip. You would just have to uh, figure out how to level the character. There's a good few options of leveling without the MSQ. I've done a good bit myself. There are some dungeons that you can unlock, uh, like the Sunken Temple of Corn and Cutter's Cry prior to doing any, any MSQ. So if you get yourself to the level, 
to go into them. You could just start farming those, and then you'll get a leveling daily roulette. Yeah, that's before Sestasha. That would be that would be my way of doing it at the very least. Surprised Wrath is willing to go back to Carrot after the last. I, I it's uh, it's just one of those. It's just you know, it's fine. Yeah, I'm not absolutely in love with this. But if it must be done, it must be done. Great, they are now on my friends list. I was planning to use the challenge logs to level Reaper from 70 to 71. Because I need Reaper to be at level 71 so I can use... So I can get the 100% epic echo. And it's going to be way slower to level Reaper, but it is only the one level, right? It's already Sunday. Reset on Tuesday is not too bad. But, I mean, I was kind of hoping to do it tonight, honestly. But yeah, I guess... Hmm... I guess that is a lot. Hmm. Don't think just Reaper will cut it. I've got a. We're gonna have to make a full set of gear for it, but yeah. We may end up just having to grind out on A ranks as well, so you're, you're probably right. Hmm. Planning on joining FC for endgame content? No, I, I, I shan't be doing any such things. I shall simply be the the solo that I am. It would be illegal, in fact, against the challenge rules to join an FC. So I could never do such a thing. Right. Right. Hmm. Okay, good night, Sil. Enjoy, enjoy your time. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Orem Vale, maybe? Back to Orem Vale for this level. And then, once I hit... Level 66. I double check that I don't have armory buff. If I don't have armory buff, I'll do the challenge logs and spells from there. Let's just do that. That sounds like a good idea. Okay. As I tried doing the quests to at least unlock flight and doing all the ones here, but that's just your your send. That's understandable. I'll I'll take a look at it. I'm gonna I'm not super happy about it, but returning to Vale is probably our most efficient at this point. If I get pushed by a geyser, it makes sound, and there's the frog. Hello, frog. I can at least just put you to sleep, right? No, I cannot put you to sleep. This is a this is a, an issue. Is it an issue that I particularly care about? Uh, yeah, kind of. I don't really want to put up with just dying to the frog. If you walk far enough in the frog diagros, that's for the, the frog towards the beginning. For this frog to diagro, I'm not sure if we can. I know that closer frog is much more annoying, but at the very least it's got doomed, so... Oh, there it is. Perfect. A good note. If that's the case, then I suppose I don't really care about the frogs as much. And I just need to actually hit my dooms. Thank you. Hmm. 
And thank you very much, Locksmith. It was great seeing you. I'll see you next time. Yeah, I don't have diamond back either. I don't really have anything, honestly. It's very, very limited things that I've got. He's back at the bides. I truly do not wish for this, but I am. Have I attempted Necromancer title before? I've given, um, I've given it a few shots to get towards Necromancer title. We have, uh, when I got the Lonely Explorer title for this, I still have another run as well after that that went past our previous record. I've got a run that's waiting right now at floor 171, I think for the inevitable day where I decide I want to give it another attempt, but that won't be for a long time, so. Please, dude. Please. Come on. It's a one in three. How many times can I miss it on this stupid cold fight? But I... I hate this place. Oh, this is the absolute worst, man. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I do this to myself, and so I must suffer. And there's the marble fruit. It was a pleasure to see you, marble fruit. Oh, God. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I just... I won't miss the, the one in three that many times on the actual boss that matters for the experience, and then we will be absolutely perfectly set up and fine, and I don't have to worry about anything, and we can just do a few runs of this. It's not going to take the entirety of my life, and there is a dire mite anyway, so who cares? Oh, absolute I so <sighs> genuinely any other dungeon and I wouldn't care. Actually any other dungeon. Oh my god, I hate this so much. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Let me just be done with this. I'm, I'm just gonna do this run and then I have to find something else. I I cannot do Orimville. It's, it's just too much. I really don't have the mental for it, or I, I just don't. Oh my god. <sighs> I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Get me out. <laughs> Give God. Oh my God. Oh, I hate this place. No, anything else. Genuinely anything else. I'll go grind out 3,000 Voth before I'm going back in there, dude. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm, I refuse. Hmm. Oh, God. Right. Okay. Flight quests, then. 12,000 XP. Fine. Think about that for later. Where's the blue quest here? Uh, 
There we go. Thank you for the posture check. Thank you for the stretch. Um. Oh, God. I'm not a happy gamer. <laughs> I'm not living the best life. Oh, that dungeon is going to haunt me for the rest of my life, dude. Do I need some Koopa Koopa to ease my soul? That's yes, alright, I'll, I'll make it. I will make it all the same. Blue does count for the Disciple of Magic for unlocking our dear Reaper. Could get better dear so it's not so painful in the dungeon. The problem is that I'm at max gear for the dungeon. We have to do it level sync to get experience. So the dungeon itself, we are more than above cap for all of our equipment. Blue Mage weapons never do anything. They're, they're always just cosmetic. Um, the only other, the only thing you get stats from is armor and accessories. And these are all well above Orem Vale. So I'm at the best gear I can be at. Your wrath is over. Thank you for the hydrate. It's very kind. I shall indeed. They was buried in my face in your hands. I said you were hydrate. Please don't die. Of course. Of course. I shall do my best to not die. I shall also return Sonic Boom and Drill Cannon to its rightful place. And Materia, with, with level sync, um, since I'm already at stat cap for the dungeon, rather than just being at a, a, a higher stat than the dungeon could take, Materia isn't even considered, so Materia is basically uh, ignored at that point. Spell speed is super relevant for blue, actually, is it? I guess I guess I could believe that. That would be a pretty good one. I think at this level, it's hard to get any amount of spell speed that's actually kind of useful, but... Technically, level 60 plus blue mage weapons aren't just cosmetic. You can meld materia on them. Okay. Gotcha. It's still... It, it, it's still for... At least for level synced bits, but yeah, okay. Hmm. There's synced cast room or keeper too, about half the efficiency of veil if I remember correctly. Probably need better gear though for either. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I would need better gear to be able to do those. It's not so terrible though. We could maybe give it a check just to see how much black eft takes. I guess the real question is, is there anything in Castrum or Praetorium that can be doomed? Don't do it? Okay, yeah, all right, I won't. Unless you're grinding for Moogle or Poetic Tombstones, it's not worth it. Understandable. I do have Song of Torment, yeah. I'm just forgetting to really use it because I'm spaced out after this. And nothing in Castrum can be doomed. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, there's one quest at the very least. This should... we should actually be able to get flight here. I didn't realize. I thought flight wouldn't be for... a good while. Alright, we're getting back up all the same. Just have to actually find... Oh no, I have them all. In all of the areas already. Really? So it's just quests. Might not be too bad then. I guess the next thing is that if I'm doing quests, I should just be doing it on my warrior, right? If I'm gonna if I'm gonna use the quests for experience, 
And if I'm going to use a challenge log for experience, I should just be doing it with warrior. Because warrior is the higher level. And they'd be getting the same XP, right? Sixty six with a hundred K in this challenge log one hundred and ninety six K. No, because this this isn't going to be enough to get me to seventy. So doing it on Blue Mage is just. We have the extra bits with Blue Mage for the spells and otherwise, and we have the other piece for Blue Mage where, the worst case, I could just go farm more Voth. At least for one or two levels. When is the point where there are no enemies left that we can kill? I think it is very, very soon. Blue is only except from MSQ dungeons and quests, most side quests allow limited jobs. It's very true, very true indeed. Event cancelled. Please allow me to skip through your dialogue. I have no desire to read it. Thank you. You have about 25,000 XP. This is not terrible. I'm gonna pop over to Tailfeather and do these real quick. Maybe, maybe. Are there any about level 60 quests that spawn enemies in lower level areas you could grind against some? Oh, that would be... Okay. No, that would be good. I just don't know if it would... Because for level 60, we'd have to be on Azus Law. So we won't... Yeah, there wouldn't be anything on our end, at least, that we're not... That we're going to be able to reach. Only things Blizzard locked out of is regular party finder outside of presets. Main scenario quests and deep dungeons outside of that blue is fully functional. It's very true, very true. Can't get through Idleshire. Yeah, we can't get to Idleshire either. This is the main thing stopping you from doing the blue solo MSQ challenge someday. It's definitely not the most fun, but... Yeah, the only main issue with a blue solo MSQ challenge is that you, you genuinely can't. Like, you'd have to be doing the MSQ on a different class, and then just everything else on Blue Mage. If we could get to Idleshire, our, we would be in a much better position on every class. Being able to reach Idleshire for, um, the gathering that's over in that area, being able to reach Idleshire for the equipment that we'd be able to buy, uh, and just the zones prior to Idleshire, the level of the mobs there would be higher as well. It might be higher than 57, I'm not sure, actually. We'd have to be killing something that's about level 60 to be getting anywhere near the XP we need, but... It's unlucky that the Voth don't have any fates in their area. And Bismarck! Oh, yes. I, I truly hate Bismarck. Well... That's not true. I'm pretty excited for Bismarck, honestly. I'm excited to see how we're going to get through that fight. So I wouldn't say that I'm against Bismarck. Pretty hyped for it. It's, um... So long as I don't have to do this again. I'm... I'm excited and ready for Bismarck. Alright, that one was talking to two people. That one was also talking to two people. We have handed in our quests. I'm moving on to what should be the last quest, right? Yeah, just just the one more, and then we've got flight here. We can't get flight in um, Churning Mists, and we can't get flight in uh, Coerthus Western, because... 
Korth is western. We'd need to be able to kill final boss of Dusk Vigil for. We'd need a decent boost to our equipment before we did that. Would letting another solo only player in with you for the area be too much of an exception? Yeah, that would be too much of an exception, yeah. Uh, that would be an absolute last resort if there was genuinely no other way to get past the mechanic and... Uh, I, I do believe with full confidence that we can get through it. Name of the Vath is a travel quest unlock. As so it is. So I can't actually unlock flight here either. Unless one of those is flight. No, stolen munitions. There it is. Here we go. Hello. Thank you for the flight. Slay Nath fire drones and obtain the flintlocks. Oh, I, I wish I had taken this earlier. You don't understand how many of those I've already killed. Whew. Yeah, there is better gear that I'd be able to make for my blue mage at the very least. It's just... Um whether or not it's really worth it. Since I'm doing the majority of my grinding through Doom, anything that's at a level where I can affect it by high having higher gear isn't really going to be much difference. Leave quests any good? I think we discussed leave quests a good bit ago. The big ones will only give like 28,000 experience and then... An individual battle leave will give around 7,000. So, at the absolute most, if I did all of my leaves, all 100 leaves as battle leave quests, I would only get 700,000 experience. Which is rough. That's, that's, really, that's really bad. Because <laughs> 100 leave quests would take hours. Yeah, the massive leave quests give 28,000 experience. So... The 10 of those, we get 280k. Uh, I didn't want the Sonic Boom, but I guess that's what we're stuck with. I would like to hit the Doom button, please. Thank you. How much do the level 52s give? Something 13 levels below me. Does it even give experience? No. I receive no experience for this. At least I got the cool stuff I needed. Okay. I'm high enough level, you're surprised Doom is faster than attacking. It's just because I don't have upgraded gear. So I don't have gear to match my current level at level 65, and I'll never I'll never really be able to get gear to match 65 until we're in Stormblood, and by then I'll be well over level 70. Uh, so without being in Stormblood, we're basically a level... Right now we are the equivalent of a level 50 Blue Mage. We could bump it up to be the equivalent of, like, a level 55 Blue Mage, but it's still a level 50 Blue Mage at the end of the day. Endwalker still has the higher number of quests and currents. Understandable. Understandable. Okay. So, all this and... Hey, that's the special fate. I remember that one. That's pretty cool. Okay. So now... We have our... We have our flight. Here's your muskets. I can now fly around. Like a happy little bird. Dravanian, Forelands, Aether Current, Attunement, Complete. 
It's time to fly. Might as well just unlock the full map real quick, and then once we're done unlocking the map, I might... I think I head back to the Voths. Personally? I think the Voths are where it's at. Or the Loth, excuse me. Go back, beat up some level 57 Voths until uh, level 66. See how much experience they give once we don't have the armory bonus anymore. Uh, do some challenges and spell collecting. Not a terrible idea. Not a terrible idea. Well, the Nath were super low XP. I wouldn't kill more Nath. That was, uh, that wasn't really worth it. Oh, they're all Nath. Okay. Okay, enjoy your lethal company, Mitakazuki. It was great to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, goodbye. Yeah, special Tarask Force. It's, it's a good fate. If you haven't ever gone over there, it's just a really big turtle. It's got the special fate music, but I don't know what it gives you. I think it's just an achievement. Could I remind you when maintenance since the event will be over? Be sure to have it done. What event? Oh, wait. Look at this. Level 57. More stuff. Hey. This is pretty... Wait a second. This is near a fate. <gasps> Hold on. That was not the thing that I wanted to cast. I'm too used to Doom being on one now. Okay, doomed. How much? 31,000. That's not bad. I can take that. 31,000 is an easy grind. I just need to ideally not get caught up in too much of the actual fate itself so it sticks around for a while. Uh, put you to sleep, please. Doom. Okay, great. Yes, this one is fantastic. There's a lot of mobs around here. I can actually do it. How long do I have on this fight? Five minutes? That's, that's not a terrible amount of time, but it's not a lot. Yeah, we, we've hit level 64, I think. This is a joke, right? Every two and a half seconds I can cast Doom. Oh my god, that took me so... <laughs> that genuinely must have been 20 some odd Dooms. 20 attempts at a 33% chance and now it got reset so it didn't even work. Oh, I hate this so much. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm having a good life. I'm having a good life. Uh, right. Can we please doom this one in a reasonable amount of time? I beg. Thank you. At least I'm getting a lot of dragon scales and dragon blood and dragon fangs, whatever those are used for. At least I am getting a decent number of those. I am celebrating. This is a success. Woo! What's the instance I'm dreading the most? Uh, it depends on what you mean. 
Just in general, Orem Vale. Don't ever put me back there. I can't do it. Um, uh, instances that I have coming up? Uh, I can't really think of any, actually. Nothing that I'm, like, super worried about, at least. Really, we, we've mostly just been... stumbling into difficult bits like that more so than not recently because i did not know that the area was going to be as bad as it is if i had genuinely any idea how bad the area was going to be i probably would have prepared before even getting there but um hello woods good to see you it's uh, it's going it's going you know i've, I've lost my mind a, a few times so far today and um Okay, thank you. Oof. If I remember right, we cannot doom the Earth Sprites. Can I reach you? Yes. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just leave that one. A water sprite for me? This is at least a saving grace, you know? I'm feeling a lot better. Feeling pretty happy about this. Oh no, I I, pre I prefer not getting spoiled, honestly, for, for this kind of stuff. It's much more fun for this to just kind of happen to me. And now all of a sudden we've got a, a massive, un unimaginably gigantic grind that we have to do because the area has a mechanic I didn't even remember because I've never had to think about it for more than two seconds. It's pretty good, honestly. It's probably why I like the, the solo challenge the most is when things like that pop up. But yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty good. This is a pretty good, ex pretty good experience. I can be happy knowing that at the very least... If we've got some fates up in this area, I can grind XP at a reasonable amount. It's not amazing, but it is reasonable, and it's reasonable enough that I do not have to force myself to do other things. I can do this, you know? I can, I can get things done as I need them done through here. Maybe I'm not going to get the levels off this fate. And I have a good few more levels. I think I'm 65 now, so we've got five more levels to go. But, you know, there is a path forward. That does not include Orm Vale. Where there's always room for things to be worse. At least we're past the point where Palace of the Dead is the best XP method. That is true. We are past Palace of the Dead being the best. That is very, very appreciated. Oh, and you know what? These are the same level as the Loth. So I can just farm over here instead of farming at the Loth. And then anytime a fate pops up, I'll just be right there for it. Hey! That's pretty good. I can I can get behind that. That's that's a that's a success. You can go kill face and it'll be faster to respawn. No, that's okay. Thank you though. It's it's very considerate, but I I will simply rely on the the means of RNG, and by the means of RNG I mean waiting out and grinding on the less experience until I get the good experience. What are we tackling today? We're tackling leveling up so that I can unlock Reaper. That's that's the big thing that I need to do today. And geez, these levels have taken everything out of me. Is this it? Is that end of map? There's nothing to unlock on this bit of the map? What is this? This is weird. Is this for a side quest or something? I feel like I've never been here, but that's a pretty cool spot. Tackling rats sanity and truly. 
Tackling my sanity to the ground. Maybe level 58? No. I was hopeful there might be something cool over here because it's a flight only, but tragically not. At least if I want a, a new bit of scenery, we can go down there. And then I think that's the only spot left that I haven't been to on the map. We just fly over there and we've unlocked the full map for the achievement. A little bit of experience, perhaps. Yeah, we've made it to 65 and a half. So I'm at 900,000 experience out of 1.8 million experience needed to level up. We can go beat up all of the the golden lions and the yellow dragons up there. A fate sponsor there might be related to a question you know. You got a new guitar. Congratulations. Huge. Have you ever uh, have you ever played an electric before? I know you're saying it's the first that you've gotten, but is it just the first that you've actually had, or is it the first that you've ever played? Blue counts for class quest requirements. It does. It does indeed. So getting blue mage to level 70 will allow me to unlock reaper. Special Tarrasque Force is at 1%. That leads me to believe that somebody has poked at the Special Fate. And that's it. Oh, there is a Chocobo beating it up. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. Best of luck, game. More level 57s. Do some nice little spots. And then it was 180k for mapping the realm. And a fate! Hey, wait a second. This is, this is pretty good. Now we're talking. Okay, 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 okay. And there's a bunch of the Bonavises around here. So long as I can avoid the boss, he doesn't start attacking me. We're set. Yet more experience to get. The map one is 10%. Oh, okay. Nice. This is a lot of enemies in very close proximity to each other, so this is... This is a blessing. What an amazing fate. Oh, I don't want to aggro the Earth Sprite. That sucks, but that's fine. I mean, at least I can sleep the Earth Sprite. I should probably double check that I can't doom the Earth Sprite. Maybe I was mistaken before, and I was able to doom it the whole time. Do you fully resist? Yes, you do. Do you fully resist a tail screw? Yes. Okay. So we have to step out of the fate, but there are more bone avises around here. I should be able to doom these and then drag them into the fate for me to fin- Maybe not this one. This one is a little bit far. Is the fate here? No, I can- I can get this one, okay. Now we're talking. Everything is perfect. Doom tail spin and missile all fall under flat damage resistance. Okay, so if they so if they resist one, they're gonna resist all of them, no question then. Alright. It's good to know for the future. The roll action sleep has a smaller way it probably, but it costs way more mana. It's uh eight hundred mana to three hundred mana. I guess it doesn't matter that much. I don't really sleep them very often, but I'm a little sad that they do not seem to be respawning very quickly. Maybe I just attempt to kill an Earth Sprite. Um. Hit it with the missile button. Yeah. 
I have been so busy with work you haven't had the chance to catch your stream. Hope all is well. And thank you very much for the super chat, though. It's, it's great to see you. It has definitely been a bit, and I'm glad to see that you're you're doing all right. The, the things go well over here in, in our little corner of the world. And just Song of Torment, and maybe that's finished. And just give it another drill super quick. Hey, you're right. Been so busy with work that I haven't had the chance to catch a stream. Hope all is well. Everything has been going fantastic. And now this leveling driving me a little bit crazy, but at the very least, we're doing it. And, uh... We've got a better system than we previously had. It's all that matters to me. Acorn has slightly larger radius. Okay. So it, it can be a little bit annoying with the larger radius, honestly, but it's not the end of the world. For most instances, it won't make that big of a difference. It's just whenever it catches an Earth Sprite that it's annoying, but... Right now, I should really just be killing the Earth Sprites as well, because killing the Earth Sprites is, uh... Is still just as much experience while I'm waiting for things to respawn. Why not? Truly really unfortunate I can't use Mimicry, that would be great. I truly wish I could, but alas. Uh, we grab this one. Get them with the sleep, they both die to the doom, and we've got a big success on our hands. Now it's just back to killing Earth Sprites, I suppose. It's a quick boost for my Song of Torment, so it does some extra damage. Uh, I remember that doom does not work on them, so I do not use them. Oh, you know what I could do? Here we go. Eh, Song of Torment doesn't really do enough for me to be willing to do that, so that's unfortunate, but... It's fine all the same. Instances like this do kind of make it worth the idea of going to get more... Uh, some upgraded gear, but also... I don't know. I kind of like doing it like this. Not sure why. Just kind of do. Which enemy did I farm missile from, seeing as you did it? Oh, no, no. This is a uh, drill cannon. It's not missile. I just, um... I just mistake the name every once in a while. I forget that there's something called missile and something called drill cannon. You're all good. Yeah, it, it would be it would be nice to to mimic someone, but sadly, basically any interaction at all, I do have to label as interacting with another player. So it is a band, a tragedy, but it must be done. It, we're getting really lucky with the dooms on this set, so I I can no longer complain about the bad luck that we had previously. I'm getting a lot of one-tap dooms, and there's nothing more I could ask for. The video game still refuses to let me be cool, though. I'm gonna leave the fate real quick so we could lose the boss back in the fate. I'm gonna doom the little guy over here. Hello, little guy. And please become doomed. We're back to that bad luck I was talking about a second ago. There it is. 
If you unsync the trial, it's RNG. If you sync it, it's guaranteed. Yeah, that, that we would be able to get missile. I know some of the solos have gotten missile. It's just I don't particularly find a use for missile, aside from just trying to be a bit more consistent, I suppose. Uh, and I'm okay with not being super consistent on these dooms, so long as eventually I hit them. That's all that really matters to me. We could put them both to sleep now that we're here, throw on level sync, hit them with the dooms and succeed at hitting them with the dooms. Yes, perfect, and nope, okay, well, it's fine. Just get them on the next one. And then we want this fate to respawn as well. So we've got this fate down here and this fate up here. Those are the two that we get to jump in between for our leveling. Hit him with a Ram's voice real quick, and then spam Drill Cannons for a while. Ram's voice does more damage than Drill Cannons, but I guess you wouldn't want to use it just because it, um... ...wastes some of the freeze... ...to use it. Quick Doom. A quick Doom. A quick Doom. Quick doom on the uh, the Avis, maybe. Perhaps, please. Thank you. Once I've burned the freezes worth spamming, yeah, okay. That that I could agree with that very much. Hello, Sammy. Welcome. Welcome to the to the solo Final Fantasy bit. It's um. If you know what RuneScape is, it's a RuneScape Iron Man, but in Final Fantasy XIV. If you don't know what RuneScape is, I'm sorry for confusing you further. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope you're having a great time. Alrighty. I need... Just one more goon dead, and we're leveled up. 16% left on the big fate, and it looks like they failed. A tragedy. Still find it really funny that they gave blue better holy. It's nice, you know? Blue deserves something. They're not allowed to do limited quests. They should at least get to do that. Filled at 16%, that's rough. Probably not worth it, but there's a little 58 mob in the blue quest you could try to grind against. Ooh. I guess it would depend on if it gives me proper mob experience or reduced because it's a quest mob. Thank you for the hydrate. I shall indeed. Oh god, okay. We hit him with the- hit him with the- with the- with the button that kills him. We hit him with the doom button, please, I beg. Yeah, well, at least I have plenty of time on this guy. Of course, I would love to accept a friend request. My favorite. I would also love for this Avis to be killed by Doom. There we go. Poi! Electrogenesis, Choco Meteor, and Arctic Gale have higher potency than Drill Cannon. That's kind of nice. That's true. That's true. What? Wait. I'm confused. Why? It didn't change the amount of XP that we got. Why? It should have reduced the XP we got to half what we were getting. Because I'm, I'm caught up with uh, 
armory bonus now, right? Does level sync affect armory bonus? I don't... That doesn't sound right. Level sync affects armory bonus? So you're saying that I get to keep armory bonus forever doing this fate strat. Oh my god, that's amazing. That is absolutely beautiful. Is it possible to reach anything a little 58 to 59 from the start is on the Sea of Clouds? It is not, sadly. You need to have flight in Sea of Clouds to be able to get to those. I think maybe I should stay unsynced until I have things that are about to die, and then I level sync for when they die, and unsync again afterwards. Because when I'm not synced, the boss can't hit me, right? So like that one's about to die, so I stay level synced. Is that Avis the respawning soon? Thank you for the posture check. I shall sit up straight. I shall unshrimp. Shrimping is illegal in this county. Fate expires in 45 seconds. Wait, quick, get a doom. Get a doom quickly. Please. Alright, at least we get one more. Night, night. Oh, Spaggy. Oh, Revio. Oh, Mamma Mia. Right. Uh, thank you, Dragons, for your cooperation. It was an absolute pleasure. Is the other fate respawned, is the question. Not so far. Yeah, I just got to 66, so... While I'm not level synced to a fate, I should no longer have armory bonus, correct? No, I still have armory bonus. Why? I At the very least, I'm getting a plus 100%. Maybe I haven't been getting armory bonus for a while? Could that be it? Hmm. I guess I was getting a 300% XP bonus when I was first killing the Loth, and now it's down to 100%, but... You know, Warrior is level 60s. Okay, so yeah, I haven't had armory bonus for a while then. It's been multiple levels. Uh, Master Carnival does give XP. That's a good point. Is it scaled XP, though? I don't think so, right? Is Master Carnival scaled? Maybe we should go check that. It'd be very nice if it was scaled. Getting about 8,000 experience from them now. It's not absolutely terrible. What level are my crafters? Can you get armory bonus? You cannot get armory bonus from crafters. It is only from combat classes. Massive XP bonus for first time clears. I think I've cleared everything though, except for like the final fight or two. Hmm. Hello, Caffeinated. It's great to see you. Uh, it's good, to, it's good to have you around. Hello, hello. Yeah, we're leveling blue to unlock Reaper. We just have to get blue to level 70. We're 66 now, so we're pretty close. It took four hours and 20 minutes, but we have finally got to the point where my blue mage is the same level as my warrior. I could grind Dusk Vigil for XP. The only issue is that it doesn't give very much, so we'd only be able to kill the first as blue mage. Uh, and we have to clear out all of the mobs prior to the first boss and then kill the first boss with doom. It'd probably take 
something like four to five minutes, and then it would only give around 120-ish thousand XP on level six. And a level war instead, because we can get more XP per hour for Blue Mage, is the main reason. So my Blue Mage, uh, for Warrior to get this level of XP, it takes around, I think it was 18-ish, 14 or 18 minutes, one of those two, for my Warrior to get to the first boss of Somal. And then the first boss of Som All goes down and gives us uh, 120,000 XP. Even if we're not doing the fates, even if I'm just grinding these level 57 enemies in the wild on my own, I still get more than 120,000 XP per 18, 20 minutes. Watching the YouTube series, good to see you. What, which, hello, video games. Uh, welcome, thank you. It's very kind of you. I'm glad that you've been watching the series. I hope you've been enjoying. And then the ideal is when we have fates, and then the fates will give us way, way more experience. I'm not at Ultra Vibration. Ultra Vibration isn't until Stormblood, so it is not going to be usable for a long time. It is tragic how far away most of the, the good things are. Is this Wrath the first and only manga streamer? It's true. The solo only manga streams are continuing as expected. Honestly, with how amazing the content in this game is, you're kind of surprised there's not more interesting or unique series out there like OSRS has for instance. Yeah, I, I kind of feel the same, honestly. Feels like there there's really just a niche that has not been filled for it and i'm happy to do it for right now at the very least we hit them with the doom and then they die to the doom please thank you hey look at that within three attempts if it takes more than three times to doom one of these, then I am suffering. Hey, there's another fate. We gotta get back up there quickly. Maybe I teleport even just to save it. Eh, it won't save that much time. Anyway, straight to the other fate. We've got about... We'll probably take a minute to get there, so we'll have 13, 12-ish minutes of proper XP grinding. Very nice, very nice. In those 13-ish minutes, the ideal is that we get 2 million XP worth of uh, goons defeated, but if not, then, you know, whatever. However much we get. Think about making cutscenes of poems or stories from the Eorzean encyclopedias. Just getting some friends together and shooting cinematic versions of those stories. That sounds kind of cool. That'd be pretty, that could be pretty nice. Why am I back here after making millions on Twitch on Thursday? Oh, the the millions that I made to ruin my UI, of course. True, true. I didn't actually end up checking how much I got that stream. Maybe I should. That could that could be funny to look at. What do I have? Armor pieces on my hotbar? Those are craftings. So if I if I click on that, it just brings up the craft menu for it. You can drag this for anything that you want to particularly keep track of. For easier access. These are just the armor pieces that we were making for our uh, ninja a while ago. All that really matters is that I'm level synced as they die. That's the only thing we care about. Be level synced while the thing dies. I swear I've been getting a lot of use out of the out of the near what? Out of the near what? I I don't know what that is.
Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Thank God. Thank God. I'm so glad this is working. I'm so glad I'm not stuck with the other methods. Honestly, out of all of the methods, I probably would have just ended up with the Loth until I couldn't anymore. I'd rather take the 4,000 experience from a Loth than have to deal with this, with uh, anything else. Hey, what, what the heck was that? I think it'll also work if I get them with a Doom and then sleep them. Since they don't continue to chase me, I should be able to just go back in here and they won't reset or anything. Yeah, look at that. They're not reset, they're still good to go. So really, it doesn't even have to be that close to the fate. It just has to be within 15 seconds for me to Doom and then sleep and then get to the fate area. Uh, I was hoping to put him to sleep there. That's fine. Okay. Uh, this one, you are basically in the fate zone, so I'll take Hey, look at that. Easy dooms, easy video game. This is nothing. This is absolutely nothing. I've never had any issues. Today has always been a good day. There's been no suffering whatsoever. Ugh, what a mess. I don't think the Nidhogg trial is going to be that bad, honestly. Uh, as a try, I've done the trial for Nidhogg so many times, it's pretty solidly ingrained into my skull. I think I've got a pretty decent chance with it. Compared to a lot of other trials where I really don't remember much, uh, the Nidhogg one, I do remember a good bit. So, I'll let you finish first, and then I'll step out. I thank you. Oh, this is going great. <laughs> this, is so, this is so good. Oh my god. Uh, I think we started this fate around 300,000 XP. I might be wrong, though. I'm pretty sure we were just about 300,000 XP into level 66. It's also very nice that it doesn't seem like any of the mobs here are aggressive, for some reason. So I don't really have to put up with anything. Oh, I think I stepped out. Oh, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. I, for a second, I thought I stepped out as the XP drop came off for that one, but no, we are good. Can I doom you? I can. How much XP do you give? Yeah, thankfully there's no fate limit, unlike the the instances where we do have a hard-capped limit. That was 256 experience for that fate Thunder Dragon. It was uh, not a good one. <laughs> not worth the time to kill the actual fate mobs. I'm going to use up every last second of this fate that I can. Yeah, 
If you don't mind, I would prefer if when I say that I'm going to try and make as efficient usage of my time in this fate as I can, if we did not spend the entirety of a sleep debuff putting something to sleep. It'd be very appreciated. Uh... It's nice to have eruption as well. Just something that I can throw over a wall if I really can't reach something. Something that's just out of range for... Within the fate. Just makes things a little bit easier. If I remember correct, one whole fate gives as much XP as one mob last time you tried it. Oh. Oh, perfect. Wow. Well, I'm glad we're not doing that then. <sighs> I think this southern one, the one at NX Minor, is probably the one that's best for us. There were a lot more enemies right inside of the fate. Uh, so less downtime between them. We did have to wait for them to respawn every once in a while, but... It was a lot quicker to kill them, I think. Just died to the doom. I've got my 28,000 experience. Right. Blues receive a massive XP for fighting fate mobs. Okay. They kind of they kind of don't want blue mages to do fates then, I suppose. I can understand why blue mages doing fates is kind of a, a little bit crazy. I can just press the doom button after all on most of these enemies. Can you Ultra Vibration of Fate? That's the real question, I think. Uh, no, Zithi, um, you get Gil from dungeons. Every time you kill an enemy in a dungeon, you get Gil. Uh, the vault is very notorious for that. It is an incredible amount of money to run through the vault on Blue Mage. Just as, as many attempts as you feel like for that day, you can really get a lot of cash from it. Uh. Good. We are not gonna level up this fate, but we're pretty close at least, which I can be happy about. I think after this fate, I'm gonna head back down to the other fate spot so that when that one respawns, I'll have the max time with it. That'd probably be my best bet right now at least. Uh, it's about to die, so I can't step out. It's fine. If I could hit this one with a doom, and then it gets doomed very quickly, so I can put it to sleep, and then I step back in, and then I don't worry about it. Fantastic. A very good leveling method, if I do say so myself. This is a big victory for gamers everywhere. Thank you for the for the level thing. No idea Rath would ever want to worry about it. what what was it what what am i worrying about what happened maybe if twitch chat commented about the food buff wrath games would notice no i'm sorry i i, I was paying attention to either chat at the moment i was kind of just space it out i got it i hit the button i, I did it i ate food i swear it's okay youtube chat it's fine The Dynamis only leveling strat in Aether. This would be ruined in three minutes by someone grinding Bodge and Relics. Uh, yeah, probably. 
it is definitely very easily counteracted by anybody playing the video game. This kind of relies on uh, just having a whole bit of space to yourself to get to to get it to work. That was easy. Interrupt my sleep. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm the one that interrupted my sleep. How dare you interrupt? I have an acorn bomb. If an instant skills or deals a set amount of damage, they all follow the same rules. If one works, all work. If one doesn't, none work. Okay. Uh, good. Great. Chat to chat, communicate. Lemon. <laughs> the lemon. YouTube is the true savior of the Wrath streams. We have to remember our roots every once in a while. YouTube is the only reason that there are Wrath streams. Let's be completely honest with ourselves. I'm just going to put these two to sleep, I think. I would like to be able to get the both of them in this last moment here. Come on. Yeah, we gotta go. I gotta try and hit as many of these in this last few seconds as I can. I have to get it this time. Hey, okay. Alright. Finishing off, that was, uh... Wow. We got a million experience from that. From a 14 minute fate, we got a million experience. Hey, failure, all right, tragedy. Absolute tragedy. I'm super happy about that one. Oh, uh, the, uh, that last one didn't count. I killed it, I thought, before it would have ended with the doom, but I guess not. Food buff, the food buff is there, I did it, I swear. I'll, I'll hit it again. I'll, I'll do it once more. There you go. It's a full food buff. Yeah, a million XP is nothing to complain about. I can be very happy. Do you know what a million XP is? That's probably... I don't know. Uh, like five Orem Vale runs or something? Four or five Orem Vale runs? Which means that Orem Vale is definitely still faster, but... At least it's comparable to Orem Vale, which means I don't have to, which means I, I can do it and I don't have to worry about it. 56 minutes, that's not full, that might just more than three minutes, oh god, you're right. Squadrons are not allowed, sadly. That would be doing things with NPCs. I can't even run the squadron as well, so we avoid them as much as we can. <sighs> Whew. That's as much as one of the Hippo Tribe quests, which is an 80-plus quest. Very nice, very nice. Still better than Orem, since it's less frustrating and RNG-dependent. Oh, yes. Absolutely no question. It's better than Orem because I do not wish for <laughs> this to be over the exact second it starts. Oh, look at that! A sneaky little dragon I didn't notice before. Okay, I get XP for lookouts, right? Sightseeing log gives some XP. Slash lookout. I think I need no. I've arrived at a vista. Huzzah. No. Slip. There we go. Okay. Seventeen thousand XP. Not not anything worthwhile, but it's something. Uh, chocobo is allowed, yeah. Uh, I just never really use duo because I forget it. If lookout doesn't work, it's prey? Okay, gotcha. Oof. Why are we opening Reaper? We have to get Reaper so that I can uh, get through the area. I need a high DPS class. A uh, high DPS melee class so that I'm able to burst through Nidhogg at as early of a level as possible. 
the early the earliest level for that is probably going to be around level 71 and the easiest class to get to 71 for is uh reaper because we just get one of our current classes to level 70 to unlock reaper and then we do uh a run of challenge logs and then reaper is level 71 and that's it easy peasy Truck Meteor would be great if Rat's blue level wasn't so low. It's very true, yeah. If I had a, a higher blue level, it would probably be good. Is there anything aside from Truck Meteor in Geranian Forelands that we can grab? I might just go grab a spell right now while we're waiting. I feel like it would be more worth it to just go grab any nearby spells. Choco's the only one here? Okay. You said it was the red chocobos, right? So they're gonna be like over at the chocobo for us. Electronesis and Sea of Clouds is 250. Okay. Huh, well. There's that fate I was talking about. Sadly, unsinking does not work for getting the boss to leave me alone. I do have to step out of the circle for that. I return to the circle. Please, dear Avis, if you could just be doomed for a second here. Okay, so I think it's going to be a pretty consistent cycle here then, that we complete one of these fates, we head over to the other zone, we wait like one or two minutes, and then the other one will spawn, which is a very heavy positive. This is a perfect cycle, then. Choco Meteor is a spell that Sephiroth taught Chocobos to save them from the poachers. Really? Is that true? Is that real lore? Because I, I kind of love that, if that's real. Now I have to level sync. Because that one's about to die. There we go. Uh, I guess that one hasn't respawned. Neither have these. Okay, so we get the ones at the back, and then... Uh, should be good. I'll probably try and avoid killing too many of the mobs before the fate starts. Just because of how quickly they start. So that we have all of the mobs up once we're doing the fight. <sighs> I'm so glad we got an actual good solution out of this. Instead of just the, the most painful possible options. I'm so glad. <sighs> Considering how much that spell hurts, wouldn't surprise you if Chocobo's... If all Chocobos that know it graduated Sephiroth School is apocalyptic black magic, I could I could believe it. It's pretty crazy. Choco Meteor is a crazy strong spell. It's from just a little just a little dude, you know. Why does he need a, a meteor? That's that's for black mages. At least you'll get a nice break from this with the 24-hour maintenance tomorrow. Uh, it's, I suppose you're right. 24-hour maintenance will be a very good chance for me to just continue spamming away on the video. But then I, I will also have my normal work tomorrow. But that is fine. All the same. I should be at a pretty good spot with the video here, honestly. I did some work on the next vid before stream today. And I got a decent bit in. A, a lot further than I thought. What time does the maintenance start? Oh, I have no idea. That's a good question, actually. Maybe I should mention the Twitch streams in a video at some point. I don't really know where I would fit it into this video. Um, but maybe I should mention the Twitch streams at some point. a.m. Pacific Standard? Alright, well, there's your answer. 
I will choose to believe it unless somebody says it is incorrect. I'm going to start killing this Earth Sprite. Because I think the other Avises are still respawning. Yeah, it's 24 hour maintenance because it's patch day. We're getting 6.55. And the final bit for Endwalker. Ten hours ish. Oh really? Okay. Speaking of 10 hours-ish, how long have we been streaming? I feel like I've been going for a real... for longer than usual. And I can only tell because I feel hungry, and I never really feel hungry during streams. So it must be pretty... We've been going for almost five hours. Okay, well. Oh god. Oh, and thanks for putting up with me for five hours, gamers. That's very kind of you. I, I hope you've been enjoying the the madness. Okay. Just a lot of dooms on the Avises. The Avises are honestly dying incredibly quickly from most of these dooms here. This one I don't have to step out, so I'm not worried about losing level sync. If you could just get hit by the doom, please, that would be very appreciated now, honey. That would be incredible of you. Very kind indeed. The worst part is that there's another six-ish hours to get to 70. We shall see how long it goes. We shall see indeed. Oh, man. I think, bare minimum, I'm getting to 70 tonight. I don't think I could allow myself to stop before that. As far as spells to learn, did I learn Electrodenesis earlier? No, I did not. Yeah, that's one of the things... That's one of the things we were hoping for. Oh, yeah, all at once. Yeah, all at once right now. It's happening. It's happening at this exact moment. Hello, Blue. You're, you're a sleepy gamer. I hope that you and you at least got a little bit of rest there for a moment. Welcome back. Add? Get added? Enjoy the ad? You fiends? Still haven't survived the 10 million hit. Yeah, we've got... Uh, that's what we're prepping for right now, actually. We have 20 GCDs to kill Nidhogg. Anything less than that, and we have lost. Did your sub run out literally that minute? Oh, that's a good question. Maybe. Who knows? It'd be an absolute tragedy, but it could have happened. Okay, there's the doom. Thank you. A pleasure to, to work with you, Bon Avis. And thank you very much for your time. I'll go back. Uh, I think I can reach this one without leaving them. Yeah, okay. This one without reaching, leaving level sync. I think we're 66 right now. And we're about to be 67. As soon as this Bone Avis dies, we will have hit our 67 mark. And there it is! Okay. Oh, man. Level 67. I wonder how long this is going to be for the video.
probably like a minute ish of video would be this going through all the different things we tried for leveling blue mage until i ended up just going between these two fates <sighs> funny how that happens let this segment be a while also emphasize how bad it was oh maybe perhaps perhaps indeed Emphasize how quickly my sanity started to drop. Uh, I know it would ruin everything if this worked, but I'm curious if I can doom the dragon. Fully resisted, okay. I just had to know. You know, I just, I just needed to know. It was very important information. It's for the future of all of us. Not a single Avis alive. I guess we should kill an Earth Sprite. Maybe it's a bit too late to kill an Earth Sprite, but that is okay all the same. Sanities for the weak, true gamers, master insanity. Very true, you know, we have to we have to use it as, as a part of us. He has to we have to be insane. If we're not insane, then how would I do this challenge? This segment of the video should be the entire bit, but played at 1,000 times speed. I... You know what? If that would not absolutely have to come with an epilepsy warning, I would. That's just funny enough that I, I like the idea of it. Yep. Oh, right, yep. What's the plan with Reaper? Just burst Nidhogg before Sable Price can activate or find a way to actually take it out. Uh, it, we're definitely not going to be able to kill Sable Price with Reaper. Uh, Ninja would be the only chance we had at killing Sable Price. Um, but I need Reaper later anyway is the first bit of it as to why we're, we're starting with Reaper. I will need Reaper at a later point. I need to get back and level sync. Hey, nicely done. Uh, yeah, I need Reaper at a later point for a different fight that I already know about uh, and expect to have a very ridiculous requirement for damage. So, for now, we've got... We're going to be taking on Reaper and using it as a large amount of burst for our big hits. More like, might as well try get it now and try it out for Nidhogg. Yeah, exactly. Since I, I know I have to... Um... Oh, thank you. I didn't realize I was still unsynced. And since I know I do have to get it at some point. Can Reaper do it in 20 GCDs? Has it been tested? No, it has not. Uh, but at least it hasn't been tested by me. But I could very easily go and test that myself. Either way, the... Uh, the higher DPS from Reaper is basically just without a question. Like it's, it's going to be able to, at the very least, get close. And then past that, if it's not close enough, it just comes to leveling or gearing. So getting a full set of eye level 210... 100% Epic Echo at level 71. Uh, and then any other additions that we can fit in. Yeah, at least for this level range, uh, Reaper is an incredibly high DPS class. So, But again, the main reason that I want Reaper specifically is that I don't have to level Reaper more than once. Unlike other classes like Samurai, where I would have to level Samurai 20 levels, and it is much more difficult to level a main class than it is to level a limited class. That's that's the whole shtick that we're going with right now, and why I'm farming up on Blue Mage, is because Blue Mage is easy to level up with, and then I only have one actual level on a main class. 
Is this doable or the only reason you can't do it is because you don't want to use Epic Echo? The even with our epic echo attempts uh we haven't been able to do it so it's a really difficult push for the airy honestly oh good uh bu -bu no that was unlucky no hey we made it I got the 30,000 for that. You didn't see it, but I got it. That's all that matters. So long as I get my funny number, that's all we need. So one full fate. This is this is the last one for this fate, basically. And since I can't kill it now, I have to kill it in the next few seconds here. And I will not be able to do that. So it is a tragedy, but that's fine. <sighs> we... I don't remember how much experience we were at, actually. Prior to this, we were at 1.3, maybe? 1.3 million out of the 1.8 million that we needed... And then, so we got, uh, 500, we got about 800,000 experience from that fate. Not a bad one. Not bad at all. 10 minute warning for fishers. Oh, very true, very true. If you absolutely can't do it, will I get help, or is the end, or is it the end of solo? I would, in an absolute worst case, where I could not do this, I would rather take an exception and have another solo join the party with me than to end solo there. Um, but we shall see. You can GCD in a target level 80, but it's not pretty. Yeah, that's sort of... I, as well, on my own personal classes, I've tested things. I think the lowest level I had tested Nidhogg with was a level 81 Sage. And I know that with a level 81 Sage, I can kill Nidhogg before it uses Sable Price. Hello, Farah. Welcome. Can I make an exception to use the Reaper starting gear before that? Probably, yeah. That, that would come in before using... Uh, anything else? Okay, and then this should st Hey! Look at that guy! You think he's worth good XP? Can I doom him? He's fully resisted the doom. Run for your life. Oh, he's not that bad, actually. Oh, he is invulnerable to my off guard because he was walking back. A tragedy. Can I hit him with the other funny buttons? I cannot. So I guess we're just going to be doing damage. And the question is, is this going to be worth it? We shall see shortly, I presume. Oh. B rank marks don't give much XP. They don't give much XP in general, like for normal, but what about for blue mages? Uh, who knows? And you're probably talking about for blue mages, but you know. Even for blue, uh, it's a tragedy. I still have to, I have to try. I have to. I need to know. Hey, 
I got nothing else to do in the meantime anyway while we're waiting for the fate to spawn, so might as well. Oh, Sonic Boom has a higher potency, actually. I didn't realize. Hmm. It's more blue mage time, so stream value either way. True. Very true. The more blue mage, the better, I always say. That's me. I definitely say that. You can't prove me wrong. Definitely always say that. Uh, actually, maybe I should just be spamming Ram's voice, because that's more damage even, right? Two twenty versus two ten. Yeah, it is just better damage to use Ram's voice so long as I'm not AoEing anything else. How much of a reduction is Mighty Guard? Forty percent reduction? That I mean that means it's not really doing that much. Probably don't even need Mighty Guard, honestly. And there's the fate we were talking about. Everything that we needed, we're looking good. And with the fate freshly spawned in, we should be all set to go. Oh, wait. This is perfect, actually. I just really have to hope it doesn't reset. And now I'm level synced for it? One level difference? Oh, it only gave a thousand XP. Come on! That would have been that gets, Come on! I should have gotten it for that. How could you? A tragedy. Pog, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for celebrating all the same blue. Yeah, let's go. I was warned. You're correct. I mean, um, you, all of you know how to play blue mage, right? Why didn't you tell me that it was going to be bad experience? How could you, how could you just let me do that? I thought, I thought you were supposed to be helping me. And you're just, you're just not even going to tell me that I wasn't going to get a lot of experience from the B-Rank Hunt? How could you? Imagine listening to chat. True, couldn't be me. Absolutely couldn't be me. Celebrated the strat, not the XP. Oh, understandable. Well, you know, the, the strat was pretty cool, too. Unsubscribes, no wait, come back, flood up, it's fine. No, it's I swear it wasn't it wasn't your fault, it was me. Come back. Don't forget to hit the funny subscribe button and also like the stream on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the, the follow button on the Twitches and the the Prime of Jeff Bezos money Amazons. That's pretty cool. It's pretty incredible. Thank you. Wow. Haha. <laughs> so, I have a quick question. My curiosity can no longer be sated by simply bully. Thank you for the follow. Look at that. Thank you. My curiosity can no longer be sated by um, not knowing. And so, I I have cursed myself with what happened last stream. So last stream, um, I had said, I, I had asked what placement I was in the stream category for Final Fantasy XIV in terms of uh, higher to low viewership. And then we had YouTube chat swarm over and we became number two. Uh, that was or number four. I can't remember what number it was, but that was pretty funny. That was a lot. Of, that was a lot of fun. I'm curious now What position I'm at at this exact moment without YouTube chat swarming over? Like where where am I in high to low? 
just on my own. Thank you for the follow and for as a joke, Lou. The, there's no way. Get ready, YouTube channel asks us to be able to get no 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 it's fine, it's fine. I, I won't I wouldn't do that. Okay, hey, alright, that's better. Thank you. Thank you for being honest with me, what it's very kind. Of, oh, you had it unrecommended. Okay, that makes sense. That's fine. Put him to sleep. Eighth is pretty good. You know what? I'm I'm happy with an eighth. It's pretty solid. I think that means I'm on the the second second bar or whatever the heck. I forgot to hit the level sync for that last one and didn't get as much XP. That's fine. One of these days, I'm just letting you know for the thank you very much for the recurring memberships. This is very good. Jokes on you, Zero. Oh, bad. I'm not even there. It's crazy. Aren't you wondering how that would be like with 250 more people? Well, I won't ask you to go over, but I am wondering. I, I will say... What is, if instead of having 134 viewers on Twitch, I had 384 viewers on Twitch, what position would I be at? Word up. If we do need a second solo player, can you name them only solo? Oh, I like that. That's a good idea. First of this category where it counts our hearts. Oh, thank you, Blue. I would be fourth. With 380? I'd only be... Oh my god. Who's playing Final Fantasy XIV tonight? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, well, you know what? We can only... We, we can only uh, be so cool, you know? First has 679. Okay. One of these days, we're gonna be up there at the very top. I promise you that. One day. Not today, but one day, perhaps. Whoops. Cider, Spudsy, and whoops. Okay. Makes sense. I do like to raid Cider on most days that Cider is streaming. But, uh... I wonder, I wonder who we raid today. Maybe we hang out with somebody new. We do love Cider. We're pro cider spiders in this household. Uh, hello, uh, golden lion. Please, if you could come over this way, maybe. Go to sleep. Ah, oh, spaghetti. Oh, Ravio. Oh, Mamma. It's sleep time for kitties. Oh, man. What is rat? What is. What is rat? What is. What does rat. Will rat ever be on top? What does chat think of that? Let's vote. That's a good question. Does chat believe in me? Will we one day be the top streamer on Twitch for Final Fantasy XIV? One day. I believe so. I think so. What is rat? I'm rat. <laughs> you painted yourself golden. I could I could use some cheese right now. I'm pretty pretty uh pretty hungry gamer at the moment. Oh yeah, we will. I, absolutely. Will my worm ever be the top streamer in general is the real question. That question is, uh, I, I could probably give you the answer for that one. That's a solid no. As long as Jesse is streaming 14, you doubt it? Hey, I'm just saying, you know? The, the king can be dethroned. Thank you very much for the prime, Zinzo. It's incredibly kind of you. Thank you, thank you. Rat. <laughs> Thank you. It is I, Rat. 
Oh god. That's the level 54. I need to remember that that's the level 54 and stop going over towards it as if it's a level 57. Please do not get rid of my sprint. I would like to use that, please. Oh, goodbye, dragon. Bye bye. Number one streamer among all worms. Oh, that's pretty big, actually. Shouldn't there be a worm emote? Maybe one day. I, uh, I've had a few emotes in, in, uh, the wings that I've been trying to have made recently. But, uh, I've had a little bit of trouble waiting on folks to be available. So we shall see. We shall see indeed. I have run out of things to obliterate with doom. I guess I can go get these. These aren't that bad. Hey. Get the heck out of here. Is that worm, worm, or worm? It's definitely worm. Yeah, it's... Out of all of those, It's it's gotta be worm. But then worm is also a pretty good choice, so it could be worm. But I think it's gonna be worm out of all of those. We doom and we sleep, please. <laughs> Rat games. Oh, God. Yeah. I don't think there would be any accidents about Jesse turning into a primal. I think that would just be on purpose. It's uh, it's it's a whole it's a whole universe here. One of these one of these days we're gonna do something. We're gonna do something big. We're gonna do something huge that the entirety of the Final Fantasy XIV community will not be able to ignore, and then they will hang out on my stream, and that'll be it. I don't know what that thing is, but you know. where does the wrath in Wrath Games come from? The wrath in Wrath Games uh, comes from uh, is the Rathalos and Rathian from Monster Hunter. Uh, when we initially made this channel, I, I made this with Melvina, uh, and it was going to be a, a thing that we did together. And so we did a, a Rathalos and Rathian kind of shtick because uh, we started uh, dating because of Monster Hunter, and so you know that's just kind of. And I went along with the, the themes properly, I suppose. And then that's just where it is now. That's why the little icon that I have, little profile picture, is a little, uh, is a hatching Rathian Rathalos chick. It's very nice. Monster Hunter bringing lovers together. Brought together by being told that they are absolutely garbage at playing the video game. I'm sure she still remembers that. If you want to know how to how to open up to someone, the first thing you need to do is to be in chemistry lab while they're playing Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate on their 3DS. And then you have to go up to them and you have to say, Wow. Uh, that's not how you play Insect Glaive. And that's it. That's how, it's, that's how it sprouts. <sighs> Gotta love the level sync trick tangentially when you first leveled blue to 50, you leveled your chocobo to max because of unintentional XP gains. Oh, that's pretty good. Would be nice, actually. Say, whoa, you're trash. Yeah, exactly. Ba basically, yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of how it went. But more in a, in a more joking and lighthearted way than actually saying, wow, you're trash. <laughs> oh, man. No, it, uh, come on. It died before then. Come on.
We made it in time, you know. That's, that's all I can ask for. Arriving at the level sink before time has run out. You know what? I, I might as well just, just get this dragon out of here. It's just going to keep attacking me otherwise. It's not worth it. Surprised you haven't seen me doing a Monster Hunter stream with Malvina. Eh, I mean, there's not really any Monster Hunters I'm I'm looking to play right now. Maybe when uh, the the next Monster Hunter game comes out, that new one, Monster Hunter Wilds, that looks so good. Oh my god. A bit late because you were doing fates, but you would happily draw a cute word me mode as long as you know what size to make the canvas. Oh, that would be fantastic. Absolutely. I I would I would happily uh, accept that if you if you were willing to. I just gotta remember how big the Twitch emotes are. And we'll let you know, Slider. Are you on the Discord, Slider? Or uh, are, are you just a, a stream goer? No, my experience. Alright, well, you know, that's okay. Do you want the hype emotes for tri for Twitch? I could throw them your way. Yes, actually. I I've been meaning to get those put up. Same name, too. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Now that we've got our, our blue mage experience, we're just about to hit level 68. Should be able to get that pretty easily in the next fate over here. So we get a level, basically, every other fate. We're probably going to have to do three fates to get from level 69 to 70. So... Uh, one, and then one, two... Three, four, four. So like five more total farming sessions? Not bad. And from your girlfriend that is best to make them bigger than you think because quality suffers more from scaling up than scaling down. Uh, it's very true. It's very true. Why do I hit my dooms more often than you hit your Eureka effects? Uh, what's the percentage chance on Eureka effects? I have no idea. I suppose it, it depends. I do just kind of spam the doom button a lot. I'm gonna stand up for a second. It's time for a proper stretch. If you've been hanging out with me all stream so far, I think it's, and you have not gotten up since then, I think it is time to stand up for a brief moment and just stretch out your legs a little bit. Give your, give your legs a stretch, relax a little bit. You know, it's one of those. Exactly, a good quality stretch for team. Thank you, Esper. You refuse. <laughs> I'm sorry, Luke. Well, at least I tried. <laughs> I tried my best. Whew. That stretch redeem was for you. Okay. Yes, please. That stretch redeem is for everybody else. Eorzean Aetherobics. I love Eorzean Aetherobics. It's a masterpiece. You can just stand up and go to bed because it's 1am over in Europe. I wish you the absolute best, Molten Guy. Thank you for stopping in and I hope you, you have a good sleep. And thank you for the posture check and the hydrate. We're going on. We're going on. Now we need this fate to simply spawn, please. That would be very appreciated. And then we can get back to our blue mage farming. Huh. <sighs> Man. I took a shower, so you think you're good? Okay. Well, then that's fine, Robert. That sounds good to me. <sighs> I need to figure something for food because i'm very hungry let's see if we do five more of these fates it takes probably three to five minutes for the next fate to spawn so three to five minutes for the next fate to spawn and then 15 minutes per fate uh 45 an hour and 15 minutes worth of the fates on their own. And then... 
like another 15 20 ish minutes of just hanging out waiting for the fates to spawn so this is going to be another hour and a half ish and then we should be level 70 i believe just eat the frozen Jamaican patty. And the, my Jamaican beef patties have run out, actually. I had my last one this morning. And it was cooked. I put it in the microwave, alright? It wasn't frozen this time. By the way, I've made two whole baked potatoes since I started streaming. Well, that sounds pretty good, actually. A baked potato could be nice. Six fates, I'm still 67, so two-ish hours. Uh, I think it should only be five, because I'm getting to 68 on this one. And then it'll be about two fates to get from 68 to 69, and three fates to get from 69 to 70. Ish. So I think it should be about five. Maybe, maybe. I might be wrong, I suppose. <laughs> this is the longest stream we've had in a while. Oh, man. Hmm. 6 because you're only 66%-ish right now? Uh, okay. I guess you're probably right then. I'll give you that. Sounds pretty good to me. Hmm. Okay. We've spawned. Fate here. Fate is here, it is time to go. Get the dooms. We must begin the dooming. Alright, come on. We gotta go quick. I gotta get at least a million experience out of this one. We're going for super efficiency. A highly efficient gameplay. All of the downtime while things are not alive, I will be killing the, the Earth Sprites. Just for that extra level of efficiency. Yet another Bone Avis stands in my way. And is put to sleep for its failings. It has been doomed. It is over. That Bone Avis will no longer live in mere moments. This Bone Avis refuses to be doomed, which is, you know, a little bit uh, ridiculous, but that's fine. There we go, perfect. Please let me out, thank you. This Bone Avis is doomed, and then I put it to sleep, and then we just get to focus on the Earth Sprite for a while. And I can actually freeze the Earth Sprite with Ram's voice, so I don't have to worry about too much. Should be easy peasy. All right, great. That's one Earth Sprite down. While the other Avises are respawning, I can go for this Earth Sprite. Easy peasy. And then as soon as this Earth Sprite is done, we just get to go around and doom those two Avises. We get the one that's behind the house, and then the two over there. This is a perfect cycle. 
There's no downtime, except there is downtime because I'm not dooming them, but it's, you know, good enough. And these dooms will be perfect one-shots. May you have blessing? What do you need the blessing for? Yeah, we're about to be level 68. There's an A rank you want me to try at X14, Y31? I don't have time for A ranks, I have to do the, the fate. I could never. Oh, me? Is that an SOS? What other story mode fights will be hard for mono red mage? Uh, I can't really think of any, honestly. Anything with big tank busters if you're going to be doing a level sync. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh yeah, Susana will be a problem. Well, it's not going to be that bad, because you've got a full party of DPS, so the sword will die pretty quick, right? Please, I beg. Thank you. second for that one to die and I get my XP drop first. Oh, I didn't get the XP drop first. That's fine. Come on, buddy. Come on back. An easy doom to make up for it. If I have them bled and sleeping, it should actually work out pretty well, because then they're taking damage while I'm waiting to kill these other ones. It's going pretty good if I just say so myself. A big win. Big win for blue mages everywhere. Okay, I'm getting a little bit insane at the moment because I'm not, I've slowly but surely run out of things to confidently speak about. And so I'm, I'm reverting to repeating the same thing over and over to fill space. But instead of filling space, what if I offered you uh, this doom for an Avis? Huh? That's pretty good. Elliot, I th I thought it was pretty good, you know. You just you, you just one of those. Starion or Gale? I like both of them. Why do I have to pick? It's very rude of you. I think that uh, they they both. Yep. What about bagels? I would love some bagels right now. That could be a nice one. What am I gonna get? What am I having for dinner? Is a solid question. I wonder if Melvina made dinner already. It's pretty late. Hmm. So my room is right next to the kitchen. Or my office here is basically right next to the kitchen, so I can kind of I can normally tell when dinner is being made. I don't think it has been been made. Hello, welcome, Hollowed Knight. I love your video game. 
Uh, this is this is a solo challenge for Final Fantasy XIV. If you know what a RuneScape Iron Man is, it's like that, but for fourteen. And if you don't know what a RuneScape Iron Man is, I apologize for uh, confusing you further. I could use some spaghetti. Spaghetti wouldn't be too bad. I, I would love for you to tell. Has dinner been created? What is for dinner? And I'm a hungry game. I'm looking forward to food. So just doing it with an one is enough, honestly. One Earth Sprite. And then I doom the other Avises. While that's bleeding and waking up. And then I bleed sleep it again. Quick bleed. Quick sleep. You could, you could do it. Just hit the doom. I beg. Please. Thank you. Waiting for butter to soften right now. You're making the lemon chicken with potatoes and rice. Oh, very nice. Please, if the potatoes are fine by themselves for a starch, then you will forsake the rice. Well, I would rather have the rice. RuneScape must be during the before times? What do you mean, the before times? RuneScape is still around. It's pretty sick. Old school RuneScape is a big one. I think outside of Final Fantasy XIV, it's like one of the most popular MMOs. Every time you have to step away, you've been shocked to come back and realize you're still going. Hey, come on. I, if I have anything in me, it's being stubborn and not... Oh, don't forget to level sync. That's a good point. Oh my god. I just... One, two, three, four, five enemies without level sync on? Thank you. Oh, man, that sucked. That is an unfortunate waste of experience, but that's fine. Every time I have to step out, it's basically always going to be like that. Ow. Hey, there's a level. Very nice. Level 68 achieved. Put Mighty Guard back on. Well, I have Mighty Guard off right now for the Earth Sprites, because I do want to be killing Earth Sprites in between uh, the sets. Just because they... Otherwise, I'm just kind of sat there waiting, but I guess you're right. I could turn Mighty Guard back on for now. Might as well. And then I can take it off when I'm doing the Earth Sprite. It feels very weird using focus target on a 
level 57 Earth Sprite, but here we are. Do me a favor, dear Dragon Maiden, and leave me alone, please. I'd be very appreciated. I just kind of sleep the, the Avises at any point, really. I think it's just... Yeah, I only really wait to sleep the Avises, because I... I don't really know why, honestly. I think I just want the sleep to last longest when the actual doom is on it, I suppose. I'm dead. I'm going to die. I died. Look at that. Incredible. And we're back to Limsa. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, I'm losing it. Don't blue roll actions allow casting of sleep? It does, yeah. I just use Acorn Bomb because Acorn Bomb is a bit cheaper XP-wise. We only had another 30 seconds left. We didn't really waste that much of it. That's fine. Yeah, 152k, so we didn't really get that much out of that fate. I think it was because I lost 150-ish. Only death this entire run, try killing the A rank. Why, why do we want me to kill the A rank? Is it because it will give good experience? Or is it because we want me to kill the A rank? I would particularly prefer to go for this next fate, but if it's... Uh, if it's useful, then I'll go for it. 4,500,000 XP at this point. Great. Good to know. The A rank won't give squad, it'll give Centurio seals. Okay, that's fine then. I'll, uh, I could do that another time. That's no problem. Uh, the fate that we're going for, Bright Star, the reason that we go for the fates is to get the level sync that the fate provides. Uh, level syncing for a fate will give us boosted experience as if we were still that level. So we get 30,000 XP from killing a level 57 uh, Golden Bandersnatch if we are level synced. And if we are not level synced, it gives us zero XP, I believe. Let me test that real quick, actually. And so we just kind of kill the surrounding mobs uh, while we're level synced. And that gave us... Yeah, zero experience. 11 levels above, and so it gives zero XP. Okay. We are making pretty good progress. True, true. How many... Uh, how many runs of Orem Vale do you think it would take from here? I think we get about 230,000 XP. So 10 runs to get from 68 to 69? Let no one say this stream ain't educational. Very true. It's, we're incredibly educational around here. The strats for blue mages of all ages. Not enough? Understandable. I'm, I'm feeling that way too. I guess I just kind of want to... Have something different. Because it is driving me a little bit insane. If I... I wonder, actually. I'm gonna try something real quick. Because if this works out, 
I can do this in between the spawns of them. So while I'm waiting for the fate to respawn, I can just go do this. So I'm not able to get rid of these ones. That would be the main problem. I want to be able to just get to Locksmith relatively quickly without having to deal with the frogs. That's fine, though. Let me see if I can give it another run with this. I get pulled by this frog, I think. No. Oh, there it is. And I got gold biled. Okay. That's just about as annoying as it could possibly be. So I am leaving. <sighs> oh. Hello, Fate. That's a very nice pick-me-up. At least I passed enough time that the fate is ready. Put you to sleep so you don't de-aggro when I walk too far away. Doom you, hit the level sync button. Slash AC level sync somebody said a minute ago. I may try and put that on my bar or something. That one's doomed. That one is not doomed. It was fate. Thank you. I'm here all night. Oh, oh, yes, yeah. Thank you. That was that was beautiful. That was truly beautiful. A, a great, a great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely flawless. Just beautiful delivery as well. <laughs> but am I ready? Is someone ever truly ready? I guess. You're right. What is the current goal? Uh, right now, I need to level up my blue mage to level seventy so that I can unlock the uh, Reaper class so that we can go and level Reaper to level 71, get a Pajeli or Kina weapon for my Reaper so that I can actually use it, get new equipment for my Reaper, and then go into the Airy to complete uh, killing Nidhogg within 20 GCDs of it starting. And that's the goal. That's, that's the dream. So the goal for absolutely right now, two more levels. The goal for this exact second is two levels. Uh, that's still an AoE, so it's still gonna put those to sleep and dry aggro. I wonder how small an AoE it is. Well, they moved away, so I guess it doesn't matter. Quick Doom. And then a Quick Doom. Put you to sleep. Put you to sleep. The throw on level sink. And we're set. A very nice and efficient bit of uh, enemy murder. I'm I'm happy. This fate I feel like is the better fate of the two for experience. We started this. Uh, God, what was it? I think we started with a hundred and fifty thousand ish XP. So we'll keep that in mind. A hundred and fifty thousand is a start point. So we can see how far we actually get off of this fate. The dragon one is pretty inconsistent, honestly. But I think it gets somewhere between 600,000 and 800,000 every run. Why are NPC parties not okay? Because if uh, NPC parties were allowed, then it would kind of trivialize the challenge. Since the main scenario quest... Um, 
has very slowly been adding in a trust called a duty support, uh, or trusts, where you're able to enter a dungeon required for the main scenario with a group of NPCs. So it would be very easy to do Final Fantasy XIV without other people if I was taking the NPC route. It would just be slightly slower. Uh, whereas doing it without the NPCs makes it an actual challenge where we have to puzzle out how to do different mechanics and see mechanics that normal folks wouldn't ever get the chance to experience and things like that. Yeah, it's, uh, limited jobs are able to do anything side quest related. They just can't do MSQ. That's the main thing that they're blocked from. Uh, MSQ and, uh, obviously using, uh, Duty Finder or anything else, but, uh, so side quests are completely free game. Trusts are specifically the system where you can level up their avatars. Duty support is the general system for all MSQ dungeons. Okay, so duty support then. Thank you, thank you. Aren't the NPCs only for the four-person dungeons, not the eight-person trials? Uh, yes, I believe you're correct. Um, but that still makes it so that every single dungeon in the game, for the majority of the expansions, is just finished, and it's not a question, you know? Oh, there's four trials on duty support now, is there? That's kind of cool. I also thought there was only one trial on duty support, so I'm surprised. So one exception to this main trial that you won't name is very appreciated, Infinity Dragon. Uh, yeah, please do not name the specific trial we're mentioning. Uh, it's very appreciated indeed. I'm gonna get this guy while that last guy dies. I don't know if I would really say I'm a masochist, but it's just an interesting challenge, you know? Otherwise, it's just kind of like, I'm I'm done, it's finished, I have got through all the dungeons, they're done, and I have uh, used the fancy little buttons, and then we're finished. I would never have had an experience where the Sable price meant anything, right? If I just went through with NPCs, because it's just done, it's finished. I want to thank you for the inspiration. Give you last year you did a start from a new character, a complete captain of a great company as early as possible. The MSQ challenge. Oh, that's fantastic! I'm I'm glad to to see other other challenged gamers coming in. I hope it went well for you. I hope it was a fun experience. Uh, if I grew to Titan in the four men fights or trials in Namel. Yeah, that is true. They're they're not really. trials but you know we can pretend it took six days and a few minutes and 28 hours of playtime very nice very nice oh. okay doom is on the the fate enemy that has been pulled to me we are moving on to the actual enemies that give experience thank you Zero acceptable downtime. Put him to sleep. I'm just gonna swift cast the doom for this guy and get it first try, of course, of course, always. First try dooms. Gatekeeping what counts as a trial got uh, fully agreed. And trials should be gatekept. That's a that's a solid question. What let's let's just real quick. Give me a really just mundane gatekeep for something in Final Fantasy XIV. 
like here i'll give you an example um you're not a real house owner if you don't have four different lamp posts lined up in front of your entrance but you don't deserve a medium house if you don't fill it with lamp posts give give, give me some of those i need those they're very important for reasons that I, I will not I will not say here and by reasons that I will not say here I mean I'm bored yeah like just just silly in-game stuff you're not a real fed of 14 if you skip cutscenes hey no wait hold on not a real 14 player unless you you're subbed to Wrath games uh, funny ones, Chris. We're just going for the fun ones. Oh, hello, Chocobo. Our RGB Chocobo has returned. Not a real... You're not a real raider if you didn't clear content as Black Mage. That's a good one. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yes. Black Mage is the only real raiding class. If you haven't cleared the entire Savage tier as a Black Mage, then you're not a real raider. You didn't even clear it. Four lampposts in front of your real house? No, not in front of my real house, but now that you talk about it. Not a real FC unless you have an axolotl on your seal. <laughs> we gatekeep, gatekeep the images for FCs. Yes, perfect. That is flawless. Uh, this water sprite is going to put the entire fate to sleep if I hit the button there, so I'll just give it a second. You aren't real homeowners. Yeah, you're not. I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you. But... Not a real FF14 player. If you didn't farm the EX, the patch it came out. You didn't really clear the fight if you didn't do it the day it came out. What was, um... God, what was that one fight recently? Was it P8S, I think? The one that had to be, like crazy nerfed because of how stupidly difficult the DPS check was on it. That one specifically. That one, I, I loved those. They're great. Congratulations on clearing P8S after the nerf. <laughs> it, it's really an incredible feat to be able to do it. It was harder on release day. <laughs> Yeah, the one percent there is great. You follow logs. P and S killed raiding this expansion. Yeah, it did. It killed me raiding as well. I, our, my group stopped raiding at P and S. We did not finish it. <laughs> as very, I experienced it myself. Not a real 14 player if you didn't play during 1.0. If you're not a meteor survivor, you're not a real player. Of course, of course. We got the 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 old the old man old lady gatekeep. My favorite. Your friend still has all physical discs for the expansions, including 1.0. Okay, so you're not really playing Final Fantasy 14 if you didn't get the expansions on hard disc. It's a pretty solid one, if I do say so myself. That one already got doomed. First try. Thank you. Not a real 14th player if you don't live in the sun. Don't clear Palace of the Dead if you don't clear Palace of the Dead without job stones. Oh, of course. It's not a real necromancer clear if you have a job stone on. That's true. I agree with that one. You actually are a meteor survivor. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Stop rocking PNS and went to DSR because it was easier. <laughs> oh, man. They've really done something with a savage fight, if that's what people are thinking. I gotta tell you, it's at his end experience. DSR was a lot of fun. Get me cancelled. I refuse to be cancelled. I That could never happen to me. Come on. What have I ever done? What 14 unpopular opinion do you have? I've already told you my unpopular opinion. 
I tell you my unpopular opinion basically any time anybody asks me about my opinions on Final Fantasy XIV. Red Mage is the best class. That, that's the unpopular opinion. <laughs> Not a real necromancer if you didn't clear his astro. Oh, yes. Not a real necromancer unless you have cleared in the actual most RNG-ridden possible <laughs> place in the entire universe. And there's the fate. That was pretty good. We got just under a million XP, so like 900k. That's not bad, that's not bad. Red Mage is the best weapon, is the best class, true. Exactly, see, it's unpopular opinion, because it's only you and me that agrees with this. <sighs> Red Mage has the best hats, I could definitely give you that, except, um, Bat Liege hat, uh, the Black Mage one, is pretty good. Looks like I'll need another 8 to 10 fates to finish up. I don't think so. It should only be, um... If that one gives a million, let's just say that combined. Combining these two, I probably average one and a half million. Um... So one and a half million each time... We need 1.1 million to get to level 69, and then 2.5 million past that. So 1.1, 2.5. We only have 3.6 left. It'd be like five fates left. Yeah. Well, 1.5 million between both fates. So 1.5 million for every two fates. So you'd have to do like five of them. That, that's not too bad. Oh, Batleach is ninja. What's the black mage one I'm thinking of? Is it, uh... If it's not Batleach, then what's what's it called? Okay, I'm gonna... Just, since we're waiting anyway. I gotta do something while we're waiting. I can't just sit around and wait for the fate. Just wolf Liege, yeah, okay. There we go. I despise this dungeon beyond belief. There's simply nothing to be done about it. Hi, how's it going? Never mind, I opened it. <laughs> okay, great. <sighs> yeah, all of this just so we could level another class. But at least we will have every class unlocked after this. That's the big thing for me. Once this is done, there are no classes left. Everything is available to us, at all times. Just come on, dude. Oh my god. Thank you. <sighs> Until Dawn Trail. Yeah, yeah, very true. But, um... You know, by the time Dawn Trail comes out, we'll have already completed the solo challenge, so it'll be fine. Forty-five thousand XP from that now, so it is uh, it is not even really worth doing anymore, which does make me feel a good bit better. At this point, Orem Vale no longer gives enough experience for it to even slightly be worth it. What's my bet for how far I make it solo now? I don't really know. I would say, uh, I mean, there's no, there's nothing that's really going to fully stop it forever, right? Because I'll just, I'll take exceptions where I have to take exceptions just so we can continue to see the rest until I find a point where I'm happy to end it. So probably, I guess, Shadowbringers would be 
the the big spot that it finished up, I suppose. Uh, the second boss would also give half, so it would only be about 66,000 XP. So the, the two of them together, it would be 120-ish thousand. Any fates around Zenith or Mogholm that I could swap to? I don't think so. I guess we could do this one, but it's not really... Are these high-level enemies, or are they level 50 well, These are just part of the fate, so... There's not even really any enemies near this fate. I guess I could do this while I wait. Just these two. Is at least something, right? Can deal with some wyverns. When Dawn Troll comes out, Square Enix will have a Mamulja NPC called Solul Onla. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. I would like that. But that would imply that Square Enix knows that I exist, and that's the real, the difficult bit. Honestly, getting Twitch to accept my partner application is not the, the most difficult thing I have to do. The most difficult thing I have to do at the moment is get Square Enix to understand that I'm a real thing that exists and allow me to do cool stuff like cool things like go to the dawn trail media tour that could be nice that would be pretty great right somebody put me in there just get me in i want to go to the media tour very badly Nineteen thousand, not bad you know it, it, it's better than standing around doing nothing there's not really many enemies in range but at least it's something He's seventh of the Twitch rankings, maybe they know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. You never know. I have not gotten Choco Meteor, no. I do have to get around to grabbing Choco Meteor. I think the last time I was thinking about getting Choco Meteor was as the other fate spawned, so. How persistent is this little dude? Look, come on, man. I'm so far out of your fate. Why are you still attacking me? I don't even think I can attack you if I want to. Yeah, I can't. Stop targeting me. <laughs> what is happening? Dude, come on. What? Oh my god. Three, at two, at what? And I didn't make it for the level sync. I did make it for the level sync. Hey. My favorite class normally is Red Mage, so. Red Mage is the one that I do the most. There's the fate. I knew it would spawn at some point soon. Please. You need to go away. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> What is the range on that thing, man? <sighs> oh. What am I hoping Red Mage gets in Dawn Trail? Um, whatever. I'm pretty happy with how they've done Red Mage for a long time now. So I, uh, I'd just be down for whatever. Whatever it expansion to the class. The only thing I don't want is I don't want a dot. A lot of people want dots for some reason. I do not want a dot. I hate dots. Another dive off the stage. A new backflip would be sick, actually. Will this stream last until level 70? It will indeed. I'm getting there. I, I refuse to stop before then. Square Enix Nersium means Wrath can be a real boy. I would love that. It would truly be incredible. Put an AoE dot for your bard? Oh, that would be nice. Exactly. Dot on red mage doesn't make sense. I don't know why it doesn't make sense, but I don't like it, so I agree with you. It doesn't make sense. They shouldn't do it. Yeah. 
But you don't want is an extension to the burst combo because it's already too long. No, 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 no. Continue to expand that burst combo. Because if they extend it again, that just means they're going to give me an even higher potency attack. Are you kidding me? I will take that any day. I can finally claim my rightful place as the highest DPS class in the game. Imagine the dopamine from a crit direct hit on something with like a, a 1200 or 1500 potency. Oh my god, that would be beautiful. I'd be telling my children about that for generations. Melee caster copium, that's what you want? What does melee caster copium mean? <laughs> Red Mage getting an AoE heal on a cooldown would be nice. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I I can kind of see it, but I'm not sure I love it. I don't want Red Mage to become too much of a support class. I mean, we're already... Uh, we're already Res Mage. Give somebody else the heal. Never take our save position to stop away ever. No, come on. I need it. I just once. Just for one just for one quick minute, alright? You can have it back. I just I wanna hold it. It's my turn with the first place DPS, okay? You offer Red Mage, Gunbreaker, Paladin, and Samurai. Is that one Garlean standard gunblade that's been in the game since 1.0? Oh, that could be cool. Nice, nice little bit of glamour. Another resource bar? I mean, I'd put up with it. I don't really know what they would do with it, but I'd put up with it. Same as the greatest thing in any MMO ever. Sadly, you are you are incorrect. I hate to say. You you because you did not say red mage. I'm sure you meant to type red mage. And so I will allow you to correct yourself, and then you will be correct. Super broken dot that blue gets that never ends, so technically it has infinite potency. Oh! And what dot is that? And how do I get it? I would love that. Every time you see Julius, you tell him to give me his sword, and he doesn't do it. He should. A level 80 dungeon. Okay, great. So yeah, we'll get that in about, like, a, a week or something. That'll be easy. Anybody else? Anybody else? Hello, Avis. One week away at the end of Shadowbreakers. Listen, I solo Bronley got there in like a day, so. We could probably get it in. Can't let Solo Bronley beat us, you know? It's my series. Kinda cool if Red Mage got an ability that allowed them to do a reverse burst, like ranged magic combo into melee combo. Ooh. You know what? I... I do kinda like that. But then, I don't think they would do that, because Viper kind of fills that niche, right? The the bit that they're just bringing in now, so... I'd be kind of surprised if they did do that. It would be nice, though. I really wish I could doom the Earth Sprite. Please go away, little Earth Sprite. Thank you. Viper's just going to be a poor man's samurai. No, no, no. Viper's just going to be a, a second red mage. I told you all before that red mage was the only class Yoshi P ever wanted to put in the game. And now I'm proving it to you. It's such a good class that they're making it again, but melee this time and then in the other direction. Sink, good point. Thank you. 
You have rescued me. It's very appreciated for me. For, for my, it's very kind of you. Okay, what, uh, where's, where's this last guy? Hello? Bon Avis, hello? There you are. I was getting worried. I thought you weren't going to come over. I, I prepped this nice, this nice, uh, this delicious, uh, meal just for you and your... You weren't gonna show up. I was. It was crushing. Maiden, if you could just take a quick nap, just just for a minute, you know, just just for a second. All jokes aside, you're hyped for Viper. I'm also pretty hyped for Viper. I think it should be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to what it ends up being. The thing for me is that I I'm not too picky when it comes to. 14 classes and stuff so long as i get to continue enjoying myself as a red mage and i get more cool moves then i'm happy just uh want to help test some things out for wrath you get a pi private party finder up on dynamis right now for labyrinth of the angel oh yes that would be very appreciated if some folks could pop over to that it's on dynamis the private party finder with a password of 6870. You should go check that out. And do some funny mechanics in Labyrinth of the Ancients. And do them in funny ways. And see if they work or not. That's pretty cool. I guess I was going to do it at the end of stream. But it, the stream has run for a lot longer than I thought it would. So understandably, uh, you know, probably go do that. <laughs> Really feels like X O S R S players like Red Mage. Well, there you go. It can be a communal thing. Red Mage belongs to the old school RuneScape players. Say for Don Trail, but you'll be abroad when it launches, so you have to wait to play. If anything, that's kind of okay, you know? Because I think we all know that when an expansion hits, there is an absolutely gigantic wave of people trying to play the game. And so queue times are very, very long. So it's not, you know, being away for the first, like, a few days. You know, like, the first week-ish that it's released isn't the end of the world. Because by the time you get there, it will have calmed down and you'll be able to play the game in a reasonable amount of time. And worker key times were hilarious. Oh yeah, there it was magical. Thank you for the sync reminder. Thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. Hope Viper scratches the itch that Rogue and Ninja failed at. What what itch are you going for? Like, give me the aesthetic that you're talking about. What is, what is the specific thing you're thinking of? Remember getting home from work and joining a four-hour Endwalker queue? Yeah. I, uh, that was something. I remember having Melvina queue up for me while I was at work so that when I got back, it was only 30 minutes of a queue instead of four hours of a queue. Can't wait to be an Endwalker when Dawn Trail drops. I believe in you. I, I, I think you can make it all the way to Stormblood by the time that happens. You can do it, Lanes. How's the grind going? The grind is going great. I'm losing my mind a little bit with how big of a grind this new one is. But uh, it's not that bad. So, you know. 29,000 experience. We unsync. We resync. I level sync. And we're waiting for the... There he is. Hello. A dead bone Avis. Moving on. Rogue scratched it, but Ninja didn't. You want a thief, sneaky, stabby, no weird magic stuff? Okay, okay. So just purely sneaky, stabby. 
All right, all right. So like an, an assassin-esque character? That could be kind of nice. I could see it. This one is the next one to spawn. Please spawn relatively quick. Thank you. Does anyone remember how much experience we had at the start of this? Because I I should be keeping track of it. I think we started at 100,000 before the last one. And then we were maybe at just over a million. Like 1.1, 1.2 million. I have no idea. Thank you for the resub. That's very kind of you, Saint. Thank you for the, the happy three months. I had a bunch. I had a bunch of what? I wasn't... I, I've lost the, the train of conversation. It's gone from my brain. Less than I have now. Oh, very true. This is probably about as accurate as we can be. So, I'd say that we've already gained just about... A million XP from this fate? Uh, that may be off a little bit, but it should be relatively accurate. At the very least, we're going to level up off of it, which is way more XP than I thought we were going to get. It actually doomed on a swift cast for once. I can't believe it. And now we wait for more Avis. We'd probably get two or three more kills. And one more kill? No, I think we need two more kills to level up here. Could finally do your Maria from Bloodborne Glam. Oh. Very true. Viper's going to be really good for Glamour, so I'm excited to see the cosplays for it. 1.3 at the start of the fate, so about... Okay. About 1 million 14 minutes. Not bad. It's, it's honestly really good for this fate, because we had... I think the last time we did this fate, we only got like 600k XP. So it is actually really good to get a million out of this one. I think we've got a better better rhythm for it now. I can maybe get two more in this timer if we're lucky. Level 69, fantastic. Three-ish fates to go. And then I can finally eat food. Please, Doom. I need this next one to hit. Nope. Okay. Well. We won't kill it in time, but that's fine. I think Viper swords are going to be like ninja, or will the main sword and other sword be two different items? I'd, I'd be amazed if they did two different items, because they seem to be really pushing away from the idea of uh, a main hand and an off hand, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I'd be happy to be wrong. I think it would be kind of cool. But also, it does... It is a bit of a weird dynamic when every other class doesn't have a main hand off hand, you know? And do a bit of dooming over here with these wyverns before I leave. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Roy. Oh, man. Could get Choco Meteor while waiting. That is true. Yeah, let's go get Choco Meteor. I, I really should do that at this point. I'll kill this wyvern over here, and then we'll go get Meteor. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Thank you.
pretty good range, actually, on the level sync for this one. Worst case, they make main hand offhand from the Disciple of Land stuff. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe. I kind of like offense for Disciple of Hand Land, but that might just be. I also kind of like them. It's a good, it's a nice dynamic to need to have an offhand to be able to get a certain set of materials for gatherers. I think that's pretty cool. You specialize tools for specific things instead of just everything can get everything with a pickaxe. How many times have I cast Doom today? Uh realistically with all of the failed dooms that i have i want to say we're at least getting towards a thousand casts of doom when they figure out how to deal the glamours with the glamours for paladin it's over for offhand i assume oh maybe that's a low ball money's on three thousand maybe maybe I wish there was an easy way to count how many times I've cast Doom. <laughs> I'm personally not one that, that plays Paladin much, but I'm I'm kind of glad at the idea that they they'll merge the weapons at some point. Merge it into just the one thing. I think I vaguely remember where the red chocobos are. They're kind of over here, right? Where we get the titanium all the time. A bandersnatch, level 52. This is not a red chocobo. I wanted to merge them, because then you couldn't mix and match sword and shield. But that's the thing, that uh, they had said... Uh, what they had said was that they're waiting specifically on figuring out how to let you do different glamours for your sword and shield, and then they would merge them. So that, that would be pretty good. Yes, level 69, baby. Where the heck are the red chocobos? I swear I've seen them a million times. They... Should be somewhere around here, right? Oh, it's gonna be around this area, because this is where I get the titanium. Right? Double checking it's not here. I'm gonna find it. I will. I believe. I truly believe in myself. Maybe I'm not going to find him. Uh... Wrath is so good at navigation. I am, thank you. I'd, I'd, I do, I'd say I do a pretty good job at it, I think. I'm very confused as to where these things are. I could have sworn they, they spawned with the titanium that I mined. What am I doing? I'm currently looking for red chocobos, and then I'm going to a fate that will spawn over here to level my blue mage, so I can achieve uh, level 70 for a reaper unlock. Maybe it's like over here somewhere. <gasps> there they are! Hello, red chocobos! Hello! Hiya! Please use your choco meteor. No, not Choco Kick. Choco Meteor. How much XP does sightseeing points give now? The one that we did earlier only gave us 17,000, I think. So it wasn't very much. It was like maybe 1%. Hey, Choco Meteor. Great. Maybe at most 1% of um, our level. I kind of just want to keep letting it cast Choco Meteor. No? Okay. Well, you can go to sleep now. Good night. Oh, good night, little Chocobo. Oh, booty wee 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 Hey! 255,000 XP. That is a stupid amount. 
Yeah, that really is exactly 10%. I love that. Hey, wait, my fate. We gotta go quick. Where's Choco Meteor? Is it good? Potency increases to 300 and partied with your personal Chocobo. Okay, that's not bad. It's kind of sick, actually. So maybe we can use that at some point. I remember Lunaria saying that, I believe. You make fun, but Red Comet? Red Comet, I, I don't want to think about Red Comet ever. We're 69, Waff. So just one level left. It's an AoE, so be mindful of that. Okay, gotcha. Never getting increased potency. I might, I could take out Duo every once in a while, you know? We could, we could bring him for walks. Walkies for the Chocobo. Red Choctober is a nightmare for us all. I think we, I think we could agree that this is a, this is a Red Choctober free zone. Hot for Red Choctober thinks about you though, no, please. Anything but that. Remember pre-nerf Red Choctober? I also remember pre-nerf Red Choctober. And it was a beautiful experience that no one should have ever had to deal with. Level sync? Okay, very nice. Just barely fast enough. Okay, so it's really going to be relying on Doomlock to see how much XP we get out of this. Because there's really nowhere in here where we would run out of mobs, right? There's no point where the mobs from this is fate. Uh, we've killed all of them and we're waiting on them to respawn. They're very, very consistently alive, just because of the sheer number of them. Dear Dragonfly Tracer, maybe we could talk this out, you know? We could talk this out and then you won't continue to run back and forth. Thank you for the follow, by the way, Bian. It's very kind of you. If you could just maybe become doomed and give me the ability to, to win. Please, I beg. Yes, Azure. We are leveling our, our blue mage so that we can unlock reef. That's the, the big hope, the goal, the dream. I just have to sit here and continuously doom this thing into... Okay, thank you. That took way too long. I'm very curious at the unluckiest I've been with a Doom so far. I think the worst... I don't think that was the worst. I think the worst was around 20 casts to get a successful Doom, but I'm not sure. We need one more person in the Party Finder for checking out some Labyrinth of the Ancient mechanics. Uh, if you could assist with that, it would be very appreciated. It's a Party Finder over on Dynamis. And it, the password is 6870. It is it is run by, by Medicuma, so Madeline, I do believe, um, is, is a masterpiece. I need some information for the next video, and I would love it. Shouldn't I be there with you? I was originally planning to be there with you, um, but this has taken a lot longer than expected to level up. Yeah, I would like to get to level 70 tonight and be finished up with it. The PF is opened by Madeline Kumail. Yes. Thank you. You had one with 22 casts failed. Oh, God. <laughs> 22 casts. For a 33% chance.
take that statistics majors I bet you feel stupid now I'm the one that feels stupid it's me not the statistics majors what was the password again six eight seven zero Oh, but your record for doom misses is 53 in a row how could you even possibly miss that many times on a one in three chance that's that hurts my soul to think about i'm so sorry ref <laughs> that's truly painful all right we get the the water sprite please if you could just be doomed So today, let's really take a retrospective of what today has been so far, because I would love to just just quickly make sure that I remember everything properly that we've done. We logged in. I started off as a blue mage. We continued as a blue mage. I killed Loth for about three hours. And then we did a few runs of Orem Vale before I got really upset and lost my mind and uh, no longer wished to do Orem Vale ever again. I accidentally stepped out and dropped my level sync. This right. Uh, and then we spent the next three hours uh, killing more Loth and then coming here. That's pretty good. A pretty good day, I think. Do I plan to give Reaper a try before I log off? I don't know if I'll... I don't know if I would try it on some all, but we we still have a lot of stuff we have to prep first, because I have to get the Pajali weapon bare minimum to be able to use Reaper, if not a Kino weapon. Just say good thing I'm entertaining? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really good thing I'm entertaining, because otherwise I'm sure none of you would still be here. Thank you for hanging out for so long. This is ridiculous. The thought that we've got still well over 300 people hanging around for grinding golden bandersnatches is uh, is pretty is pretty cool. Probably need to get the best weapon for Weeper to get the 20 GCDs. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's just. I would really like to avoid it if we can. We may try initially without uh, the Kino weapon. Just so we can get... Um, just, just to try and avoid the excessive palace grind that it would take to get to a Kino. Because a Kino is 90 Aether Pool, where a Pajali is 30. So if we could do it with just the Pajali, that's way better for us. One of those 21 GCDs will have to be your damage up, do you? If, yeah, we're gonna have... At least two of those is gonna have to be, because I don't think it'll be... Uh, 20 GCDs is 45-ish seconds, right? Something like that? So we'll probably have to use two... So I'll really have 19 DPS GCDs. Well, I didn't think it'd be at 70 before the end of the stream at first. Well, you know what? Sometimes I can, in fact, just be that stubborn. Some previously have called it tenacity. I like to call it uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe Dwarven Madness. The same thing that happens in Dwarf Fortress when one of your dwarves suddenly just drops everything, stops talking to anyone, gives up their job and all of the work that they have to do, and sits, steals somebody else's job for, like, 20 minutes 
and if they don't have a specific shiny rock to put together to make their mastercraft, then they go insane and they kill the entirety of your fortress. What was I talking about? I feel like I got off track, but I'm not sure. This is being stubborn. This is being tenacious and bullheaded. Okay. I'll take that. Now that I've got it doomed, I can step back into the, the cold, the, the nice, warm, and safe sink. Hello. How's it going? Hi. Your dinner will be ready in about 25-ish minutes. Sick. Thank you. It was very kind of you. That chicken better be good. Yeah? Was it annoying to make? I got my fingers all up in that butter. I see. You had to, to suffer through the... I had to do unholy things to that chicken. The, the butter massage, I see. I wish you the best. As if we were ever on rails to begin with. Come on, the way it, where it always... A fey mood has taken Wrath Games. Exactly, that's it. You got it. You understand. A fey mood has stolen me away. I must level to 70. If I do not, then I... I don't know, I'll delete the character or something. I want to do a cooking stream. You what? I want to do a cooking stream one day on my channel. Once I get possibly equipment for it. Of course. Of course. Why am I dooming the one that's already doomed? Hello! Give me kind of... Everybody say hello, Melvina. Hello. Say hello. Wow. Solo cooking show one. Maybe one day. Uh, if there is ever a day where I willingly show my face, that, that would probably be the day where we can consider a solo cooking show. But until then, never. Who knows? Melvina mentioned. A true success for Melvina enjoyers and fishy fans everywhere. Oh, God. But, uh, yeah, that could be, I could do a cooking stream. Except that my cooking streams would not be very good, because most of my cooking stuff is uh, either hours of just kind of leaving things to marinate and or rise, or um, once that is done, the cooking itself takes, like, maybe two minutes. Like, the stuff takes 14 hours to fruit, like our yeah. pizza dough. Cooking show with a solo avatar over my face. Oh, that's a good idea. Just do, like, VTubers and show only rubber-gloved hands in the kitchen. That, that... I wonder how they do that, actually. That's a solid question. Maybe. Oh, you should prepare recipes submitted by members, like your... Like your... 36 hour bolognese sauce, Chris? Oh, yeah. Like that? That could be pretty good. That could be a fun one. I could finally have an excuse to steal Lane's and Arowana's green curry. Usually an electric stove at the desk. Specifically that one. 26 hour stream. Perfect. You know, actually, I don't need an excuse. Lanes, give me your green curry. <laughs> I'm hungry. I would like green curry. You're getting chicken in two seconds. Well, yeah, but I but I want green curry at some point. Oh my god. I like curry, and I've never had green curry. It sounds delicious. Use the Final Fantasy fourteen cooking book. I was actually thinking at some point I want to make a video about surviving a week off of nothing but... Final Fantasy 14 food, but I would actually have to get the cookbook to do that, so. I have it on my Amazon wish list. What about Melvina's delicious dinner? Oh, I'm going to eat that now. I'm just going to have the, the green curry from Lane's and Arowana at some other point. You know. Uh, I maybe have enough time if this doom hits. Hey, you did. Fantastic. One extra kill. One day we'll Oh, okay. Right, have fun. Green curry is like red curry, except it's green and tastes completely different. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Great. 
1.5 million experience. I think we probably got just about 1.1 million from this fate. This is pretty good. Sending the carrier pigeon over now. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so the 20 GCD challenge isn't particularly a challenge. It is just the life that we are forced into. Uh, the final boss of the Airy, Nidhogg, has a mechanic called Sable Price. When Sable Price is cast, it gives a targeted player fetters, which means that they cannot take any actions. And then, while not allowing them to take any actions, uh, Sable Price will cast an instant kill for 10 million damage. And so, the only options I have are to somehow kill the Sable Price, which normally you would need another player for, or I need to kill Nidhogg in 20 GCDs before it casts Sable Price. And those are the only options we have. Question, why haven't you looked into paying the Sable Price yet? I am paying the Sable Price. What do you think this stream is? <laughs> this, this is paying the Sable Price. <laughs> I'm <laughs> losing my mind. Look out. Wow, 17,000 experience. Incredible. Not teleport. We fly. Next speedrun mixed with pizza proofing. That would be great. Oh, food buff. Thank you. I will re food buff. Lemon. Lemon. Speaking of lemon, huh? um, you know how uh, Mizuki, when you pick them up, he likes to he likes to bite and scratch when you do the little baby carry thing because mm -hmm. he thinks you're playing with him. Mm -hmm. So this recipe had lemons in it, mm -hmm. uh, including lemon juice, mm -hmm. and I got the lemon juice all up in the cuts. Oh, I see. From uh, Mizuki. I thought you were going to say that you got lemon juice on your fingers, and then you lifted him up, and he bit your fingers, and then he freaked out because your fingers tasted like lemon. No, I would never do that to him. I see. Okay, understood. Only I am the one in pain in this situation. wonder if a 90 on Mega Echo can survive it. They cannot. It's specifically, it is 9,999,999 damage, and it can't be mitigated, which is the main problem for it. Immunity also doesn't work, because that much damage counts as an enrage, and enrages completely ignore immunity, so. Why does our cat suddenly smell like citrus? He has eaten an entire lemon. <sighs> oh, man. This should hopefully be the last fate. Should, should, should. Koro, why are you not eating your dinner? She's just hanging out. She wants to spend time with Dad. What's the, what's the worst case about that? How much HP does Nidhogg have? I have no idea. Uh, an amount of HP, at the very least. I just know that it's not something that we were able to do with Epic Echo on 60% with our Warrior, and so we're going to be trying for a 100% Epic Echo with uh, a melee DPS. And since I will also need a melee DPS later, or at least I am assuming that I will, um, we are uh, prepping Reaper for it since I'm going to be using Reaper later in the expansion as well. More than five, probably more than seven, too. I don't know. I think seven might be pushing it. I'll be honest. Might be pushing it a little bit. <sighs> Can learn more spells while you wait. There's a couple in the churning mist. That is true. But I kind of like just taking this minute to, to sit here and relax, knowing that this could be the, the last one. This could be the very last class. Why Reaper of all classes? Uh, Reaper has uh, self-healing with the regen, uh, and Reaper has very, very high burst damage. So while over an entire fight, Reaper may not have as much damage as a samurai. Within a shorter period of GCDs, Reaper will have higher damage than samurai. 
What are we farming right now? I'm farming levels for my blue mage. We gotta get one more level. One million more experience so we can hit level 70. And, uh... With our, with our funny little level 70, we can unlock Reaper. Sam better? How could you? Also, the other side is that um, with Reaper, I have to level it up once to get it to level 71 from the point that I unlock it. Uh, so that it gets the 100% echo buff. Uh, versus Samurai, which I would have to level up 20 times for it to get the epic echo buff. Uh, so it is also just easier to level up reaper than it would be samurai oh man i should probably check my storage i haven't had a long stream day like this in a while we're still fine i've got another 300 gigs we're okay we are okay oh there is one thing that isn't okay and that's all of a sudden it seems like my headset has died so just give me two seconds to plug my headset in I'm sure it's riveting that you can hear possibly absolutely no sound aside from me talking anymore. Connected. Are we back? Can you hear things once again? Uh, the application audio is actually busted, so I'm going to see if I can reset that. There we go. That's fixed. Good. Sounds good. Okay, perfect. And then let us begin the final fate, perhaps? If fingers crossed, at least. And if not, then I'll probably go unlock a spell for the final level. That wouldn't be too bad. Could you imagine how much faster this would be if we had access to Stormblood and could do the actual on-level enemies? Wow, that would be so nice. It's crazy that Square Enix didn't uh, put that into the game that you were allowed to do that. It's kind of it's kind of bonkers. Very rude of Square. funny the way you say that is if you're doing the fate instead of fighting the enemies around the fate but the fate is our fate you know it's very important to us without the fate we would be nothing heaven on high would solve so many problems yes no no question heaven on high would make life so much better i would love to be in heaven on high because it's actually large amounts of experience dropped from my classes. That'd be nice. Speaking of level syncing, well, not at Fates. Uh, suggestion, if anyone at Square is actually watching these streams. No one at Square watches my <laughs> Well, maybe. Maybe. You what? never know. <laughs> um, there are these uh, things in EQ2 called Chronomancer. And they allow you to, like, level down your character to do content with friends so that you're not, like, obliterating things. So that you can actually play with your lower level friends. So, actually willingly level syncing and doing overworld content. And just, like, being allowed to do that whenever you want. Hey, maybe, maybe being allowed to do that would be cool. I don't know. Okay, but... Because... Hear uh, me out. A lot of new players just want to play with their friends. Okay, but hear me out. Firstly, I will reiterate, nobody ex at Square watches my streams. Why are you saying this? Uh, secondly, well, I mean... uh, have you considered just not leveling every single class up to 90, you monster? But I want to play the game. <laughs> yeah, then play the game. Playing the game includes playing the classes. Yeah, though. you know. Just pick a class you like. Hello, Ryu. It's, it's nice to see. But I'm a completionist. Yeah, well, then completionist everything else first. That, that's, that includes the classes. You could do those last. What? It's going to take you seven years to do the achievements, Miss Completionist. But... Go do the achievements. But I like Go do playing the all the classes. All right, well... 
Except for Black Mage. Black Mage sucks. It's your mistake. Anyway, it was good to see you. Easy peek. Crazy person alert? What is crazy person alert? Am I the crazy person? I must be the crazy person. I can believe it. All your jobs are 90 because you wanted the Amaro, and since they were all 80, you figured it might as well take them to 90. Well, okay. Understandable. Pretty pretty understandable, I'd say. I'm just gonna quickly wait for this to finish. XP drop leaves the dragon, leaves me alone, and we're back in. Your uncle knows Yoshi P, so they'll tell him. Okay, alright. So you, we did get something out of this. Add chronomancers. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, bone eight. Exactly, it's part of the MSQ, and since you haven't finished the MSQ, there you go, you wouldn't know. What's part of the MSQ? All Leveling classes all classes to 90? To oh, okay. Well, it's a good thing I'll never finish the MSQ. Because that would be ridiculous. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alrighty. Your uncle is Yoshi P, so you'll tell him first? Okay, alright, that, that's great. Okay, so long as we get it there at some point. My my experience, please. And please allow me to hit the doom button within three. No, of course you wouldn't. That's fine. I understand. I understand the the dangers that you must go through to allow the game to progress. Sometimes we can't have what we want, you know. Sometimes we can't be lucky with dooms, but this time we can be lucky. Look at this. What I tell you. What I what I tell yeah, look at that. One in three chance, got it on the second attempt. That's lucky, right? Your uncle is Final Fantasy XIV? How did that happen? What kata would require you to be the same level as your friend that's not already level sync? Level sync exists in the game. I I think they meant like um being able to level sync in the overworld to your party world. Or to your party members. So just, like, killing the the little mobs everywhere, to hanging around if you've got a, a sprout that you want to take through the game. Your uncle's brother's... Your father's uncle's brother's roommate is John Final Fantasy. That's pretty impressive. I can't believe you found John Final Fantasy. No way. Oh, you're Square Enix! Okay, now we've got it. Uh, speaking of you being Square Enix, do you think you could allow me to go to the media tour real quick for Dawn Trail? That'd be kind of cool. Here's a quick a quick media tour invite, if you didn't mind, I'd be very, very appreciated. And since you are Square Enix after all, it should be very easy. Can you go to sleep, please? Thank you. Bone Avis. Was nice meeting you. Goodbye. Step out of level sync. Step into level sync. Hit the level sync button. We're going to... Thank you for the Ted Fluffy. Fuck that people watching. First time catching this stream, finished video is what got you to try a non-combat job for the first time after doing the MSQ for seven years. Wow. Thank you very much, Fluffy. It is incredibly kind of you to say, and it's also incredibly kind of you to have a super chat. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you enjoyed the, the videos so much. What's up? Indeed. Yeah, okay. I'll be soon. Whenever I'm done this.
Okay. Uh, six minutes and we need 400k. I think we make that, honestly. That That's kind of realistic. That's not so bad, at least. Long time YouTuber watcher, first time catching the stream smiley or fishing video was what got me to try a non-combat job for the first time after doing the MSQ only for seven years. Really weird when doing side content on your free trial account instead of your main account? And I mean, I suppose I have a question as to why you have both a free trial account and a main account, but, um, you know, it's... Other than that, no, I, I wouldn't say so. Nothing too crazy. Doing side content on an alt. Because alts can be fun, you know? You spice things up a little bit, a little bit of variety. You're not on your main anymore. Can all be exciting again for a minute. There's no timer in Rage for the lanes. Killed 10 adds, nothing happened. We let three live. They tether and Iron Giant spawns. Okay, that's huge. Thank you, Warthog. That is the that is the biggest one for me, so I'm, I'm really glad we got confirmation on that. The pots, when they die, Thanatos gets a damage up buff that will kill a level 60 if they aren't careful. Ooh, all right. Gotcha. Okay. Might I might post something in a bit. Okay. Fantastic, a chop of the 20 minute or so video, so it's a bit shorter to share. Thank you very, very much. It is incredibly kind of you. Thank you to anybody who participated in the Labyrinths of the Ancient testing. My script will not be stained with any incorrect bits. Text version of our findings on the gamers only channel. Thank you, Medi. Thank you, thank you. Free trial account is now enjoyable during content drought. No need to pay for subs. Oh, yeah, you know what? I get that. That makes sense. That makes sense. Make it all the way up to Stormblood. Do fun Stormblood things. I didn't hit the level sync for those enemies, so I haven't been getting experience for who knows how long. If I could please just hit this one, that's is that why the Potter Funder is going on? Verifying info? Yeah, it's verifying info for the, um... For some mechanics that I was lining up for Labyrinth of the Ancients. I've got to I do walkthroughs of all the mechanics for pretty much everything that I do, so I'd like to be able to include the little bits of info that we have on them. And I'm sure it's a very, very few people that would know about the um, tethered ads spawning the Iron Giants in Atomos, and very few people that have ever seen the Iron Giants in general. Very jealous of dinner? I'm very jealous of you being able to see my dinner, I'll be honest. I'm, I wish I had my dinner in front of me at the moment. But we are about to be done, and I must push on. I shall indeed succeed. Be great if people updated wikis in the process. The wiki, honestly, with the way that it's currently set, it's kind of better to not update the wiki. Just because it's set up right now to tell players what they can expect to run into if they do the fight normally, right? No player is ever going to have to worry about those details just doing a normal run of Labyrinth of the Ancients. Okay. Okay, these two done. How many more do I need to kill? 
Reaper 100k, that's gonna get me to a 420,000. So I need 130k more. So five, I need to kill five in 50 seconds. I don't have enough time. All right, that's tragic, but we will at least be very, very close. Nope, that didn't do it. Uh, I think I did still get the XP, actually. Looks like I did, yeah. All right, I would appreciate if this one spawned so I could at least get one more kill. looking like it's not gonna spawn okay that hit so i do actually get this kill in time very nice uh one spell will get it so one spell does it Let's go get Whistle. Why not? We'll finish things off by getting Whistle. How's my Sunday been, fellow Wrath? It has been very good, fellow Wrath. I, I hope your Sunday has been good as well. We've spent a lot of the day grinding and it is finally over. Ended as it should have, successfully, with a level 7. I don't have Whistle. We tried a few times, but I never got the pop-up for it. Uh, so we should be all set to just be able to do this one. Here we go, dommeling again. Very true. We return to the dommels once more. What brings me to blue for solo? We're, uh, we're doing blue for solo so that I can reach level 70, because blue is the fastest class to level up out of all of the Disciple of War, Disciple of Mages, and we can use blue to do side quests, and side quest means that we can use blue mage at level 70 to unlock reaper, and then I can use reaper to do uh, the airy. Should you have leftover za or box mac and cheese? Ooh, that is a very difficult choice. I think I'm kind of feeling za, so, so some leftover za would be good. It was in my spellbook earlier, was it? Uh, let me check. Oh, it is! So true, bestie. Okay, well, we have to find somewhere else. Yeah. Electronesis, okay. Um. Why is Reaper good for the dungeon? Because Reaper... It has a very high burst, and we need to be able to kill Nidhogg within a certain amount of GCDs before we just get instantly killed. <clears throat> uh, we'll grab the, uh, we'll grab the thing from whatever the snakes are over here. That'd be good. Just grab these guys. Ah, <sighs> an absolute masterpiece. Is Reaper's Burst good at 71 before it gets uh, all the OG CDs? It is good, yes. Uh, it's not as comparable as it would be at level 80, but level 71 is enough to get the 100% epic echo buff, and that should, ideally, be enough just with Reaper's base damage to be able to burst through. We shall see, though. We shall see indeed. All right, Mr. Water Snake, Coco Donut. Oh, uh, Kono Don't. Excuse me. Electrogenesis, more like Doom. More like Doom. More like. More like Doom. More like. Do uh. More, more like, okay, you know what, I'm just, we're not going to hit the Doom. It's, at this point it would have been faster if I just tried to kill it normally, I'll be honest with you, so I'm just going to kill it normally. Oh my god. Ok, 
get this out of my face right now. How could you? How dare? We hit him with the Ram's voice. And we hit him with another Ram's voice. And. Whoopa da whoopa da whoopa da No. Okay. A tragedy. I'm totally that guy. Come on. I I have to be. Co, no, don't. Hey, that's a good one. It's very nice. It's very nice. Can't wait for Rath to finish the stream and purchase a shirt that says I grinded the same enemies for seven hours and all I got was this stupid scythe. <laughs> hey, that, that would be a good shirt. I would buy that. Hey, uh. hey, there it is! Level 70! Woo! Okay. Alright. Oh, God. Thank God it's over. Get me to Uldah. Get me over to Uldah right now. I'm unlocking Reaper at this exact second. <sighs> Where's the Reaper quest? I think it's in the Sapphire Avenue exchange. No, there it is. Adventurer's Guild Killer Instinct. And before it turns out blue can't unlock Reaper. That would be the worst day of my life, Lunaraya. But no, alright. There it is. Quest obtained. We still have the VOD tonight. Very true. You will have a very long VOD tonight. Those are seven hours. Oh, man. What am I going to do for gear? I'm going to craft it. We're going to craft the best gear we can get our fuzzy little hands on. And if not the best gear from crafting, then we'll get it from Centurio Seals. And uh, that's the shtick. Embrace the wrath mentioned insiders chat. <laughs> Hello, Tassel. How are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? How how goes the the video gaming? Tassel, I figured that I should let you know that um, the other day, my some of my FC members and Movina have a um, an ultimate static that they do. They're progging. The Epic of Alexander at the moment. And, um... Uh, I'm not much of a dancer, but I want the card to see my justice done. There you go. And, uh, they needed a fill all of a sudden, just out of nowhere. And your tea guide is the only reason that I made it through Liquid. So thank you, Tessel. <laughs> it's very kind. Oh, man. Reaper is unlocked. Huh. Zero slots remaining in inventory. Pretty good. Perfectly timed. And now to get Pajali. Yeah, it's a very good point. Pajali needs to be obtained, which means goodbye, Deep Gold Scythe. Woo! -hoo. Currently 10th, but only just barely behind 9th, 8th, and 7th. All right, well... No, 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 listen. The scythe is, is cursed. We can't take it. It is an accursed creature. The scythe is gone forever. I refuse to take such things. Alright. Yeah, no way to get that other than market board. I expect it. I mean, yeah. That's, that's expected. That's a part of it. This one we can buy back if I just throw this out from the Calamity Salvager. But the scythe is in fact gone forever. It is the life that we live. Thankfully, I will never need it. So it's great. Yeah, there are other scythes that we can get. And the main thing that we're going to be using is the uh, Pajali weapon. So, okay. That's, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's a wrap for me, gamers. It has been seven hours of grinding to unlock Reaper. And I 
We'll have to return another day to get the pet jelly weapon and actually use the thing. Um, thank you for stopping in. I hope everyone has been having a fantastic time hanging out at the stream. Thank you very, very much for spending all this time with me. And uh, I, I hope you have a wonderful night. Um, I think... Who's who's online on the 14 side of things for Twitch? Just let me know real quick. Let's see if we raid somebody, maybe. I don't know if we will, but maybe. Maybe, maybe. We could raid Cider. I do love raiding Cider. Anybody else online, maybe? Perhaps? Maybe we could... Is is Spudzy still there? We could raid Spudzy. Hold on. I'll see if I can check Final Fantasy XIV myself. Twitch.tv slash Wrath Games. Haha. <laughs> well, it's good to see you, Lunar. I thank you. Uh, we're going to take another second. It's just going to be a minute, I swear. I just need a singular moment before we're, we're fully finished up with everything. And man... It is loading very slowly. That is an absolute tragedy. Hold on, just a, just a, a brief, a quick moment. Just maybe if I just go to twitch.tv instead, instead of instead of to Wrath Games, if I just do twitch.tv, then it will work. That did work. Final Fantasy fourteen. Spudzy, yeah. Let's go. Let's raid Spudzy. Why not? Love Spudsy. Uh, okay. Slash raid. Uh, that's dot raid. Slash raid Spudsy Bud. Right? Yeah, Spudsy Bud. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna raid Spudsy Bud Twitch chat. Thank you very much for taking the time to hang out with me today. I hope you have had an absolutely fantastic Sunday. And I will see everybody on Thursday. Uh, I may technically cancel that stream if uh, I need more time to work on the video, but I probably won't. So goodbye. It was great to see you. Goodbye. Have a good night. Bye-bye.